Hi, Jen. How are you? Hope you're having a good morning. I thought that was you over in Ski Masks Andy's chat this morning. How about that? How about that? Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. How are you? This is Sophie. If you don't know me, hi. <sighs> my, my, my. My, my, my. How are you, Jen? Just wait for the room to load. Let me go to my channel. How are you doing, Jen? You want to come up? I can send you the link if you want to come up. You can talk to me. <clears throat> it's so funny that this uh, live is about you and you are the, f under your sock account, is the first person to chat. It's, it's, it's kind of crazy, kind of crazy if you ask me. But, you know, who am I? Just poor, irrelevant Sophie, right? Good morning, good morning, people. Good morning. I hope you can hear me okay. You know, I'm sitting here, <clears throat> excuse me, getting ready for the day, doing some editing and, and that type of thing. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and go live now. I'm, I'm still going to go live later at 11 at my usual time. But good morning, Miguel. Good morning. I am early. I am. So, you know, I was, like I said, I was doing some editing and I was like, you know what? Let's go ahead and get Jen out of the way. Let's go ahead and do that. Jen, how would how would your your well let me uh, hold on let me let me say something you said the other day jen bailey that you were single when your when your boyfriend clint is at work you are single number one lots of questions <laughs> lots of questions number two how would clint like it to know that that you consider yourself a single lady when he's not around. Hmm? How, what, what would he? What would he think about that? Better, more. What would Miss Alice think about that? What would Miss Alice think? Because she is funding your life, after all. Miss Alice is funding your life, Jen Bailey. You take advantage of that woman and her kindness. Green Goblin, where you at? Where you at? What would you leave so fast for? Hmm? So, like I said, I was doing some editing this morning. And good morning, Sadie Lane. How are you? I hope you're having a good morning. So, like I said, I was doing some editing. And, um... I, somebody sent me the link to Jen on Ski Mask Andy's panel the other day, five days ago to be exact. And I figured I have it uploaded to my YouTube. And I figured we could listen to it together. And, and you guys give me your thoughts. And let's keep in mind before we play this. Let's keep in mind that Ski Mask Andy knows zilch, nada, nothing about us and our community. Okay, he knows nothing about us. He's, he's on a different side of YouTube than we are, right? Keep that in mind. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a good morning. So let me... Uh, Make do this curl in my hair really quick, and then I'll uh, get on my laptop and we'll start playing it. 
So yeah, yeah, craziness, craziness. And you know, I was listening to Siwa this morning. Whenever I woke up, she, her, and John were live together, and I, I heard Siwa say that Green Goblin was Jen's one of Jen's sock accounts. And I seen that Schema Sandy was live this morning and Green Goblin was in there. And when I go like, actually, good morning, Jay Travis. Actually, it was like 10 seconds before I hit the live button. Who made a comment? Green Goblin. Green Goblin, a.k.a. Jen Bailey. Green Goblin says, stop talking, stop stalking people. How about that? It seems like you're stalking me because I have, I have literally had this live set up two minutes before I hit the live button. So Green Goblin, AKA Jen Bailey, you knew, you knew that I was going live before I went live. You were the first person to know that I was live. You were the first person to make a comment. Or oh, she slipped up in Amzies. Oh, naughty, naughty. You got to do better than that, Jen. You're rusty. You're a little rusty. My little troll. You're getting rusty. So, let me go to my studio my videos okay hold on like and subscribe everybody if you're new uh yeah jade i am live straight from youtube Straight from YouTube this morning. Subscribers only. Let's put one minute. Okay. Subscribers only mode for one minute. And let me go to my videos. Yes, yes, Sadie Lane. Yes, you are exactly right. All right, Jenny, you listening, Jenny? All right, I got to turn my Bluetooth off here. Let me know if you guys can hear this okay. Yeah. And it is edited. I did edit uh, this. Well, it's 30 minutes, 28 minutes long. It is edited, so their voices do sound a little crazy, but here we go. Oh. Hey, listen, I was watching the Tila Tequila thing, right? I've been watching this special because, like, it's showing her downfall. Oh, so I, watching, I was looking you up one time, and I see her after the massive breakdown, like after the show and everything, and I heard her say one day, I'm almost talking a bit with you, she was like, you, you I'm going to go through this because she's, you know. Yeah, 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 he sure is, Jay Travis, he sure is. I'm going to skip through here for a minute or two. You know who he is. We were doing, uh, okay, so anyway, I also had seen something come to mind. Um, okay, hold on. Attorney, because I got some kids that I have not, you know, been right. Right? Um, out of 12, you know what this woman did to me? I have the moderators, I've got like 50 moderators out of 12,000. You know what I mean? That's why I thought someone hit that like. And I'm not. Okay, so keep in mind, this man has absolutely no idea who any of us are, right? No clue. Paying attention to the comments. So y'all come in and mention XYZ. Jules and her moldy tampon, and I, I don't care. That was like, like, Jules and her moldy tampon. Like she always, she can't go anywhere and just chat about 
I don't know, anything, anything. She always has to bring us up. Why is that green goblin? Why, why is that? I know, Jade, it's craziness. I have the moderators, I've got like 50 moderators out of 12,000. You know what this woman did to me? I went up on her panel last night, right? Um, and I said, because somebody was talking shit, saying, oh, ski, she went in the ski's room crying. No, that was like an hour before, you stupid Rod Stewart looking bitch, in my opinion. Right? So this fucking hag, when I was in jail, she called the, uh, she called the district attorney because I got some kid that I have not spoken to in a year. You know who he is. We were doing, uh, Okay, so anyway, I also had somebody come to my hearing, and then this morning somebody wanted me to go to a trailer park and get in a fight, and it's like, no. Who lives in a trailer park? Who lives in a trailer park and wanted to fight Jen? I don't know. I don't know who, who this is. Oh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Hit the like button on your way in. Yeah, she said that somebody wanted her to go to a trailer park this morning and fight them. Like, what? What? She said that uh, Clint wears shirts that have cat piss on him. This chick literally sits at her house, crunch, crunch, crunch. And then I said, Jules, when's the last time you saw a therapist for real? She goes, Benny, how's Chloe? Yeah, my pug died. Yeah, that's something to celebrate, right, bitch? She's mad because... So five days ago, she said that her dog, Chloe, died. But now she's saying that somebody stole her. She's property. And somebody stole her away. Like, what? Another creator. Here's the thing, Jen. You went to jail. You left two dogs behind. Not one, but two. You left two dogs behind. Okay? What, 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 what were those? What, those dogs cannot fend for themselves, Jen. Therefore, a home needed to be found. For at least one of them, it is a lot. Hi, Stephen. Good morning. It is a lot to ask somebody to take in two dogs. Two dogs. Two dogs that, let's not forget, two dogs that pissed and shit in the house wherever they please, right? Wherever they please, piss and shit, right? They they were very unruly dogs. So it, it's a lot to ask somebody to take in two dogs. Therefore, so uh, I, I think it was her daughter. I'm pretty sure it was her daughter that found a home for one of said dogs, right? But now, and... In, 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 Here's the thing. You had a chance, I'm pretty sure, right off the rip when you got out of jail after your 52 days to 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 get said dogs back. What what happened? What happened? But here we are, a year later, a year later, still with the same shit. Her name is Cage. Uh, somebody went by her home and I got accused of it. So I went up on panel, mic'd out for a second because, of course, she wants to show me in my glory after I take a shower, something she also knows nothing about. And she weight shames people. Uh, she makes fun of my mother. She calls me Benny. Um, I self harmed because of this. Nobody makes fun of your mother. Nobody brings up your mother, Jenny. Okay? That's another lie that you told to see my Sandy. Okay, nobody talks about your, nobody cares. Nobody cares. That's the thing. I've got her live from last year where she was on his panel before jail. Do you, Jade? Is it on your channel? Jade, put your link in the chat for your channel. Freak, and she looks like you're abusive. I'm going to go make coffee. Let's, well, I'm going to have to wait because I'm hooked to this computer right now. I believe that Gary Busey is her twin. But she wanted on Love After Lockup because a guy that supported human sex trafficking and a female did not fare well because of it. 
Um, she was very angry that Clint and his ex-wife, rest in peace, were on the show, and she has spent years stalking me, making me her meat and potatoes. Go over to her channel, guys. Give that bitch a view. She deserves it. Who is it? Who are you talking about? Her name is Jules. You know, Jules thought, oh, okay, if you want to give it to me, you can. I'll play it. If not, it's fine, too. She desperately wants to be irrelevant, in your opinion. You're you're right, Stephen. You're right. And what was I going to say? I don't know. Let me go back a couple of seconds because I lost my train of thought. Yeah, she Who is it? Who are you talking about? Oh. There you go. There you go. Jules said the other day that she gained like, I don't know, 70 something subscribers. Like pretty much overnight. And maybe this is why. Maybe this is why. Maybe Jen going up on panel. And no worries, Jade. No worries. I forgot to bring the whole pot of coffee with me. <laughs> yes, Stephen. Yes. Next time, bring the whole pot. But Jules was like, you know, she's over 4,000. Good morning, Amanda. And uh, she thinks that somebody bought those 70-something subscribers for her to kind of mess with her. Well, maybe this is why. Maybe Jen going up on, on uh, Ski Mask Andy's panel and talking about her like this made people curious. and. They subscribe to her. I don't know. It's just a thought. It all happened around the same time. So this was five days ago. And I asked you to leave me alone, and that's why you're getting a TPO. You won't follow it, but you also played my FOIA request. She's been saying she's getting a TPO since like the beginning of March. She called 911. In Jules's town, she said she called uh, my police department, but there's nothing. There's nothing. I think she called the wrong place. Hold on, guys. I did not go by Big Supreme's house. I was at a freaking, I had to call the cops a couple um, nights ago because I had a panic attack. I thought I was having a heart attack. She had to call the cops a couple nights ago because she had a panic attack. Why, 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 why? The cops cannot help you ha with a panic attack. Like, do, the, do, do people not, like, question the things that come out of her mouth? I guess not. I guess it's us because we know her BS. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> right, Jade, right. And I had to tell these ambulance and the fire station to freaking turn their lights off. I have nobody better. I just know somebody that was on TV. I took a 13 month break and I'm going. You beat a man that was on TV. You belittled a man that was on TV, Jen. You are with him. Stupidly, he went back to you after your 52 days in jail. I, I don't know, Jade. That's a good question. It's a good question. I He's probably at work because I, I have seen her live a few times. And it seems like as soon as. Uh, Clint is around, she has to get off really quick before he knows that she's online. What scares me is how easy it is for her to lie and people who can't use logic actually believe her. Exactly, exactly. And Ski Mask Andy here, he's just like, he's very, very confused. Because again, he doesn't know us. He doesn't know us or anything about us or what's been going on or anything. So. He's he's very, very, very confused. 
I wonder if it's while he's at work too, because we don't hear him in the back like we did before. Exactly, exactly. Because he, she's not supposed to be online. She says later in this live that as soon as she gets the okay, she's going live again. Oh, really, Jade? Really? Well, maybe she's telling him, I'm not doing anything, and Jules is still coming after me. I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the cops because I haven't been online. I haven't done anything, Clint. I promise. I haven't done anything, and she's just coming at me. So I'm calling. My opinion, that's what's going on. She's very problematic. Very, very, very problematic. I need coffee. I have not had coffee. I've been up since 4.30 and I have not had coffee yet. So, yeah, that's, that's my opinion on, on that. On Clint being there <clears throat> in the background answering questions. So, but... Again, Ski Mask Andy knows, knows nothing about us. Don't know who we are from anybody, right? Um, and she just, he thinks she's going to come up there and like chat. But in all reality, she starts spewing all this shit because she can't help herself. She can't help herself. Shit, I didn't put a trash bag in the trash can. Um... She can't help herself. It's my my opinion. So what are you guys up to this morning? Make my coffee really quick and then we'll go back in there. But yeah, it's just it's craziness. It's craziness. That that's that's one of the ways that you know that Jen is lying whenever she yawns. Yes, like you ask her a question, she yawns. She's lying. Like, that's a big one for her. That's a big one for her. Can I mute really quick? I don't want to hurt y'all's ears with my eyes here. Hold on. Okay. All right. I didn't want to hurt your ears. So, yeah, it's just it's craziness. About to wake the kids up and get them ready for school. I'll be in the bushes for a little bit. No worries, Amanda. No worries. Thanks for hopping in. So, yeah, and, you know, later on in this live, Jen wants me to show my arms. I'm the worst of them all, right? I have probably done the least to Jen, the least of everybody. I, out of all of, out of everybody, I've probably done the least to her, but yet I'm the worst. Sure, everything's, uh, everything's okay, Jen and Barrett. How are you doing this morning? I'm making my ass coffee. Yeah, everything's fine. The grandkids have the day off here. My granddaughter says, you're pretty. Tell her I said thank you, Stephen. Show my arms. For what, track marks? Jen. Yeah. Show my arms. You want to see my arms? Okay. See my arms? Got a tattoo there. Okay. There's nothing there. Nothing there. You see my arms? Yes, that's what she said. Yeah. That's exactly what she said. Sure did. She sure did. I forgot to put honey in my coffee. Um, I found some elderberry infused honey. And I've been putting a little bit of it in my coffee. 
it does drive her crazy, Sadie Lane. It does. But I've been putting a little bit of this elderberry infused honey in my coffee every day, and I forgot it. You got to do it when it first starts because it's iced coffee. Um, so it'll kind of melt a little bit, but I forgot. I forgot. So what's everybody got planned for today? Hi, MTT. Good morning. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. I still need to catch up. Uh, Siwa and John were live whenever I woke up this morning. And I uh, listened to them until Siwa finished her live. But, but yeah, I, my, my butt was asleep. Good morning, allegedly. Yes, it's raining again. My husband uh, messaged me. I don't know two minutes after he left the house this morning and said right down the road here when you turn off of my street there was a tree in the middle of the road he had to get out and kind of move it out of the way a little bit so he can get by good morning Sophie Queen Cindy good morning good morning but yeah I uh I fell asleep with my earbud in listening to John and I woke up sometime in the middle of the night and it was still playing in my ear and um, it was the 911 call that Ellie did. That's when I woke up. Then I fell back asleep. I ended up making two coffees, so I need to put some more flavoring in here. Sugar-free caramel flavoring with some vanilla creamer, Chobani creamer. But yes, I've already had my water this morning. Time for coffee. And we also realized this morning before my husband left that there, there's a leak in the roof. It's sugar free. It's sugar free. It's zero everything. It'll be fine. It'd be different if it had like sugar and calories and all that stuff in it, but got one here see zero everything zero 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 mm -hmm. yeah yeah it is it is much hair is wet on the side so so yeah, he put his uh, hand on the chair this morning, like getting like his boots on or something. And he was like, oh no. I'm like, what? He was like, the chair is wet. The roof's got to be leaking. I was like, great. It only does that when it rains really hard. So yeah, it's leaking. So he's going to have to fix that this weekend. So yeah. I need to, I'm going to put a trash bag in my trash can really quick. Um, I need to renew my Sam's Club membership and get a uh, power washer. They have a power washer out there that I, I want to get. No, it does not taste like coffee. I do not like coffee that tastes like coffee. It has to taste like something else I can taste the coffee a little bit because I made two but yeah no. you know me Jenna Barrett
you know me. I can't have, uh, yes, it's like Costco, yeah. It's like the bulk items and stuff like that. But they also have like the furniture and the household stuff. So, yeah, it's like Costco. Um, and I only go there, I don't know, like twice a year, three times a year. So it doesn't even like seem like it's worth it for the membership. But whenever I don't have the membership and then I go to like Walmart or whatever to get toilet paper, or paper towels, it's like, shit, this stuff's expensive. I may as well get my Sam's membership back. You know? So yeah, there's that. Right, Amanda? Yes, I want it to taste good and I want the caffeine. That's, that's exactly that's exactly it. So let's go back in the bedroom and finish this. Really, Amanda? See, I I only get which I do like, you know, grocery pickup every week. I, uh, I don't, I, I do not go into Walmart or any Kroger's anywhere. I don't, I can't, I can't handle people. So going to Sam's is like a big thing for me. It's a big thing. So, yeah. Thank you, Queen Bee. Thank you so much. Had a get together last weekend, and I think everybody is going to buy a Ninja Maker. I gave them a wee demo. I should get commission. The coffee maker? Jen and Barrett, the coffee maker that we bought? See if I need to touch up any of my curls before I move on, turn it off. My real hair, I have extensions, guys. If the people that don't know, I have extensions. But my real hair is getting really long. Like, this is my top layer. It's good, you know, it's long. And then this is my bottom layer. You know, my bottom layer is really long, almost as long as my extensions are. But good morning, Wind Whispers. Really, allegedly? Yes, no children allowed in the chat. Only this is the 18 and over. 18 and over chat demo for you guys how I curl my hair I know um, the I don't know it's probably the second year we moved in here my husband wanted to do a greenhouse outside you see there's the curl wanted to do a greenhouse out you know out back and I'm like and, but the one that he was explaining in his head, I was like, that's too big. I just want something, I want something small. You know, I don't want and or need a big greenhouse. I don't. So, but this, one of the people that, uh, I guess, I hate calling people influencers. Um, but one of the people that I watch on Instagram um, just like her and her husband built a greenhouse. Oh, and, and now I really want one. No kids. We do too much bad mouthing over here to have kids over here. You remind me of the girl from back in the day. 
Is that a movie? But yes, um, uh, now I want a greenhouse. And allegedly, are you on Instagram? Are you going to be posting pictures of said greenhouse? Oh, no, 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 Cindy. No, we can't be doing all that. No kids allowed. Hi, Rose. How are you? Good morning. Ooh, Stephen, that would be cool, too. You know what? That would be cool, too. So, a couple weeks ago, like this wall back here, Yes, please post, please post. Um, this wall back here has my closet, my bed, my closet my, in my bedroom. And whenever we were remodeling the bathroom, I took half of my closet in my bedroom to make more room in the bathroom, right? So this wall had to be like, you know, demoed and I had to like build on, you know what I'm saying? And it, it just didn't look, I, I don't know, it just didn't look good anymore. So I bought some wallpaper. I bought brick wallpaper. And, and put it on the wall. And see, there's my closet. There used to be two of those doors side by side. Now there's just one. But I put brick wallpaper up. And I love how it turned out. There's the little chihuahua picture. I hung it in my hallway. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, get, I get what you're saying, Argilla. I get what you're saying. Thank you. Your driveway is flooded. I haven't been outside yet, but my husband did message me and say that he had to move a tree out of the road, like as soon as you turn off of my road. Um, so it, evidently it did storm really bad last night. Hi, Drazo, the stud of YouTube. How are you? I need to play around with these that I got yesterday from Five Below. I need to play around with them. It comes with adapters. I guess that's for, but yeah, I need to play around with them. Somebody uh, was in my comments from my live yesterday showing these and was like, will you show us how those work? And I'm like, as soon as I figure out how they work, yeah, sure. But you love your chihuahua. Sophie was my chihuahua. That's who I named my channel from is her. Yes, allegedly is here. Allegedly comes in, says hi, and, you know, usually that's it. But, yeah, she's here. Oh, and it has both of these different adapters. I have this one on my MacBook. I'm going to unplug it in. See, they're not lighting up. Oh, there's a power button here, maybe. Nope, not a... I'm going to have to play around with him. I know, Selfie, I know. I like it when allegedly comes in. But yeah, it doesn't have power. <laughs> even though it's plugged in. I don't know. I'll play around with it. We'll get it figured out. But the little ears light up pink. 
I know, Jato. I know. I don't, it didn't come with any instructions either. Has an adjustable microphone. Yeah, it's supposed to light up. I don't know. We'll figure it. We'll, we'll play around with it later. I have one of the adapters for this. I have one of the adapters for my MacBook. So I'll... I'll play with that later. Play with that later. They were like eight bucks at five below. I thought they were cute. Oh, really? Selfie Queen Cindy? That's crazy. Yeah, it's storming bad everywhere. It's not raining right now. There's a flag out there, and the flag is like blowing. It's moving a lot, so. Good morning, Ghost Face. You're up early. I've been up for three and a half hours. Have you tried talking through the mouthpiece? Maybe that will help the ears light up. No, no, Shauna. No, I've, I don't know nothing about these things. No. I thought my hair was going to fly off. You're funny. Let me try that, Shauna. Hello, hello, hello. No, nothing. And it's got a little switch here. And it's not lighting up when I press the button either. Yes, Steven. See, it's, it doesn't have any power. Siri, get off of here. Okay, Siri. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, look. Five below, Stephen. Five below, look. They light up pink. They have these that will fit adults, and then they have some that's smaller for, for littler kids. They had all different kinds out there, different colors, everything. Let me let Johnny Mac know I'm live. Good morning, Bliss Chris. How are you? Sorry, guys. Has anything drastic happened since the eclipse? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. So, I barely... Yeah, and... Hi, Andrea. I, uh, I need to get the adapter piece that I have for my MacBook. So, I can plug the adapter piece in and plug it into my MacBook. I'll try that later. But thank you. Good morning, Johnny Mac. Do you love them, Andrea? But you, I've told you guys, like, I don't use hairspray products, nothing like that, very often in my hair. But this, the Navy brand hairspray is really good. It's flexible, volumizing hairspray. And it also has, like, humidity control in it, too. And, uh... It, it keeps your hair from, you know, losing its curl and getting frizzy, all the things that humidity does to your hair. Awesome, Andrea. I can't wait to use them. I was, like, so excited but iffy to get them because they were only, like, eight bucks. But it's good hairspray, and I don't feel like I have hairspray in my hair whenever I use it. 
because I hate the feel of product in my hair, you know. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Wind Whispers. Hey, Shauna. So, navy. Navy. Um, I have that. I have the uh, texture spray. If you don't like hairspray, texture spray is a good option. Same, Selfie Queen Cindy, same. But this stuff, like after like it dries and you kind of like, you know, mess with your curls, it doesn't feel like anything's in your hair. I am the same way. <laughs> MDT. But if you don't like hairspray, texture spray might be an option. Um, it's uh, the Navy Pebble Beach Dry Texture Spray. A little bit of this goes a very long way. A very long way. And then I have this. I put in my hair when my hair is wet, like the once a week I wash my hair. It's the Navy Whirlpool. It is argon oil and green tea powered styling foam. And it just gives me like a little volume at my roots and I, I use this once a week when I wash my hair but for those of you wondering what I use on my hair this is what I use in my hair the navy pro brand products um they're sold at tj maxx but they also have a website and um, the next time I see a sale, I'll let you know. Thank you, Drazo. I'll let you know because I caught all of these on a 50% off sale. They don't have those very often, but I got a 50% uh, percent off sale. So, yeah, that's why I got the big. They have, like, the smaller versions of these, and then they have, like, the big ones. And uh, that's why I got the, the large ones. Because I got them 50% off. Good morning, BB. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I know, Chris, Chris. I know I do, too. But you know what? Here's my thing. I can't find them at my TJ Maxx. I can't. I can't find them there. Um, but if you're at TJ Maxx, go over to the hair products and look for the Navy brand. They, it, It's good. Because like I said, like for years, I would not put any kind of any product in my hair because I hate how it felt. Like like Cindy, I hate the feeling of, of some of products in my hair. But this stuff, I don't, I don't even feel like, like, I, look, I just sprayed that hairspray on my hair and I'm literally running my fingers through my curls. So there's that. So yeah, any other hairspray, it would have been, I don't know, different. Excuse me, my nose is runny this morning. My allergies are acting up. So I will downplay my eyes and go straight to hair products. No more purses. No more. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Bliss Chris. You're funny. Um, so the reason I come on here is um is my hair color more like a caramel um well indoors it is but when I go outside it's like blonde it's blonde blonde outside but but yeah and this is like more like my natural color like uh I got a couple of highlights in the top of it 
Is it Jen and Barrett? Oh my goodness. I'll find next time I find a sale, I'll I'll send you the link. Because like I said, I got a 50% off sale. Um I had a couple highlights put in the top of it to hide my my gray and my silver. But that's it. And before that, and that's been four months ago. And before that, it was, gosh, almost two years before I had any color or anything on my hair. Yeah, it's like a honey blonde. Yeah, that's what it is, MTT. It's more like a honey blonde. No, no worries. No worries, Andrea. And that's the thing with blonde hair. Like, I need to get it toned because I don't know if it's picking it up on on a, on screen, but a couple of pieces on this side are starting to get brassy. Yeah, these pieces right here are starting to get brassy, and my, my purple shampoo is not, not cutting it. So whenever I go, a week and a half from now, she's going to tone it for me. But. I've never, I've not used those, Bliss Chris. I've not used those. Like I said, I don't, you know, usually put product on my hair until I found this stuff. Good morning, Wicked. Yes, Mikhail, blondes do have more fun. So, the the title of this live. Jen Bailey takes panel with Ski Mask Andy. I have <laughs> uploaded five days ago. She was on panel with him. And just talked about us the whole time. Like, you're on panel with somebody. You're on panel with somebody from another community. Talk about other things besides us, Jen. And for those of you that wasn't here when I first started, like, maybe this is where Jules got those 70-something subscribers from. Maybe. Because Jen literally talked about Jules the whole time that she was the whole 28 minutes she was up there with Ski Mask Andy. She literally talked about Jules. She spelled her name for everybody. And uh, maybe that's maybe that's where those subscribers come from. Oh, I did. Whenever I was uh, setting this life up, I did um, see a spot where you can, like, invite a guest. You can have one other pers person on panel with you. So I just have to, like, copy the link and send it to whoever wants to come up. But, yeah. No, Wind Whispers. You know, he, he, had, he was clueless. Absolutely clueless on who anybody she was talking about. But um, I am going to play a couple minutes more of that. Thank you to everybody that has subscribed this morning to my channel. It's much appreciated. I am monetized. So super chats, super stickers, gifted memberships, all of that stuff is available if you choose. I've noticed that shampoo seems harsher than in the 80s. What did she say? I make my own shampoo and conditioner bars. My hair seems like that treatment. Yeah, yeah, I follow, and I think I sent it to Kendra, um, of a creator that I follow that makes her own shampoo. And her hair looks good. It does. Her hair does look good. Um, 
but but yeah, I've I've not tried it. I don't know what they're adding to it, but it's different. It is different. I must agree. So I'm going to play a couple more minutes of this and then we'll talk about it. I need to go blow my nose. Fill my vape up. I love Brad Mondo for what drugstore Walmart products is best for hair. Yeah. Um, it, it is a good idea. It is. I just wouldn't, I just don't really know where to begin. I must have slept wonky last night because my lashes are like weird this morning. Weird this morning. Ghost face. Did your lashes come? Coconut water with banana peel works great in a spray bottle. Hmm, interesting, Andrea. What are you, when you are in this platform, I can move around on my phone and this creates a window unlike other times where I have to stay on YouTube. Well, that's cool, Jen and Barrett. That's good. So people don't usually notice, but sometimes it's not their product, but from the harsh chemicals added to our water, that does not help. Wind whispers, you're right. You're right. And I think that's partly why my hair is like getting brassy because it never does that. Never does that. And I'm going to tell you what I did. I'm going to tell you what I did. Uh, you know, we got, did the bathroom, right? I'm going to take you guys in there. Because I have not shown you guys what it looks like in here. It still needs cleaned up. We're still working on it. But my bathroom. There's my wall. There's my mirrors. Can I turn it around? Yes, I can. But my camera is cracked. But you guys can still see. My vanity. We built that vanity. We built that. And these are the knobs that I decided to go with. We got the little flowers on top for the little tip out drawers. And then these for the big drawers. And look what I did. I still have to put the these uh, contact paper in the bottom. But I took wallpaper and put it all around on the inside and the outside of my drawers. But we built that. <laughs> My camera is broken. I hate it. And uh, there's that. Here is the cabinet that I got to put all of our towels and washcloths and stuff like that in. Like I said, we still have to clean up in here. We're not finished. But the wallpaper, the wallpaper, I put it in there too. So that wallpaper matches that thing so I'm trying to like tie everything together right and that textured canvas is I'm wanting to put on this wall here above the cabinet because it's a big wall a great big empty wall right and then toilet room I gotta put it we still have to put a door here <laughs> And we need to get the fan for up there so my husband can wire all this stuff in and put a thing on that. But yeah, and we got heated heated floors, and that's the thermostat for the heated floors. But yeah, yeah. But my shower. My shower, right? Shower filter right there. I have a shower filter right there. My blonde dumbass was not thinking and I was washing. I don't wash my hair in the shower. I was taking this piece because it comes off, right? I was taking this piece and washing my hair. 
not thinking that the shower filter is not hooked up to this. It's only hooked up to that one, the big one, because it kind of splits off here and the shower filter does not filter this water. It only filters that water. And I found a black shower filter, which I'm amazed that I actually found, but, but that's why. That's why, because I was, I've been using regular tap water on my hair instead of filtered water on my hair. So that's why I'm brassy. Thank you, Shauna. Oh, I know, Mikkel. It's so fun. It's so much fun. Thank you, Jen and Barrett. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Bliss Chris. Thank you. Because here's my thing. I wanted, no matter, no matter what, no matter what I did, it would still match, right? Everything would still, still match. I wouldn't get tired of it, you know? So that's why I went with the black and the white and the concrete floor. And then I am throwing in shades of green in there. And no matter what, I could switch out that accent color and, and it'll match, right? So we're not finished but we're getting there and we've been working on that vanity for a few weeks now. Thank you, MTT. No, we have city water. We have city water. It's just not good water. Because Jen and Barrett, whenever you have like, well, number one, when you filter your shower, Thank you, Amanda. Yeah, the sinks I love. Listen, all of my hardware in there, like my shower, my sinks, all of that stuff came from, no, worry, no worries, Barbie. Good morning, my friend. Good, good morning. All came from Amazon. I know, Andrea, and that's what I was worried about whenever I was uh, looking at that online, I was like, I don't know how real realistic it's going to look. Oh, easy. Thank you. Thank you, easy. No, seriously, thanks. But I wasn't so sure how realistic this brick wallpaper was going to look. But if you look at it, it looks pretty dang realistic to me. No problem. Siri. Thank you, Andrea. You're close to the finish line. Just some final touches. That's awesome. We just took the carpet out of our upstairs and put down a beautiful gray vinyl flooring, and I love it. Yes. We have, uh, well, you know, all through my house, I have, like, black flooring, right? In here, it's white. It's white in here, and then it's black all through the house, and then it's gray in the bathroom. And then we've got the gray floor in here. And then we've got the black floor all through the house, all the way to the front door. Oh, my nose. So, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We've been working on this bathroom for, a, for, for almost, well, May will be a year. We started at May of last year. I think I might look for that to do under my cabinets in my kitchen. What is that, Andrea? Andrea. 
have a brick wallpaper in an accent wall too. Imagine that you and I and sing again. I know it happens a lot, Jen and Barry. It happens a lot. Plus, what I was telling you guys the other day, wanting to redo the black wall in my um, living room. Well, that light's not going to help any. I'm about to open this shade here. <clears throat> Show you guys. I got. I got some of the brick paneling from Lowe's, put it on a wall, and then took like joint compound over top of it and made it look like a distressed brick. Let me see how well this shows up for you guys. Yeah, distressed brick. I did. And it's like the whole wall. But I'm going to do this in my living room on the big black wall. Isn't that pretty? It turned out really good. You guys can't see it that well because my camera's broke. But good morning, Snark. But yeah, that is, I took the, the brick paneling they have at Lowe's, came home, put it on my wall, took joint compound, and went over it. It was a, it was a weekend project. Um, because I'm so OCD, it was a weekend pro project, but I took joint compound and just went over top of the brick and left, you know, exposed brick and whatever. And then over here, we have one of like the, the, the lines where two pieces join together. And it's a, just like a little bit more distressed here than the other side but I still think it turned out great plus after I was finished as it dried it had like a yellowy tint to it and I didn't like it so I went over the spots like the large areas like I just showed you with the joint compound and I painted white over top of that and it's just like blended in so perfectly. But that's what I want to do to that black wall in my living room. Yeah, you know, Andrea, whenever I'm doing stuff like this, like, you know, redecorating or renovating or doing stuff like that, my OCD is crazy. I love gray flooring. My house flooded in 2016. We had to renovate everything. I wanted gray flooring, but it didn't match my staircase. I wish I would have put it in my bedroom. Yeah. Like here, I don't know if they have them where any of you live, but they have like a discount flooring place here. And they have any flooring that you can imagine, right? And that's where I got all my flooring from, except for the bathroom. My white flooring, and, and it's super thick stuff. It's not that super thin stuff that you get at like Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. It's like really thick vinyl flooring. And I got, that's where I got the, well, we started in the bedroom with it. We got the white for in here in the bedroom because I got this, well, this wall, the brick wall used to be black. And then I've got this black wall here. You've got that black wall there. So I wanted white floors to kind of brighten it up. And then, that's a really good idea. My black splash is fake brick, not cute, but I have white cabinets. So the joint compound will look good with the cabinets. Yes, Stephen, do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. It'll look great. It'll make it look brand new again. You know what I'm saying? Um, so we start, we got that discount flooring just to try it out for our bedroom. Because what's it going to hurt, right? And that was February of like winter. I think it was February of like 2021. And it's three years now. Can you scroll up for my question? Oh, sorry, MTT. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hold on. 
I'm not paying attention. How much did the brick wall paper cost you to cover the whole wall? Um, I got it from Amazon MTT. And I think it was like maybe $40 for the whole wall. And it's a big wall. It is. It's a big wall. It was about 40 bucks. You know the footage, which your husband would know how to do that. Measure the square footage of the wall. And I can send you the link to this wallpaper. They had three different colors of it. MTT. Mm. Yeah, Andrea. Yeah. So we started in here. Like we, uh, we were renovating the living room. And the old part of the living room. Yes, MTT. I will send you the link to it. I sure will. Um. we had we had you know put an addition onto the living room and the old part of the living room had hardwood floor but that hardwood floor was so old that there it is that um it couldn't be matched up so we had to look for all new flooring everywhere so we got this flooring for in here in the bedroom. Loved it. So we uh, tried the black flooring for the bedroom. I mean, for the living room. And we just decided to go ahead and put it all through the house. I'm trying to find you, MTT. There you are. There you go. I sent it to you. Thank you, Easy. Yes, I think Easy is new where I'm on YouTube. A lot of new people are finding me. So we got the black flooring. And I was like, screw it. Let's just get it for. From the front door of the living room to the back door of my uh, dining room. Because it's like all one big open space, right? So. We just got the, just redid it all. It was all hardwood flooring. And because of like 10 feet that we added on to the living room, we had to redo the whole thing. So. But. Um, I am also going to put um, the vanity in the living room i mean in the bathroom i'm going to put um trim around the the drawers and everything so yes andrea sure did came from amazon i got it um around black friday the heated floors that we put under the floor in the bathroom um came from amazon we got it around black friday and it was like ungodly cheap um but it's still a lot cheaper than everybody else because my husband is an electrician and a plumber so and he's been in construction his whole life you know so we, I have a vision on how I want something to look. And then he helps me, he helps me get there. What was your question? My eyes are so beautiful. Thank you. 
What was the question? I don't know. But he helps me. He, I, I, Like I said, I have a vision and he helps me get there. He says this vanity, this vanity has been like, you know, the topping on the cake. It's been the hardest for him of everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Andrea, yeah. So I got a two in one. Yeah, it's like a jack of all trades here. So, yeah. I, I don't know, MTT. I don't know. Um, maybe because it's a floating vanity and there's more to it. I don't know. I don't know. He didn't say. But whenever he came home, um, Andrea. Okay, Johnny Mac, I, I sent you the link, didn't I? Oh, no, 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 I didn't, no, I didn't, no, I didn't, hold on, if it, I don't know if this is going to exit me out, I don't know, guys, I'll, I'll be right back. Not letting me. Add guest. Copy link. Instagram just now. I just realized this morning um, that I can add one guest to my stream. Really MTT exciting. Exciting. So yeah. I think I need to That's awesome MTT. That's fun. It's exciting. Sunday. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Okay. So Monday, whenever we had the eclipse, um, we had like, you know, 80 to 90% here. My husband left work early and uh, he left at lunchtime and came home. And we did the, the wallpaper that I showed you inside the drawers. We did that, plus he put the tracks on the on the drawers to make them slide. Okay, there's that. I'm, I'm multitasking here, guys. But that's when he told me that this uh, vanity has been like the topping on the cake of everything. Hi, Celia. Yeah, I went live straight from YouTube, so I don't know if pe many people got a notification. But, oh, I'm sure you did, MTT. I'm sure you did. Thank you for the for everybody that's subscribing. No worries, Wicked. No worries. I'm leaving this up. Just a bunch of chit chatting. So I was thinking about like recording myself, like cleaning. You know, there's these people that like clean on their YouTube and post it and. They have so many view, views on it, but I was thinking about doing that because where we've been like renovating forever, my house is a wreck. 
It is. My house is a wreck. I need to organize. I need to clean. I need, I need to do it all. So, but yeah, uh, Johnny Mac, I sent you the link on Instagram to come up. That's good, MTT. That's good. That's good. And your daughter is very, very smart. You know, she's a she's a very smart young lady. So good, good. Mimi, what are you doing? So yeah, she'll be okay. Coffee's what I needed, guys. Mm -hmm. She is MTT. She really is. So, yeah, that's how come I'm getting brassy in my hair. I thought I was using filtered water, but I was not. So, she's going to have to fix it when I go back. And the purple shampoo is just not cutting it. Like it did a little on this side. It's a little brighter. But, yeah. Yeah. And we've set up my home gym. Oh, Mikkel, no, 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 no. You know what I do a lot of mornings, and I didn't even think about it this morning, is I'll take like a protein shake and I'll use it as my creamer. That way I still I'm getting protein because you know we we're we're not meat eaters, so we can't get our protein in that way. Mm. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No ham. No turkey. Mm -mm. But um, but yeah. Since we're not meat eaters, so I have to like get protein in any way that I can. So I've been buying protein shakes and using a protein shake as my creamer, and then I'll froth it and put some on the top. Yes, Jen and Barrett, she, she's in the other room. She's sleeping in the other room. I've, uh, she's getting a lot better. Um, she's starting to settle down some. So I'm able to lay her down, put her in her, her cage so I can, so I can go live and do what I need to do. That sounds like a good idea. My protein powder tastes like caramel too. So it would add flavor. Yes, Mikkel. Yes, 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 yes. Do that. Do that. Mm -hmm. I, 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 uh, I have like the coffee pods. I have Snickers coffee pods. So it's like a caramel and chocolate mix. Um, I use caramel flavoring. That's sugar-free, no calories, all of that. <gasps> no MTT. Oh, my goodness. Chihuahuas are the best dogs in the world. That's what Sophie was, was a chihuahua. And she was the absolute best dog in the world. She was. She was. Um, she went everywhere with me absolutely everywhere with me. She's been all over the East Coast. She's been all the way in like the Pennsylvania, New York border, all the way to Florida and everywhere in between. She went to Salem, Massachusetts with us when we went. She has, she went everywhere with us. And then like February of 2022, she started getting sick. Like we took her to the vet. She had degenerative bone and disc disease. So she had trouble walking. The vet said she would, she was six. The vet said she would probably live to be like 10 years old. She immediately started going downhill. Like, it got to the point where she had zero quality of life. I She laid around all day, which, you know, she did anyway, but she got up when she wanted to, you know. 
but she, uh, it got to the point where I would have to pick her up, take her outside, set her in the grass. She would do her business. And then I would have to pick her back up and take her inside and lay her in her bed. I had to put her food and her water right there in front of her. She just, she couldn't do anything. She was six years old, MTT. She was only six. And November of 2022, she was like congested. And I could hear it when she breathed. She was like congested. And I took her to the vet thinking I was going to get some medicine for her and, you know, bring her back home. No, <laughs> no. She, uh, she, uh, her heart had in, was enlarged and it was enlarged so much that it was pushing onto her both lungs and her lungs were pushing onto her rib cage and she couldn't catch a breath. She could not catch a breath. Hello, Johnny Mac. Hey, what's up? Hey. Yep, she was only six years old. So the day that we took her to the vet thinking, you remember that day, don't you, Johnny Mac? I remember that day. Yeah. Um, we took her to the vet thinking, you know, and the vet was like, I don't think that she'll make it through the night. Like, it's so bad. And uh, we ended up having to put her to sleep that day. But yeah, she was sick. So I'm so excited. If you, you get a Chihuahua MTT, you're going to love that little dog so much. How are you? Um, I'm all right. I'm doing. It's cold and rainy still here, man. It's, I'm, I'm tired of it. I hate yeah, the rain. Yeah, here too. It, you know, it's... uh. You think it's going to warm up, and now it's cold again, man. I, I can't. I can't. I can't with the weather here. It sucks. Same. Same here. Same here. What's our um, our roof is leaking in the living oh, room. Geez. Found that out this morning. Wonderful. Well, you got, uh, well, he, he can fix it. Yeah. He said, you know, this weekend it's supposed to warm up. Um, But, yeah, my whole chair, my chair, I have like a chair sitting there. And the whole side of the chair is wet. Wow, oh, geez. Do you have a dehumidifier? I do downstairs. If you run that thing right next to it, it'll it'll do wonders in drying it out. Okay. All right, because it's it's an I mean and it's a good chair. <laughs> it's a good expensive chair. It came from Ashley. It matches my couch. But yeah, the whole side of it's soaking wet. Yeah, you want to get that out as quickly as possible. Dry it out real good. I would, mm -hmm. I would run a dehumidifier right up next to it. it I'm telling you, man, it, it, you'll be surprised at how dry it gets, how quickly. I have an upholstery cleaner. I was thinking about taking that to it and kind of sucking the yep. water out of it. Yep, yep. That way it cleans it too a little. You can maybe use a little cleaner in it too yeah. and give it a good once over. That's what I was thinking. It. That's what I was thinking. But it's supposed to be just like partly cloudy over the weekend. So, yeah. Right so, the wrong what I miss on the uh, Ben Jaley stuff. So, she was on uh, ski masks, huh? Yeah, I've only played a couple minutes of it. And then I made coffee and started talking and never went back to it. But um, well, I, can, I can play it. But... Um, I don't think he can. I don't think he gives two shits about no. any of us. Uh, I think he he's on here to make us. some money. Yeah, he's hustling. He's on. He's on here to make a couple bucks. He doesn't give a shit about the nonsense. I mean, from what I know of him, and I don't know much, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, she was talking a lot about Jules, and I was saying I think that's where Jules got those seventy something subscribers from to push her over four thousand was her being on his panel talking about Jules, even spelled her name out so they can find her. There it is. So I'm pretty sure that's where that the, those subscribers come from. Promotion. Promotion is a wonderful thing. Yep. Yep. That's Not where in every form. From. You know, I guess some forms of it suck, but, you know, like that, that's, if you want to uh, get over on somebody, 
don't mention their name. Don't plug their show. Don't talk about them. I mean, <laughs> you're doing them favors. You know, like the dick riders that are talking about me constantly. Right, right. Allegedly, Ski Mask Andy is a content creator that has been around for a long time. He used to be in the, was it the IRL? What was that community he was a part of, guys, and he got kicked out? <laughs> I can't remember. But he was a part of them. He got ended up getting kicked out of that community. And um, he's just been on, on his own since trying to, you know, scrape up money from wherever he can get it. Um, he has a lot of e legal issues. Uh, Ski Mask Andy is way better looking than Clint GB. Just a thought. You are you are right, Clark Kent. You when you're right, you're right. He is. He is. But but Clark Kent, the IP2 community. That's it. He used to be part of the IP2 community. And but Clark Kent, Ski Mask Andy does not have Miss Alice's money. That's why she's staying. So, yeah, he's in and out of jail quite a lot. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Is that where he went? He, I remember he was he was on all the time. They whoop, disappeared. Yeah, he Just was in like, jail. Yeah, he was in jail. But, did he gain uh, any weight? Probably not. The poor fellow, uh, he's a skinny guy. He looked more healthier than he did. Okay, he does. cool. He does. Jail has a tendency to do that, put weight on people, because mm -hmm. they feed you nothing but starch. That's why. Yeah. Yeah, very true. Very, very true. Clint looks awful lately. I didn't know better. I'd say he's using and hiding it. Yes, MTT, they both are. Yeah, they're, they're using. Both, in my opinion, they're, they're using. using. They're using. And from what uh, Sly and D has said, from when they were friends with Jen, from when she got out of jail, that she was open to them about what she was doing. So, yeah. Yes, no, Frank on the crack. Not, on it. Uh, he's not streaming from his bathroom anymore. <laughs> Ski mask handy. Um, walked in Siwa this morning, and she said that Green Goblin was Jen's sock account, one of Jen's sock accounts, that she oh, accidentally uh, typed in Amzie's chat <laughs> as Green Goblin. Right? I love it when that happens. Yeah. So this morning, Ski Mask Andy was live. I was listening to it for a couple minutes. And who was in the chat? Green Goblin. And I set up this live and literally two minutes later hit the live button. Right before I was getting ready to hit the live button, guess who commented? Uh huh. Green Goblin. Telling me to stop stalking people. Well, ma'am, if you knew that I was going live not even two minutes after I set the damn thing up and you commented before I hit the live button, think you're stalking me. That's what she does. She stalks people mm -hmm. and then she says, you're stalking me. Yeah. yeah yes, they don't MPP, work yes. like that. I'm mm -hmm. sorry to tell you. But whatever, man. That just shows you the craziness. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Maggie. Yes. Yes, MTT. <laughs> she was the first person to comment in here. And, and I tried to get her to come up. I was going to give her the link. I tried to get her to come up. But I don't know. I guess after I called Green Goblin out for being Jen Bailey, she, she didn't want to comment anymore. Figures. Coward. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah. Yeah. So it looks like I'm probably going to be live all day today. <laughs> it's almost nine o'clock and I have a live set for 11. <laughs> yeah, well, run. It, it is what it is. Life. It is what it is. I, you so, know, one thing that I saw <laughs> that I'll bring up mm -hmm. is, uh, well, everybody knows that I, I, I've, I've made mention several times of how I messaged a stand up guy, asked him why the fuck he was attacking jewels and things like that. So, he apologized to Jules. I know all that. So he posted this thing in his community tab, and it's um, oh fuck, I'm on my phone. Uh, but uh, it it says something like 
uh, maggot, why are you uh, posting my wife? I didn't post yours, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I'd like to ask him the same question because he mm -hmm. did that to me. Went after my wife for no fucking reason other than to get my attention. And right. uh, just saying, you know, like it, it's another example of hypocrisy. But I saw that and I had a little chuckle about it. I was like, okay, so and here he is. He, how he doesn't ago, like when people do that. How long ago did he post your wife? Oh, it's been, it's probably a year ago. Well, but uh, not you know, saying he, it's okay, but he refuses to apologize, and uh, you know, and, and and I'm gonna keep calling him out till the end of time, I guess. You know, an asshole is an asshole. I mean, if he was to apologize for that, because now he knows what it's like, right? If he was to apologize for that, then okay, it's you know, growth and maturity online. My opinion. But he's not apologizing, so... No, he's not going to apologize. So there's that. Yeah, so yeah, she got busted. Big time busted. I was at Target a couple weeks ago. And I found a, like, a workout set. Got the, the top. And it's got like a bra and a bra and it's two different colors. I got that top. And then I got the shorts to match and it's super cute. I haven't even tried it on to see if it fits yet. Do you want to know why I really can't, another reason I can't stand them? I'm a, I'm war, I don't know if, if, if you want to even want me to play this. He uses Good the point. N word. Well, Listen to this, guys. Like this, but that's a straight up fucking nigga move. Like this, but that's a straight up fucking nigga move. Fuck you. You got an issue with me being a fucking racist. Turn off the fucking channel. Go somewhere fucking else. That's my problem. Well. That's my problem. That's why he won't apologize to my wife. That's why he has a problem with me. Wow. Okay. Just say it. Wow. Okay. Hmm. I mean, it is what uh, I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. I just guy. want, I, I want people to know in case you don't know, that is what's in his heart. That's how he feels about the situation. Just, you know, just to get a little truth out there. That's right. the reason for the hate towards my family. It is what it is. I don't know him. I've never watched him. I've never had a conversation with him. None of that. But I have heard different things that he has said. Things like this, like, like what you just played. I have heard clips here and there. Um, he was also with Tony Pizza talking about me. And you, and I, I, I don't know these people, you know. That's, now, now look, I'm not going to, when uh, somebody does something uh, at, that, that deserves credit, I'll give credit where credit's due. He is doing a really good job calling out the scumbags for their, their BS. He is. Um, he does it differently than I would, but, uh, you know. This is one of the things that I just can't get over. This is something that I, you know, cannot look past if I was to, well, whatever. It is what it is. You can't get along with everybody. Not everybody's going to like you. And that's just the way the world is. And I'm, and I'm cool with that. Right. Right. Guys, I just put a poll in the chat if you guys want to. Answer yes or no. Is Jen Bailey, a.k.a. Green okay. Goblin, a stalker? Is she, is she the one stalking? Hi, little shoe. Yes, they are envious of your wife, Johnny Mac. I agree. Your, her, your wife is gorgeous. Thank you. 
I just, you know, but she's not on here, okay? You know, they just, they need to stop their bullshit. They're not gonna. It's just a sad situation. Jerk offs. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I like the lights that you have set up in, in your... Oh, yeah. Those are... Your... this. Well, this was my daughter's room before she went and, and inherited the basement. Uh, so, yeah. I got these in uh, every room. The, the little LEDs. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah those are cool. The yeah, I like... Again, and the wind is really, really blowing. It's moving the trees. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing. Like, I, I was going to do... Uh, once again, last night, it was kind of sprinkling and I was going to do a spirit box session. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. It's raining. I'm going to do it anyway because I keep getting rained out. I walked outside and it was the wind was howling. And I'm like, there's no way the sound is going to be worth a shit doing this outside with the wind blowing across right. the speaker. It ain't going to be worth a shit. It'd right. be a waste of time. So another rained out ruined night. So I. I did other stuff. Yeah, it sucks. Summer's coming. That's all right. Yeah, it's coming. It'll be here soon enough. Jen is still very much having mental health issues and should not be online. It's too bad she doesn't have someone in her life to help her recognize. Yes, exactly. Here's the thing. She's left alone too much. Because I think whenever Clint is home, she doesn't get online. She's not on. She's only online when he's not home. My opinion. So I don't know. So you know, I think she's lying and hiding a lot of things from him. Oh, thank you, uh, little shoe. Yeah, I appreciate that. Johnny giving Johnny Depp vibes with the jewelry. I never noticed your ring before. It looks great. Yeah, I, I, I'm a, one of those guys that's attracted to shiny things. You know, some guys like jewelry, some guys don't. Right. I happen to be one, one that, uh, and you know what? None of my kids are jewelry people. Now, my granddaughter, she tries to snatch my wrist. She's fascinated. With jewelry, so she's going to be one of those ones that like shiny things too. So yeah, yeah, that's my thing. I I like it. You know, it, I'm in the gemstone field, but I've always liked jewelry. You know, I'm a, I grew up in an Italian family, and even when I was a little tiny guy in short pants, I had like an ID bracelet, uh, and and an initial ring and all that. It started when I was way way a little tiny guy. So it's just uh, one that I love it. I enjoy it, but I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, that's cool. I was a kid one time. It was like um, winter time. And maybe it was summer. I can't remember. Anyways, I had this little tiny 14 karat gold pinky ring initial ring. It had a little J on it. Mm -hmm. And I freaking dropped it, lost it in the side yard uh, of the you know, our, our child, my childhood home. Yeah. Uh, like a year later, I mean, the winter goes, the whole freaking, you know, year goes by, all the seasons change and I'm out there one day and I'm doing some, I, I forget what I was doing, but I was uh, walking over the grass and I, I noticed a little, a little glint in the grass, found the damn ring a oh, year yeah. later in the yard. Can you believe that shit? That's and, crazy. and my mom never knew that I lost that. Never knew. Wow. <laughs> Wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Drazo said he still has his. Did you have one too? Oh, I, I guarantee you he probably did. Yeah. And it's, that's just, a lot of uh, young Italian boys. They have a, they, they get a necklace probably for confirmation. You, you normally get a, a gold necklace or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, ID bracelets are big, were big back then too. Yeah, I remember them. I didn't have one, but I remember them. Yeah. Little Shoe, they have all different colors. They have that green. They have black, uh, hot pink, and like a fluorescent blue and an orange. But I like the green. 
if she's a toddler, you should tape her wearing jewelry and show it to her when she gets older. That's what yeah, I Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, it's a good idea. I want to I want to get her ears pierced. I don't, I'm trying to talk my daughter into it. A lot of people get their their baby's ears pierced. You know? Yeah. Cuz I put a little diamond st diamond uh studs in there. Yeah, that would be cool. That'd be cool to do. Mm. All right, so I'm going to play a little bit of this so we can kind of hear okay. the things that she says, because I, I want you guys to hear this. And uh, it, it is it, it it's insane how <sighs> obsessed she is. <laughs> It's one thing to go to the man in Florida or Harry or whoever, Amzi, panel and talk crap about us, right? It's a whole nother thing to go to a panel in another community and still not be able to talk about normal things, but still brings up Jules and myself. Vixie, if you're listening, you were brought up. Uh, just uploading that video. I'll send the link when it's done. So, you, okay, thank you, Jade. Thank you. Jade Travis has the recording of Jen Bailey before jail, pre-jail Jen Bailey going up on Ski Mask Andy's panel. So, oh. so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna play that one too at some point. Coffee says her daughter's ears pierced were ears were pierced at six months old. But her granddaughter was 10 when her ears were pierced. So your daughter was six months old and your granddaughter was 10. Yes, she's getting ready to be one. So, I mean, it, it's, it's, I think she's old enough. And I think yeah. it's fine. Even babies can. I mean, it's not that painful. No, it's just, you know, a little, you know. I mean, the, it'd be the adults cleaning. It's just. That's the most important part is cleaning mm -hmm. it and turning it and all that, you know, and, and if an, a, an adult's doing that, you know, I think it'd be fine. Yeah, I think so, too. I think it'll be OK. But, yeah, as soon as Jade gets that to me, we'll play the, the pre-jail Jen Bailey. But for now, we have this one. Oh, and they keep talking about the uh, the freaking bond hearing crap. OK. That's an open docket. It's an open yeah. courtroom. That that wasn't a closed um, docket. You know, anybody right. could have anybody could have went in there. Down, okay, that that's that doesn't count as stalking or anything. And I I, I wanted to go because she has repeatedly lied on me <laughs> and and tried to uh, get me jammed up with her bullshit. So yeah, I wanted to go and see what was going on and. Cause she's, she, I live in this community. She lives in this community. So I have a right to be there mm -hmm. cause she keeps mentioning my name even to this day. So I agree. just I saying. And um, Oh, our, uh, did you hear the newest of what she's saying that you've done? What's now what? Hold on. I'm gonna play it for you. I'll play it. You can hear it for yourself. Oh, gosh. Fucking crazy, man. It, we, uh, we played it yesterday. And um, discussed it. But, yeah. Hold on. Okay. She, she, she is coffee. Amanda says, I have a cousin that didn't want his daughter to get her ears pierced until she was 16. His reasons made me side eye him after that. What were his reasons for that coffee, Amanda? Hmm. Okay, let's listen. It's dark. You gotta keep the up. But then eventually, that trend might go down, then you have to change your tactics, right, Tom? Okay. Anyway. Good morning. Pizza, the biggest color is coming on the. Okay, now you know Stinky Fish Paul comes up on panel, and uh, they speak on something that Jen says that you've done. Instant New York. You're live, buddy. Hi. Can you hear me without horrible feedback, Luke? 
No, you got no okay. feedback whatsoever. Thanks. Can you hear that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds totally great. Oh. All right. Yeah, well, you're, you're a lot more technically competent than I am, and I haven't done it for a long while. I just wanted to, uh, you know, support my friend of five years, who's obviously one of my very best friends, who I consider a his very best friend of five years. Meanwhile, they didn't meet until 2022, the middle of 2022. It's that. And obviously you're my friend as well, Tony. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to be sort of be in all the bushes. This is Stinkfish. This is the guy that looked up my husband's information. I don't know who this guy is. He don't know me. I know that, that for sure because I don't know him. So he couldn't he, know he, me. He speaks like he knows you. Because of Jen. But but yeah, this is this is the guy, Stinkfish, that was like a disgusting troll, made all of us women think that he was a woman when they first came into this community and came in okay. under, you know, Fidel Castro was his first sock account. And then it was Stinkfish to make fun of Amber. Then he went from that to cyberbullying counseling services. He went from one side of the spectrum to the complete other side. And now he has a cyber hotline, is his name, cyber hotline, 14,000 subscribers, zero live streams, zero videos on his channel. All he has is stuff in his community tab. Bots, he paid for that, I guess. I guess he yeah, he did, he did, he did, he did, because he started oh, his months. channel after I started mine. I, I just, I don't know. Clark says, Paul, go get some help. Your compulsive lying and inflated sense of self is troubling. You are exactly <laughs> right, Clark. You're exactly right. But yes, he he went from, you know, the nastiest of the nastiest troll to I'm going to save everybody from the trolls and the bullies. And oh, then uh, like, uh, January, yeah, January this year, December, January, um, cause I remember we went to Florida for new years. I woke up the morning before we left with all of these pictures and information that Stinkfish and Jen was, uh, the ones looking at my husband's information. Cyber hotline. With all the drama and everything. Right. But obviously, you know, I want to be there for my friends. Okay. That's and obviously, you know, you know, with the work that I do, you know, obviously it's all about boundaries, as you can appreciate, sir. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And can I, if I, make, if I might make one point at the outset, Absolutely. Jen might be one of my very best, very closest friends of many years. <laughs> and yes, I do counselling, therapy work, and lots of other things. Respectfully, I am. He does therapy and counselling work and many other things. However, he is not registered under the counselors and therapist in the UK. Make who that is he counseling then? Don't know. Anybody that he can persuade, <laughs> you know, because, again, this man wanted to put my name on certificates saying that I had all of this training so people would get off my back in t the summer of 2022 and I was like uh no I'm not doing that um he if I have screenshots somewhere still of his LinkedIn and he would literally get like 50 certificates a day for like counseling and therapy and so you're you're nothing but a fraud sir another one of them huh yeah he's one of the problems i think he's behind her and her actions making them worse you're right wind whispers last year when jen was jen um i said that 
I, he came back in the community. He was talking to Jen, and I noticed a, a, a noticeable change for the worst. Hold on. A change for the worse in her whenever he started talking to her again. <laughs> same, Clark, same. You are a fraud and your wife is a blow-up doll. Picks or I don't believe she exists. Because he's, he's literally, I don't know about now, but he used to be literally online or DMs literally 24-7. I hate liars too, man. You I never seen his family. You never seen or heard of of or from anybody. So I mean, I I I don't think he's married, and I don't see how somebody can stay up twenty four seven like that either. But without without a little assistance, chemical help, yeah. Yes, I'm not Jen's therapist. Oh, see, can you hear? As you can hear, I'm British. Jen's got her own board certified, licensed people that she speaks to, that she works with. And, and you are not board certified or licensed, sir. Respectfully, if I listen to my friends and I talk to my friends, the same as I talk with you, Tony, respectfully, if you and I talk, it doesn't make me your therapist, sir. Absolutely. Maybe I'll need one someday. I might talk to you about that. <laughs> I'll, I'll find you one. I think they're in Florida, too. I'm, a, you know, I'm, actually, I'm actually my own therapist. But I mean, if people, if people want to speak to the efficacy of the people that help Jen every day, then that's their prerogative. But all I can say is, you know, my friend has good days. She has bad days. But she's a good person. She's got a bit, Jen's got a big heart. She really does. Yeah. She's a good person. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the, the, the operative word is to try to be good. I know that none of us are going to ever be 100% good at the operative well, I mean, Tony, Tony, she's, Jane has good days and gets bad days, and yes, she gets triggered, and sometimes, sometimes she, yeah, sometimes she says things and she shouldn't do, and respectfully, some of us hold us feet to the fire behind the scene. Bullshit. Look at your IG real quick. Right. If you can. Are you on okay. your phone? Oh, okay. Never mind. Never mind. You can look at it later. But, you know, just because Jen makes mistakes on occasions, I'm not, I'm not beating you up, Jen. You know how much I love you. No, it's but fine. At the end of the, it's the, end of the day, just because Jen makes mistakes, it doesn't make her evil. And okay. those of us that do, you know, she gets her feet held hard to the fire. If can it's you not stop me, that for a minute? Her other friends, it's Clint. No, she doesn't. Make mistakes. Okay. We all do make mistakes, but when you go into a police department, making up lies, calling somebody a drug dealer, a kidnapper, um, that's not a mistake. That's a thought out, devious plan to try to get somebody jammed up or get their house swatted. And guess what would have happened if that would have happened? You've terrorized my family, my children. I know, I know you got uh, problems with yours. They got ROs on you. Don't want to be caught dead around you. But that's not the relationship I have with mine. You know, so for you to to put them at risk with this with your bullshit, that's not a mistake. Okay, not a mistake. It, so this dude's so fucking demented. He don't know shit, or does he know shit? He just don't care. He knows. He knows, but he is co-signing for her bad behavior. Well, he's a punk then. He is. Most definitely is. Um, in the Ski Mask Andy thing, she also talks about the ROs that her kids have on her and that somebody from the community forced them unwillingly to get said ROs. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Your children want nothing to do with you. They don't grant ROs that are forced. No. You know, you have to go and petition for those and fill out a statement. Uh, I guess. I mean, I, I, I've i never actually filed for a restraining order. but I have. Uh, and I was... you do. You have to go in, fill out paperwork, uh, get sworn in by the magistrate, 
and and plead your case on why you need said RO. Right. So if you were under some type of duress at that point, you could just tell them then because you're right there. Yeah. With law enforcement. So, I mean, that just doesn't even make fucking sense. It doesn't sense. make sense. Come it on. doesn't. It makes zero sense. Zero. And she does try to learn. Does she do it quick enough, effective enough, as some of us would like? Probably not. But Jen's a good person, and she's got a huge, huge heart. Thank you. And, you know, do I agree with everything that my friend says and does? Absolutely not. The same as I don't agree with everything that all of my friends do, you respectfully yourself included, sir. But at the end of the day, you know, it's about trying to help your friends, not be their judge. Right. Or beat them up. Thank you. Yeah. Like, well, the key thing is this, you Let's know. Talk. Like Johnny Mac you know, Well, my therapist knows that Paul is like, I kind of understudy with him, like we're covering like uh, which stuff. Um, he has a lot of essays he has to get done. Uh, what kind of essays would this man have to get done? Essays? Um, yeah, a lot of this had to do when I was like, you know, when I got real antsy and hitting people up, like, if you guys don't stop, I'm going to get a TPO. And then it would be, you know, it is what it is. Well, this yeah. is the but here's the, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Jen, a.k.a. Green Goblin. Um... Nobody was talking about you and you could, that's what you hated. You were not in it anymore and you couldn't stand it. Right. So what did you do? I went live and you immediately come in and wanted the link. You came in, talked a lot of shit, a lot of lies, a lot of BS and dropped down. That's when that's when you and your wife come up that day, Johnny Mac. Yeah. And you were driving, and what did she do? She left you like 25 text messages. 29. 29 text 29. messages. 29. Yeah, it text went from threatening me to at the end sending a heart, sending hearts and stuff, asking about my guinea pigs, things like that. Wow. Fucking craziness, y'all. Cuckoo. She's cuckoo. She is. And you couldn't stand the point that you you went to jail, you got out, you wasn't online for not long enough, in my opinion, but you weren't online, you weren't in the community, you weren't talking, you, you were not in it anymore, and you couldn't stand that. And this is your way of being in it. It is what it is, Jen. This is all because of you. Nobody was, nobody cared. Nobody talked about it. until you started coming on here and lying your ass off and jumping from panel to panel, lying your ass off. No, nobody gave a shit. Well, you know, some of them lies they cooked up for her to say, say this, say that. And she very happily went, you know, and did what they said. Mm hmm. You know, but it's, think about this, man. All these people fucking hate bonded, bringing her up there, thinking that it's some type of shot against me, man. That is desperation at its finest. To use Ben Jaley as some source of credibility, you look like a clown, man. A clown. And he keeps, he likes, he has to add in my name, like Johnny Mac, like Johnny Mac. Yeah. Did oh, yeah. pride much there, so blow? Yeah. That's what and like allegedly says here, I just wanted to add one thing. A cr uh, credited therapist would never go after people or put himself out there as a hero for those who say they're bullied. Believe that their license would be pulled and they'd be in front of a board in a New York minute. Agreed. Agreed. So. She was in prison. She had no idea what was happening. So someone close to her had to go and give her all the 411 on conspiracy theories regarding her pets and who did what. All speculation. Agreed, Wind Whispers. Agreed. Oh, do what? 
I was just going to say, if y'all have not uh, checked out Maureen's channel, make sure that you do, because uh, she just put some stuff up about that guy proving him a liar. You know, she's already proved the maggot a liar over right. and over with receipts. Now she's got receipts on him with the old uh, pool hall incident. Oh, he claims that, you know, he uh, he went in there and one guy had a knife. One guy had a beer bottle. He jumped up on there, grabbed the pool stick and whack and whack. And then he jumped down and took care of business with the female. That's not what happened. He, you can read the witness statements. He went in there, just beat up the woman. And then when the two guys approached, he took a swing at one, barely even grazed him. It said it didn't even phase him, the guy said in the report. And then he ran away. Yeah, ran so, away. Ran away. Just like uh, old Fat Harry ran down the road, running away from uh, the computer store. Old uh, pool stick ran away. Seems to be a little bit of a trend with these guys. Yeah. But then act like the biggest of the baddest. Right. And, you know, which I don't agree with ever doing that for anybody. Like, it's yeah. stupid to do that. Why would you want to bring that type of heat on yourself and your family? Man, There's always going to be somebody tougher. Would you rather be known as a nice guy instead yeah. of a tough guy or, a, yeah. a, you know, or a dirt bag? I mean, just ask me, I'd rather uh, be something positive, but they can't do that. So they have to resort to, well, I'll be the biggest piece of shit then and be happy with that. Yep. Would one of my mods go and grab the link to Maureen's channel and put it in the chat? Everybody go sub to Maureen. And... Johnny Max uh, Paranormal Channel, put that oh, in the chat, that. and people go and uh, sub to the channels. He got ran away after I showed I didn't give a damn about being doxxed. Yep. Yep. Harry, you're a joke, man. You're a joke. I am going to let this play for a minute and take the dogs out, and I'll be back. All right. As a point of established, as a point of established fact. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jen had a mental Jen had a mental breakdown about yeah. him. Yeah. And it was I'm, a miracle that she came I'm actually surprised Tabitha has never had a mental breakdown as opposed to having a as a, a, a scumbag of a husband by the name of Jumping the Glove. I'm surprised she hasn't. I'm pretty sure well, I, mean, she, I don't want to. I'm just laughing at you. I'm sorry. What's the thing? I, I want to I stick to something here that's very important. Did you hear that? Surprised yep. that Tabitha hasn't had a nervous breakdown yet. He's a clown. He's a literal clown. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have Thank the, you, the first clue on how to keep a woman happy. No. Doesn't have a fucking clue. No. 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 Thank you, Brandy, for posting. Good morning, sweaty. All right. I'll be right back. What is the evidence that demonstrates... The, 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 the wait, 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 wait. Hear me out. Here's the question, the million dollar question. What is the what is the evidence that demonstrates conclusively that John P. McLaughlin actually went to a gasoline station where Jen I, was, I, wait, I, wait, I, let me, Paul, let me let me ask the question. What what is what is the evidence that conclude conclusively that demonstrates the evidence admissible in a court of law, whether it be legal, yes, uh criminal, or yes. Traffic? Uh, um, that, 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 that John P. McLaughlin, the guy who calls himself the leprechaun of the female community, Johnny Johnny's Macedonian, right? Clickaroni, buddy buddies with Tony Pizza, went to that passing station with his wife to talk bad about Jen. Stop it. That's Tony Pizza. He gets off on it, Brandy. He gets off on saying Johnny Mac's full legal name. He gets off no, on he's it. That guy is so insanely jealous of me, he can't fucking stand it. It's eating him alive. Can't you all see that? Really, he is being eaten alive. Yep. One, knowing I don't give two fucks about him. Mm -hmm. Two, knowing that I have, I beat him in every aspect of life. 
He knows that. He knows that I know that. Mm -hmm. He can't handle that. Yep. That's a him problem. <laughs> um, it. It, I mean, that's what it is. Drazo, Brandy put in Maureen's link. You put in Johnny Mac's paranormal channel. If you want to put your link in, the, just just links. If you want to put your link in the chat and uh, Johnny Mac's other channel, you know, just just whatever you want. Yep, we all support each other. If one of us yeah. wins, we all win. Yep, exactly, exactly. Put just put everybody's link in here, including yours, Drazo. All right, I'm going to move to the kitchen. Hey, Ghostface. Ghostface, did your lashes come in yet? I'm excited for you to get them. Thank you, Drezzo. Put your link in here, too, Drezzo. Form a stalking. Stalking's behavior. That's what you do, Johnny. Oh, you that's another what? thing. Another what thing. He said, Jen said that you went to her, her local gas station and was talking crap about her. No, but, uh, you know, it's just another, another lie, no proof, no evidence, no nothing. Why would I do that? And, and, you know, the, the, like the, the two times I, I ever went to that dump of a, a hole that she was living in, mm -hmm. um, I went to the gas station to piss and I, I bought a pack of cigarettes, uh, yeah. But my wife wasn't with me, so so the, the story is that I went there with my wife. We're talking shit, whatever. I didn't talk to no attendant. Didn't talk no shit. Don't care. I don't think about these people, especially if I'm out and about. They're the last thing on my mind. So agreed. They're they're, they're worried about what I'm worried about. You know, it, it's bizarre. You've barely been online lately. I know. But yeah. They can't, they just can't stop. No, he's obsessed. Actually, he's stalking me. Mm -hmm. If you want to be technical. I agree. So he's, he's getting other people that stalk me together on a big panel. Harry stalks me. Ben Jaley stalks me. So Paul, it's like Stinkfish is stalking you now. Yeah, and I don't even know who the fuck he is. Mm -hmm. Weird. Yep. So, so that's <laughs> the new thing. Why would Johnny Mac admit in public that he even knew that lunatic Brandy? I don't know, man. I don't know. But yeah, that's the new thing. You went to the her local gas station and was talking crap about her. So let's let's keep listening. Why you do that kind of shit? I, I kind of believe it already. And I haven't even looked at the evidence. It fits the bill. Because you were uh, stalking FBS for hours around his house. You committed a crime. And you, and you also were stalking up uh, uh, Cooch not too long ago. Right? Yeah, I'm going to try to do some tools. Tony, 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 come back to your point. Well, let Paul take this. I'm going to mind him. What, 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 what is the evidence? What is the evidence? Do we have there is no evidence. There is no evidence because it didn't happen. I don't know. Let's see what they let's see what their evidence is besides just flapping their gums. As a, and obviously, I can't speak to the background and the history between one individual and another. What I can speak to as a point of fact is that Jen went to the gas station. She asked me to corroborate right. her her version of events, if you will. Okay. And she put me on a call okay. with my consent. To right. the lady that worked in that gas station, who had been addressed and spoken <laughs> to by an, an individual who had spoken exceptionally disparagingly <laughs> and disrespectfully on Jen, and I asked her myself, you know, could you describe this individual? And he, and she did. And Listen. I asked her to speak on oh, real quick. I also showed them his channel and the young lady. She's about 30. Yeah, go on, Paul. Thank I, you, honey. I asked, I asked hey, the lady whose name, you know, I'm not going to say her name. That's from, that's wrong. I right. spoke to the young lady and I asked her to speak to the veracity of of what Jen was saying. The mystery said, cashier. Do you my friend. Do what? I said it's the mystery cashier. 
The one with the tattoo on her neck. What she told me was credible, honest, and factual, and I imparted to her as uh -huh. confirmation what Jenna told me. And she said, you know, this individual has come in. He was accompanied. I don't live um, on that side of town. Why would I be going into that gas station? She says on here that you live four counties away from her. We live in the same fucking county. <laughs> According to her, you live four counties apart. And she and you still came to her gas station and was talking crap about her, Johnny Mac. Okay. Did they more or less give a description of the of the person that was with him? Yes, you said that he looked yellow and said that he bought an icy. That's your description. That is the description of the person that came in. He looked yellow and bought an icy. Well, Clint kind of looks yellowed. He does. What was it? Uh, Bart, Bart, was it Bart Simpson? Bart Simpson loves uh, slushies and icies. He's yellow. Um, I don't know. Like that's. I didn't know that that was my description. Mm -hmm. According to the lady, you look yellow and you bought an icy. That's the smoking gun here. Since he can't drink tea or coffee, clearly. Because you can't drink tea or coffee. You bought an icy. As I'm drinking the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> you guys see me every day pounding coffee and tea. It's virtually all I drink. Cuckoo. And he was. And, he was, in, in which state is this? All? I'm in Ohio, but he's four counties away from me. You what? Four counties he's away. He's in Ohio. I gotta plug this in here. Four counties away, Johnny Mac, and you went purposely to talk crap to her at her uh, to the cashier at her local gas station while you bought an icy and looked yellow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. The stupidity that comes out of her mouth sometimes. Yeah, you're right, Ghostface. Yep. When I know something, if I was up there right now, you know what I, I would have requested that? Can I look at the video? Well, they're going to pull the camera footage if it comes to that. Yes, please go do that. He was described in a public gas station that I was going to be hired in, and now I can't be hired. The girl may have to go find another job. Now you caused her a job, Johnny Mac. She can't even work there now, third shift, because you came in looking yellow, buying ices, and we're talking crap about her. What a nut. <laughs> she really is. She's she's nuts. Let me see. Let me try to. I got to. I got to look at the comments on my computer screen here. And okay. This thing's going. This one's going nuts on me here. Let me get rid of this one. Here. Because of the Tony. Thing. Tony, yeah. he was described as a shorter gentleman, and I'm not high this. <laughs> I'm just trying to relay what was said. Do you guys realize that, that I, like, me and Clint and Mike are all about the same height? Realize that? You're sure. not abnormally short. No. It, I don't really, I don't care. I mean, that, that that's... What bothers me is talking to, you know, harassing my kids. I, I could give two fucks what they say. Yeah. Brooklyn! I'm actually peeing myself right now <laughs> buying an IC. Love you, Brooklyn. Crazy, right? <laughs> so, 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 so Jen Bailey, a.k.a. Green Goblin, please. The next time you see Mike, tell him to sign the fucking divorce papers for Brandy. Sign the papers. Well, you know, she's saying not to do that. Yeah. Ben Jaley's, you know, you know that she's saying, don't do that. Make it as miserable and as hard as possible because she's uh, she gets off on that. Trying to uh, get her digs in. No, I agree. I agree. Steven, I don't have enough to go live yet. 
Oh. Well, then we are the same height, Brandy. Exactly. Because I'm 5'6 and change. So. Hmm. There you go. Who's the link? Brandy, you got a channel now? Why didn't you tell me? See, you're not my bestie no more. Yeah, you can divorce him without his signature. It is possible. As with a lady of dark complexion whose okay. skin was obviously a, a little bit lighter. <laughs> you know, on the, she, had a, she had a tattoo on her breast that said Tony Action. I First of all, y'all, I, I want to say something. My wife ha is lighter complected than me. Yeah. Facts. I hold a tan very, very easily. And just having a slight tan, I'm darker than her. If she if she doesn't tan, she's like pasty white. She has very fair skin. She is. Which, which she got from her father. Mm -hmm. So, yes. again... You missed the mark. That shows you how much they don't know me or don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Right. And basically, yeah, she did confirm that he didn't he didn't look well. Didn't and, look well. Um, like I said, and I said my friend has told me What do you mean he didn't look well? Paul, stinkfish. What do you mean by that? He didn't look well. I don't know, because I've been hearing I'm taking all these hospital stays and, and all this shit. Apparently, I'm real sick, y'all. Do I look sick? You look fine I'm to me. Real sick. I, I don't understand why they keep, you know, if anything, my health has, I mean, it, I, I'm not the healthiest guy around, but uh, I bet you I'll, I'll uh, live longer than Maggot. Oh, for sure. What he's doing. You know, I live a healthy, I live a healthy lifestyle. I don't understand why they think I'm so sick. They wish it on me, though. Yeah, that, yeah, they do. Just like the hospital stay. Nope, that's not you. That Cajun Brandy has over 7,000 subscribers. That's not you. Let me find you. Oh, there you are. Oh. That dude, that dude is obsessed, man. I, I, because I don't watch him, but it's amazing how much he mentions my name. Agreed. Agreed. Hold on, I'm getting your link here, Brandy. Maybe I can share it and it go through. Share channel, copy. Go in here and paste it in here really quick for you guys. She has 27 subscribers. You guys go sub to Brandy. I don't know what her content's going to be, but... I'll sub after this, Brandy. So, is Jen... My poll I did is Jen Bailey, a.k.a. Green Goblin, a stalker. 79% said yes. 21% said no. Oh, we got some simps in the bushes. 21% uh. said no. I have had 184 votes on said no. Wow. wow. When did you put that up? During this? Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, like halfway through it. Wow. How about probably, that? Probably about 10 minutes before you come up. Good numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, the proof is in the pudding. Can't argue with stats. Yeah. It's the majority's the, only right. The link that I put in there, guys, is working for me. It took me straight to her channel. But yeah, that's that's the poll as of right now. <clears throat> you oh good, you're gonna do cleaning videos. Good. I've been trying to uh It goes to my channel. I just clicked it and it went to her channel. 
Yeah, Little Shoe. Green Goblin has all of her stock accounts voting no. To have 29%. Well, Selfie Queen Cindy, seeing it how it is 930 now, <laughs> I'm probably just going to stay live. Unless you want to go live, Cindy, and then I'll, I'll stop it and come back. You tell me. Thank you, Jen and Barrett. You tell me what you're going to do, Cindy. If you if you want to go live, then I'll stop this and come back at 11. But if not, I'll just stay live. But I've been telling Brandy for months now that she needs to start doing these cleaning videos. People love that shit. Huge tiger. Do you support freedom of speech? Sure, sure but sure what do. some of these people are doing is not freedom of speech. It's that freedom of speech doesn't mean you're free to bully people. And that's what these people are doing. All right, Cindy, I'll just stay live then. If you're not going live, I'm going to stay live. Yeah, we'll just be here all day. I used to do this whenever I was covering Jen. I would be live literally all day, like go about my business, do what I needed to do, but still be here with y'all too. So we're just going to do this today. Yeah, It doesn't include slander, little shoe. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. It doesn't give you the right to bully, intimidate, um, and just talk shit with impunity. That's not what it is. And, and, when you're on YouTube and certain platforms, even though you have, you know, constitutional rights, you agree to abide by uh, guidelines and regulations with those platforms. So, yeah, it, it, it kind of it gets sticky there. Right. Yep. Yep. Freedom of speech does not mean you are free of consequences. So if I will be live tomorrow for my mom's passing anniversary. Okay, Cindy. Cindy, put your link in the chat. And everybody sub to Cindy. And turn on your notifications for her live tomorrow. Please and thank you. And I also want to thank everybody for coming in here and hanging out with us today. Um, all of the people that have subscribed today and yesterday. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, man. Yeah, thank you so much, everybody. Okay. Let's go back to this. I want you guys to hear the BS. <clears throat> so, where we left off, you were yellow and buying an icy. And then Stinkfish spoke up and said, uh, I cannot have the link. I can. All, I am on. I am not on restream. I am not on StreamYard. I can only have one guest, and the guest is here. here. Um, and then Stinkfish spoke up and said that uh, it was a, a short man who did not look well with a darker complexion woman. That's where we left off. Okay. But this was his channel. Is this what the gentleman looked like? And it was like, yeah, that's him. So, I mean, Jen, how did, you, how did you verify that you actually called that place up to see that? No, I went up there. I went up there. Jen went up there. And I spoke to the lady over the video, Tony, to answer your question, sir. And they want a picture of him. Jen was in the Jen was in the gas station, and I, I spoke to the I lady on, the on, a, on a video call. She she gave the, put the video in front of the lady, and I spoke to her on the camera and looked her in the eye. And what I would look what her I would in the eye with me when I spoke to Paul today yeah, too, but what? he had to work over because I was supposed to go um, pick her up because I did speak to her earlier today because she loves Mia. Well, what <laughs> I would ask you to do, to, sorry, but the other what lady saw no, the other lady saw her too, the one that had the tattoo on her neck, yeah. and she confirmed. 
um, and Anna's wife. And she said, what, that I, would, what, yellow. I, what I would ask you to do Tony, yellow. Is another day. There she goes again. The chick with the tattoo on her neck said he looked yellow. Like what? Because she's probably that so credible. You right. know, they're just making this shit up. There's no yeah. clerk with a tattoo on her neck. This is just uh, drug psychosis coming out. And this nitwit is co-signing it because he's getting attention. Sad, right? Yes. Yes. Brandy has a question for everybody. Everybody. Johnny Mac, let everybody see you. Okay. Come, come close to the camera. So, Johnny Mac's does Brandy once has a question for everybody? Does Johnny Mac currently currently look yellow and jaundiced? <laughs> Not to me. So stupid. Yeah, Susie, that's what I said yesterday. It was Bart Simpson. Oh yeah, you're right. There you go, and then that's a good point. When the fuck have I ever? Uh not own something if i've yeah. done it you know what i mean and, and why would i lie about that i mean i went to the court i'm gonna lie about going to a gas station i went to the gas station yes to take a piss because her house was so filthy i couldn't even piss in it yeah i thought because i fit i figured that the the bacteria the germs would <laughs> run up my stream of piss and get on me I, that actually can, uh, went uh, through my mind. Wow. Could that happen? I don't know. I don't want to take a chance. So I left. I'm being truthful about that. I mean, she could have literally built a small uh, log cabin out of the empty toilet paper rolls that were strewn across the floor and all over the sink and in the tub and all over the place. She's like, where are you taking showers? You know, wow. there was a bunch of trash and shit in the fucking tub. In the tub? In the tub. It, it was unbelievable. Unfucking believable. I had to go. And when I came back to do the live stream, I was standing the whole time in the living room, standing. Wow. Selfie Queen Cindy says, Jen is using what she thinks someone who suffered from hep C looks like with jaundice. Johnny Mac is not suffering from jaundice. Brandy says, did they spot Michael? LOL. One of his baby mamas is dark skinned, much darker than Tabitha. Oh, well, there you go. That could be, that could be the case. And you know what? I saw Mike at that, at the bond hearing. He does not look good. Whatever drugs they're doing, he's doing too. They've yeah. all lost a tremendous amount of weight, like a lot. That they they look very malnourished. So there you go. I agree. But that's liver failure, and as much as they wish that upon me, um, I've actually even when I had hepatitis C years ago at it, at its worst, and I had a huge viral load in my system. I never, I never had jaundice. My eyes, the whites of my eyes have always been perfectly white. Uh, and it's, I've never had that symptom. But right. see now, I'm, I have non-alcoholic cirrhosis. It's called NASH. Okay, so alcoholics normally get jaundice. You yeah. know, the, what I have is a, a little bit different. It's, 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 it's still cirrhosis, but it's, you know. A little different. Oh, I know, Brandy. It's disgusting. It's for Jen to go when she goes back to the gas station to do the same thing that she did with me with your good self. Okay. So that you I can fix the girl right now. So I can go pick her up right now. Yourself, and you can then act as a secondary you want to do you want to know something? Yeah, she's I love that. I, I really love that. And let me tell you something. Yeah, she uh, says she's going to take the panel yes, with you. I That's believe you have a real good, you, you have a stronger case. I have a real strong case against this guy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. because now I'm out of a freaking job that I was going to work third shift because my credentials with a domestic violence, even though it is a misdemeanor, prohibits me from coaching kids on my own. I could be an okay. assist. What does one thing have to do with the other? Yeah. Um, is that video still up? The, the one that we're reviewing. 
that's a public like he he has he hasn't taken that down i have it okay yeah, got, yeah. all right because what i needed it was was to show that she's still with the bullshit and that that's that's all i need oh we just fell down again um yeah so i'd like to have that because she's uh She's gonna shut the fuck up, man. Like it, it, it enough's enough. Yeah, it's and what's sad is that uh uh oh. What happened? He clicked there you uh, are. Yeah, somebody called. What's sad is they're exploiting her her yep. craziness and yep. uh they don't care, and, and whatever, man. You know, a lie is a lie, no matter how you tell it. That's all they're doing is just crapping out a bunch of lies. Yeah, and telling her she has a strong case. A case for what? It well, is what not I would even like her to do system. then. Even if you did do what she said, go into a gas station and talk crap about her, it's not against the law to do that. No, it's not. What, what, it's, what is this strong case for? And actually, technically, if let's just say hypothetically, somebody did go to a gas station and talk shit, which I didn't. But let's just say somebody what? did. Yeah. How? That's not stalking her. That's no. talking to a gas station attendant. Exactly. Dummy. I mean, that. What? What kind of case is that? None. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. It's lunacy. You know, it, it, it's, but the, this bullshit, that's, I'm being stalked and, you know, it, it's, it's gotten beyond old. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm gonna, probably going to do something with this today. You should. Yeah. So as a matter of fact, in about five minutes, I'm going to uh, head out and take care of that. I got yeah. a couple of other things I got to do, and uh, that'll be one of them. Okay. Like I said, I have it saved if you need it. Yeah, we can keep going if you want for a few. Right, yeah, right. But, 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 but here's the thing, though. I even started it right now. But, 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 uh, a hardcore stalker of women. Yes, of he's very women. much a stalker. Yes, uh, I, I believe he is an individual who does not care about his family at all, at all, at all. I, oh, I hold on, man. Yeah. My kid's not sitting in prison. Where was? Not uh, sad. <laughs> what were you doing on Father's Day, buddy? Yeah. If she was hired at this place, technically it's illegal for employees to give out information about another employee. So I'm calling bullshit because she said she lost the job. Cashier would be fired. <clears throat> there you go. It's it's so ridiculous, mm -hmm. man. It, it's it's mm -hmm. not even really worth giving her any attention. That's all they want. All of them, including him. Third shift at gas station working with children. What kind of job is this? I know coffee. What does one thing have to do with the other? Like nobody cares. Nobody cares. But yeah, I just wanted you to hear what you were being accused of. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't pay attention to this stuff. I really don't. I don't watch them. You know, I have more of a life than uh, they'd like me to have. But, um, yeah, I won't give them the view or nothing like that. But it, it's not surprising that this guy's been uh, on this jealousy trip for a couple of years now. Mm -hmm. Since he met my wife and I, he's had this, like... Uh, irrational jealousy that just it seems to get worse and worse with time yeah and brandy also brings up a good point your kids 
also don't have restraining orders against you. That's right. Nor my my brother or, you know, because I got a brother too, you know, no RO there either. There's a lifetime RO with that. I mean, it, it's, yeah, it, he wants to try to raise himself up above me as far as being a, a good person. Yeah. Not going to work. It's not going to work too good. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, he's, it's, who is he convincing? Himself? Yeah. Trying to. Yeah. I mean, and nobody, does anybody actually buy his bullshit? Everybody knows what he's about. It's been proven. So, I mean, I, I, what he says doesn't matter to me. I mean, look, look where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the main point to keep in mind. What's the source? There's your source. Mm -hmm. Uh, what, what is Huge Tiger saying? That's probably him yeah. or one of them. Probably. Probably. That's a don't to get it hooked up on that ingredient. Is Hold on. I care about his family at all. At all. At all. I, I believe that too. I don't think anybody, he has anybody that would actually wine. give his, his own life methadone to get it hooked up on that ingredient is his comeback. Mm -hmm. to be able to so, multiple and lies. And we got two people who failed at parenthood. Yeah. Utterly fucking failed. One's, one's got kids that got ROs, want nothing to do with her. The other one beat the up the, the baby's mother within an inch of her life with a pool stick. Uh, has ROs from siblings. Kids sitting in prison. But yet... Uh, I just went to the zoo with my grandkids and my daughter and, and had a, a nice day, had a nice picnic there, uh, spent time with them. You know, there's no comparison, you know, and for some reason they want to uh, hurt my family and me because it, because why? Because you failed at what you were trying to achieve in life. So you see somebody that has made bad decisions, redeemed himself and it's kind of got something going for himself and you don't like it. You can't stand that because you aren't able to make a come up. You know, muscle likes to put up that picture of me when I was heavier and unhealthy, you know, Same. what, what yeah. my kids, my kids tell me the term for what I had is called a glow up. If you ever heard, what, you ever heard that term. So they said, dad, you had a glow up, you know? So uh, now y'all see what I look like now. Harry, turn the camera on. Let's see what you look like. That's my whole point with that man. You want to put up pictures and make fun of everybody else? Turn your camera on. You know, so it... it they're clowns. It's clown talk. Mm -hmm. Answer a question, Jen. So you are the individual that he went to when you were going to court. He went over there with his wife. He went live. He went to his wife. Yeah was actually stalking you in the courtroom and actually recorded. You didn't go live from the courtroom, did you? No. I didn't think so. They just they just make this shit up as they go along. I, I mean, come on. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I agree. What was happening in the, in the courtroom against the, judge, against the judge's wishes, am I correct? Yeah, she told him that he was going to get 30 days in jail and it was what? another person. What? Huh? No, no. Wow, man. The fucking lies. The fucking lies. Wow. <laughs> Could the you? judge told you you were going to get 30 days in jail because you went live from the courtroom? Yeah. Uh, no, no. No. Sorry. It makes no sense, man. But SoFlo did try to call the court and try to get me arrested. Yeah. The piece of shit that he is because that's that's what he likes to do. He likes to act like this big, tough street guy, but then he tries to get people jammed up and he calls the cops. Like his, his little ring of bullies over there. 
it, it, it's mind-boggling. He calls everybody a rat, but he's a rat. He is a rat. He's a rat. The prison time he did, he did in PC. You want to know why he did it in PC? Huh? Because of his crimes. Because of the because of the charges, and because he has things like exposing his sex organs, crimes against women. Um, they don't like rapos in prison. Yeah. He was in PC. That's why he doesn't have any tattoos, doesn't have any scars, any of that. Like that's they don't like people that 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 offend against women or children. Yeah, that's why he doesn't have any stories either. And I don't have to be a guy that that went to prison to know that. I mean, mm -hmm. this stuff's common knowledge. You can watch a million and one prison channels and they'll tell you the two things that they don't like. You know, yeah. rapos and chomos. Mm -hmm. So, and, and what are they always talking about? Sodomizing people. You threaten to rape people. That's against the law. It is. <laughs> Brandy's comment. Mike also said the court workers chased you around the courthouse. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Stop the bullshit. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's almost as believable as when, as when the nitwit said he punked me in Florida. He went to a hotel, A, that I wasn't staying at when I went down there, and B, I wasn't within 800 miles of him. He went to a hotel, stood outside, and screamed at the building, and that, that in his mind, is punking me. I wasn't there. If I was there... He wouldn't have been there because when I was down there uh, during that time, they knew. They knew where I was. You want to know why? I know you don't want to hear this, but Terry Time told Joey Dimes. Joey Dimes told them uh, that's how it happened. Whether she meant to uh, meant to do it or not, I don't know. But that's how they found out because she was the. Uh, there was only two people that knew. And one of them is not a YouTube person. So they knew. They knew. And they already started asking questions because I was on JY's panel when I was down there. And they said they recognized the wall from uh, the other place that I stayed at, which was stupid because the other place that I stayed at had an electric panel behind me. And when I stayed at the one last summer, it, it didn't. It was just a white wall. But anyways, I was down there for 10 days. I didn't hear one peep. I go home. Then all of a sudden, he's coming down there. Oh, Johnny Mac, are you going to come outside? Blah, blah, blah. No, no. It's 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 all for show. It's bullshit. Smoke and mirrors. They're frauds. It's nonsense. And besides, nobody should be going to try to fight anybody. It's all nonsense. You know, like it, it, it's. I've advocated against the violence many, many, many times. It should never go there. People's families should stay off the table. That is a recipe for more problems. Talking about somebody's family. What do you think is going to happen? When you start fucking with somebody's kids, anybody who's a decent father is going to address it. Yeah. Yeah. Am I wrong? No. Male or female. You know, like it doesn't make a difference. When you fuck with somebody's kids... Be prepared for some type of response or accountability, but then do it to them. And it's the end of the world. You know, it's the end of the world. But that's all they do is attack our families. Yeah. Yeah. Can someone explain what the relevance is of some random went to the gas station for a Slurpee? JFID, I wish I could. I wish I could. I wish I could. I they were yellow and bought an icy. So, there's that. Let's see what else we got here. I think it's almost finished. And and that's what gets me about Jules is because Jules is the one who directed it. Because Jules, Jules is the one who directed what? Directed what? 
I don't know. Directed you to go to the gas station? I don't know. None of none of this makes any sense. Wow. And they're sitting there co-signing for her BS. Of course, because it, anything negative about me, they're all over it. Oh, oh it's got to be true. One of Clint's secret DV tapes of Jen, she yelled at him saying that she gave up her children for him. She made her choice. Did he perhaps buy a yellow icy? Possibly, Brandy. Possibly. Mm. Yeah. Guess who's here? With the, with, the, with the clown nonsense. See, that's and that's another thing. I don't do that shit. I don't mm -hmm. go trolling people. I just, I, I'm not uh, that type of person. Some people like to do that. Some people don't. I don't. It's, it's stupid to me. It's a waste of time to me. If I'm going to say something to somebody, I don't need to hide behind a fucking sock account. No. No. You know? No. No. And we don't have to have our camera off either to talk shit. Right. I stand for what I believe in and I don't have a problem showing my face because I'm not a coward. You know, like it, it, that's, that's called integrity. Yep. Jen seems to have a name dropping quota. She has to meet on any panel. She, yes. It's crazy on this panel, on Harry's panel, on Amzie's panel, on Ski Mask Andy's panel. She's always because because it. take a wild guess, you know. There's only two people that could be because we're only talking about. There's only two people that we're listening to right here. So, right, you can draw your own conclusions. Yeah. Can I drop down, please? I'm not comfortable with other things being discussed, but you don't mind discussing these things and talking your shit and looking up people's family behind the scenes, do you, Paul? Hmm? He didn't have no problem talking about me. He don't know me. Exactly. Exactly. Wow. Okay, okay. All right. All right. I'll call you after. No, just speak to anybody. I'll be in the chat, okay? Okay. Love you. Thanks. But before you go, are you aware that Jules was uh, was involved with sex trafficking? I'm aware. I think I'm, aware that, I'm aware that there have been certain rumors with regards to that individual over many years. Okay. Well, I'm sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. Because she was trying to make me a... Uh, uh, she was trying to put it like a... Uh, uh, make me, uh, how do you say, look bad to the to the side of the plate. I don't really care. I really don't. I don't really care. I don't like. I don't like to be. How was Jules trying to make you look bad to Savage? They hate each other. Maybe um, by uh, saying, "I wish I wouldn't have been around him." Boy, do I regret being over there. Uh, because of the things that he does, but that's not because of what she did. That's because of what he did. Right. His actions. Like, zero accountability, y'all. You've seen it before. Here it is again. Sweaty says, Johnny, what does your wife think of the green screen? She likes it. She likes it. This actually was supposed to go the other way, but... Uh, Covers not, more space though. Right? I turned, yeah, I turned it long ways. Yeah, it's cool. The picture, it it does make really nice backgrounds. It does, it does. It's fun. I'm gonna get some more backgrounds uploaded soon. Mm -hmm. Slander. Yes, sir. I'm saying. Oh, 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 I'm saying. Come around and slander me, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, personally, all I'm going to I'm going to put it out there on the internet. I'm going to bring public awareness. These two men trying to talk over each other. 
both of them trying to get their point made and you can't hear either one of them. Yes, Miss Mickey, he made himself look bad. Nobody can't nobody help had to do that for him. I got a few, let's see. Jules wants nothing to do with him and Savage. They are way more important in their own minds than what they really are. Exactly, Coffee. Exactly. To the world, Jules. Take my name out your mouth, lady. But she doesn't mind talking. He doesn't mind talking about her or putting her name in thumbnails or uh, titles or slandering her like he just did, like he does all the time. Why? Because she wants nothing to do with him. Yeah, and, and he, he puts Glenn Wood in the in the thumbnails yeah. and all that crap too. I know he's he's a nitwit. Ah, makes no sense. It's just another, it see, it's proof, you know, we all know that he went at me first, obviously, he put my wife up there without permission, um, but it's just another example of how he claims that he's the victim, but everybody saw that Jules went out of her way, not to say anything about this dude, he started it, and the whole world saw that, so... You know, once again, yeah. he's proven to be the bully that he is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look at our poll again. We have 298 votes. Wow. 73% says yes, that Jen, a.k.a. Green Goblin, is a stalker. And 27% says no. We should do one. Is uh, the other guy a predator? Yeah, I'll end this one. What time is it? Well, may as well go ahead and end it now. It's five minutes after 10. So, Jen Bailey, you are a stalker. Let's see, how do I 299 do votes. Mm -hmm. Let's see, how do I do that? How did I do that? Share, remove guest, cancel. No. It's not giving me the option to do another poll. Uh, well, I might have to set it up to the next, next round. Mm -hmm. Damn it. Sorry. Right. Yes, Miss Mickey. Yes. Oh, yeah, he is. <clears throat> yeah, 299 votes. Thanks for participating, guys. Thank you. Let's see here. So yeah, that's that's what you are being accused of. It's only 7 a.m. here. Good morning, Susie. Good morning. You know, the sun's starting to come out now. It's not raining. The sun's starting to come out. I have my patio door open to get some fresh air, but hopefully it doesn't rain anymore. I need to go put a fan in front of my chair over there and try and dry it out a little bit. My dehumidifier is down in the basement. It's kind of big. I really don't want to carry it upstairs. And it's kind of loud, too. So I really don't want to bring it up here. Mm. Well, if you got an upholstery cleaner, you can do that. Yeah, I'll just do that later. <clears throat> okay, so now that was that. I am going to play the Jen on Ski Mask Andy's panel from five days ago. And for those of you guys just coming in, um, I was speaking earlier when I first started this live. I was speaking about this is probably where Jules got those 70 some subscribers to push her over 4,000 subscribers because. Jen talks about her the whole time he's on Ski Mask Andy. She's on his panel. And she even, like, spells out her name so people can go find her. So I think that's where those subscribers came from. You're probably right. I do. Because people are curious. So I have edited this. Yes, Amanda. Sure did. So I have edited this so the voices are different. 
if you're wondering. The voices are different, but let's get started on this. Better. I just know somebody that was on TV. I took a 13-month break, and I'm going back up, and that's that. Leave his family alone. Leave me alone. And yes, we have more issues. I don't support men that horse whip women. And horse whipping women. Huh? Jen says, I don't support men who horse whip women. Who's horse whipping women? Um... <laughs> She's out there. Okay, he was a guy named Fun One, right? And uh, he did some really bad stuff to some women and put them up on Craigslist. Well, Jules wanted somebody to come to her state and wallpaper, so the girl did. You started with her. And then another lady went, went there to go to the police station because Jules wouldn't stop. So when the cops go there, Jules will go, she plays them coming. That's what a FOIA request says. And she will pull it, but now you cannot because you're using it for advertisement purposes. It's only playing a FOIA request of you, Jen. Calling the police on Jules is not an advertisement for anything besides your crazy, batshit crazy. That's the only thing that it's advertising. It's supposed to be for legal purposes. I asked her multiple times to leave me alone. I contacted Lombard. I told them that she was harassing my kiddos. My Your little kiddos. Girls. Your adult children that have restraining orders on you. Those kiddos, nobody's messing with them. Nobody's talking to or about them. It was 17, and they showed her when she was suicidal. They put a sticker on her face. She was a mother. That was Cooch. That was Cooch. She's the one that got those body cam videos. She's the one that still, to this day, has them on her channel. Yes, little shoe. And people are following my children on TikTok. And I'm a sexual... Why did you start following me on TikTok, Jen? Hmm? Why? I want nothing to do with you. Predator? That kid was 18. He did not know what he was talking about. And one of my children almost got jumped. Leave my family alone. So 18-year-olds doesn't know what they're talking about when sexual advances were made to them when they were under 18? Because it because it's uh, has to do with you, Jen, making sexual advances to a young man under the age of eighteen. He doesn't know what he's talking about. The fuck out of here! You're you are a predator. I said it a year ago, and I'm saying it now. That is why you can't be around children. That's why. You even knew I came in here last night. You knew it. Because Andy won't put up with your bullshit. I know. I remember uh, like a recap count of yours. Like a, uh, she made me her meat and potatoes very comfortably for about a year and got mad at this huge cream person who I would like for her to at least apologize to my minor daughter because finally she has reached out. You guys got what you wanted. I bought the well, letter. How would you apologize to her without contacting her again, though, that she can't even do that, right? Well, she's live right now, and I'm about to go in there and listen because I got accused of driving by her home. Uh, Jules, I was seeing a cardiologist that day, and I... I was seeing a cardiologist that day. There's no way it was me. I was out and about driving around, but there's no way it's me. I had a doctor's appointment that day. Yeah, me too. I had a doctor's appointment that day too. Sure, sure you did. So, sure you did. And anytime something happened, that I had a doctor's appointment. I'm a doctor's appointment or therapy, or you're seeing your lawyer. All right. Well, cool. Now I got three go to. I I, I get to use those too, right? How many sure times you do. each? A hundred. Sure. Sure you do. Sure you do. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, Drazo. You do you. But there's no proof that it was Johnny Mac that did it, but he's being blamed for it. Yeah, it's always me. It's I'm the I'm the fucking scapegoat all the time. Every time. And that's this is my chair. Listen. <laughs> Don't be confused. Amanda, yeah, she said, Amanda, she said <laughs> she doesn't drive. So how was she at a cardiology appointment when she said she doesn't drive? She drives, guys. She drives. Good morning, Layla. How are you? I have to get a sonogram because I've mined her valve. Why you say and let your pancreas fill up with gross fluid? Ew. Bottom, in my opinion. I say my dude's burger and shirt smells like cat piss. You, ma'am, get your kitty litter bot, crunch, crunch. Your cats don't like you. Squirrels don't like you. You domesticated them. And it is to be known that you have uh, a thing on your bottom lip because you put your uh, face out on a gas stove. And, of course, I'm not doing drugs. So quit putting the spray cans up. I have a heart condition. I took a drug test on a lie because of you. And you doing whippets is not going to show up on a drug screen. Number one. Number two, Ski Mask Andy is looking at her like she's got three heads right now. He has no idea what's going on. <laughs> no idea. And I don't like the Jen cervix account either, or Jen's red pita. So I rose from the ash. I think I have terrible perigenes in you, too. That's like, sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm Reiki. I'm Reiki, and she's gangster. You're just called Ski, and they were clowning on you last night. Like, oh, my God, he still has a channel. Well, maybe you thought I should tip this guy if you want to. Keep the clown on me. Keep the clown on me. Susie Q, you get some attention in here too. Listen. Her whole face takes up the filter. Like, girls, you lost weight. Get up and like move around. Go to therapy. Quit writing everybody's names on your arms. This how you don't like you. I don't like you. Nobody likes you. So, Susie Q, you can go to therapy. Shout out. Oh, blessed be. Happy Easter. So you go over there right now. How many jurors does she have? Are they like waiting on you to go over there? And, uh, oh, God, she loves it when I come. She's like, Fanny, Fanny, Fanny. And then she's using this guy named Deli that's supposed to be my friend. She's using him to go after people online because she's a jackass in my opinion. Deadly. You're getting some attention, too. You're being used, Deadly. You're being used. Didn't you know that? <laughs> if you didn't know it, you know it now. And Ski Mask Andy's just sitting there like this. Like he has no idea what's going on. What do you say to this shit, man? That it, She just morphs from one person to the next. And, you know, she got to throw in there. And, I, and I'm not doing drugs. Yeah. Well, people and I'm that, going to people, therapy. Right. People that ain't doing drugs don't say, I'm not doing drugs. Only people that are doing drugs say they're not doing drugs. Think about that. They make it a point to say that they're not doing said drugs. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, boy. oh, shit. But you still look like He watched the 50, he uh, read the 50 Shades of Grey books, he says. And he uses some of it in his marriage. <laughs> spassy. Got to keep it spassy. He's half listening. I'm surprised he hasn't dropped her from the panel yet. No, it's content. It's content. He's not going to drop her. Because otherwise he has nothing to talk about. How did you go after people? Uh, he, he docked my, uh, my man's uh, couple's house or docked them. She followed me to... You did that, Jen. You, doc you said your own counselor's name. That was you. Nobody know would know who it was if you didn't say who it was. Okay? Just like uh, when they were trying to call the hospital the other day about Johnny Mac. They would not have no. been able to find out if he was in the hospital or not. Well. Bye. 
Well, if they said, hey, my friend, uh, blah, 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 is is in the hospital. Can you connect me to the room? There might be somebody dumb enough to try to, con you know, give the room number, but they're not supposed to be doing that. No. But that's what they, that's what they were doing, though. Try, I mean, they obviously didn't locate me because I never went. But I don't know where that came from, who started, yeah. why they started. You know, it came I from guess him. Oh. It came from okay. her because the man in Florida, she was on the man in Florida's panel the other day and Harry came up and uh, was asking Jen about you being in the hospital. And then the man in Florida was talking to her about it and he was like, Jen, are, are you sure he's in the hospital? She said, well, yeah, like three people told me about it. He's there. Wow. Yeah, that's that's where it come from. That okay, Jay, you. thank you. Man, that they just don't quit. So Harry jumped up on panel just to ask questions about me. How about that? Harry, get off my stick, man, please. <coughs> yes. Same bliss, Chris. She jumps from one topic to the next to to the next to the next within five seconds. And you don't know when, like, when one person stops, when the next person starts. You have to know the background and who's who and what's what to think, oh, okay, she ain't talking about this person no more. Now she's talking about this one because that's what she, she combines people. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's a mental illness, obviously. And they're exploiting it. And they're, they're like stoking that, stoking the flame of that. And that's, mm -hmm. I don't agree with that. That I don't. No, no, no. And they're they're using her for content. Yep. While co-signing for her bad behavior. For content. That's what they're doing. CVS Pharmacy, there's a lady there named Allison. She went to Kroger's. Uh, she violated my HIPAA rights. Uh, I self-harmed because... How did she violate your HIPAA rights? Who? Jules violated her HIPAA rights. There's no way Jules can violate your HIPAA rights. She is not your healthcare professional. <laughs> Ma'am. Oh, I only got one thing to say. What's Human that? papillonia virus. <laughs> Don't you just love it when she tries to sound like she's uh, this super intelligent person and it's just it, 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 it makes no sense. It's just gibberish. Yeah. Stupidity. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, let's get the likes up in here. I've got lots of views on this live and only 31 likes. Like this video, please, guys. A friend really needs to try to educate her on HIPAA because she sounds like a total idiot. Right, Bliss Chris? Yeah. It's yep. insanity. Picture. Um, what else do you do, Jules? Hmm. Hmm. You're a body. Yeah. This is Jane Bailey. Anybody that supported me in this channel and knew I had what they call a medical nervous breakdown. I do not remember Anything, I did not get one of my dogs back. Uh, Jules has a young lady in there named Dixie. Uh, she is also from Anderson Township. Dixie. I never, ever, ever physically abused Clint because the boys were being pulled. Hi, Tony. They were being pulled. Why didn't you guys play the boys? Jules, you played yours. Played the follow-up one where I called back. I apologize. Like that yellow journalism, she's like selective on what information she puts I mean, in. She's a really good designer, but she keeps dyeing her hair, and it kind of looks like, um, you ever seen that? She looks like Cartman. Oh, Jack, yeah, die. She looks like what? Hi, my name is Cartman. I'm Vixie. I'm Vixie. I'm 53 years old, and I'm... She is so jealous of Vixie. It's, it's crazy. Crazy. She is so, she cannot get it out of her mind of Clint going out with Vixie and Vixie's boyfriend while Jen was in jail. Oh. She can't, she can't let it go. 
She can't let it go. Wow. Listen. I'm behind a few photos where, oh, it's so weird that Jenny's got an epithet for a bee and went to the police station and said, oh, that goddamn bee. Keep playing Slay the Angels. Because I'm going to give you that love touch. That's what uh, Rod Stewart, you're up to him. Anybody got any questions? Like, feel free to drop this dude's fucking cash. Like, let's get some fucking mm-hmm. dick stuff here. Do you, do you like it when people call you Genevieve, or do are you? I don't give a fuck when anybody calls me. Just don't call my phone number. So, well, I don't have any for you. Well, don't call me for dinner since she thought it was funny. But listen, when I went to jail, See? I did not know anything that was going on. And then when I got let out at an OR bond. Um, there were a lot of people that got me, like, uh, some hotels and stuff like that. I, I don't thrift. I don't like taking money from people. I lost my home. Um, I lost my dog. What? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You don't like taking money from people? I didn't know you had a job. I didn't know you had a job. I didn't know you've been paying your way all this time. You don't like taking money from people. <laughs> Well, where does your money come from then, Benny? Please tell me. Miss Alice. Wow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And let, let's, let's, she said that people bought her hotels and blah, 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 whenever she got out of jail. When she got out of jail the first time and went back that same night, <clears throat> somebody did buy her a hotel. So she would have a place to stay. She was crying online, begging people for money. And somebody bought her a hotel. That was nice. She also wanted somebody to rent her a car. Nobody should do that. Hell no. Rent her a car. And since nobody would do it, she wouldn't get a hotel. What did she do? She went back to the apartment where Mike lived. He wasn't home. When she got there, he wasn't home. When he got home and walked in and seen her ass sitting on the couch, he caught the cops again. And they came and picked her up and she went to jail and she was there for 52, 53 days. Wow. Wow. I didn't know that he that he came home and found her there. I thought she went home, went live, and then somebody like Maria called the cops and then they showed up. I didn't no, know. No, she went home and then went live and then Mike walks in the door and finds her. Oh wow. Wow. You know, they tell you right there. I mean you have to Don't go. find a paper. Yeah. yeah. Don't go here, don't go there. Do you understand this? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, sign this. You know, like it, 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 it's you cannot claim ignorance. Oh well, they told me. Nope, nope. Uh, uh-uh. uh. You know, you can't get out of that one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And then she gets arrested, and she was like, "Oh, I didn't know. I couldn't come back here." And they said, "Yeah, you did. Yeah, you knew. The judge told you, and you said you understood everything he was saying." That's how they do it. <clears throat> So she went to jail and she didn't come out for 50 something days. And when she got out, everything was different. Everything was different. But you know what wasn't different? Clint. He was there to pick her up. And to take her back home. She had a place to go. She went straight there. To a new house, a new house that Miss Alice paid for. So don't go live. Go don't go live with these people, Jen, that don't know your history and spew this bullshit. She did little shoe. She went live from that house in between her getting out of jail and going back in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she wasn't different. Clint wasn't different, and she wasn't different. She did not learn her lesson. She did not have to do anything to survive on her own. So, stop. 
Stop, because we know. But also, I'm going to rest in the pit of Amber calling us. No, Amber was the only one that should have called because I said something. She did call, along with a lot of other people that called on you. About trafficking, because I was so worried about what Jules supported that I thought all of my friends' children were being taken. But that's what happened. She was so worried about Jules and what she was supposedly (laughs) doing that Jules was going to get all of these content creators' children picked up and put into some trafficking ring. When in all reality, Jules has nothing to do with that. I'm tired of hearing that fucking shit, to be honest. I am too. I'm really tired of hearing that. Hi, Sophia Dragons. How are you? Yeah. Yeah, the squeak of the chair, I know. Yeah, I got to put. I got some WD-40. It does not stop. Oh, oh no, he fell over. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like. I got to get a new chair. I guess this is only a year old. I chair. was at Home Goods last week, and they had two really nice, <laughs> like, office gaming chairs. That had the little piece underneath the seat that popped out for you to kind of like recline your legs. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, yeah, yeah I need to get. I need yeah. to get something different. Yeah, if you have a can't have anybody thinking there. I got flagellants yeah. problems while I'm <laughs> live all the time. Man, Johnny Mac, he's got some issues. <laughs> Every time he's live, man, he's cutting it. <laughs> no, it's the chair. But yeah, if you have a home goods anywhere in the vicinity go there and look for a chair yeah i need to get one i was really hoping her stint in jail was going to help her get her life in order she is funny when not having delusions she used to be at one time but too many years of um she hasn't been that way for a long time yeah yeah it uh, i gotta tell you that Regardless of what anybody wants to think, this shit will change you to a certain degree. Mm -hmm. It has changed me. I had no idea this type of shit existed. And, uh, you know, now it's like, uh, and it's changed me. I I definitely have thicker skin. And, uh, yeah, it's this is the world now. It's different. Yeah, most definitely. You be prepared, so. Most definitely. Bliss Chris, I'm the same <laughs> way. I could go in Home Goods and spend all my money. All my money in one place. I love that store. Here. Uh, I'm out of coffee. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I'm gonna ha- I'm gonna take a break for a little. I'm gonna have to hop right. down for a few, get some coffee, get something, get some breakfast, but uh, I'll be in the chat. So All right. All righty. You got the link if you want to come back up. Okay. Cool. All right. Bye, guys. See you. I have thicker skin, too, and don't trust easily anymore. Yeah. Remove guest. Remove. There we go. It's just me again. Hi. I'm so big. I don't like... I don't like it so big. Good morning, JJ. Hi, my love. How are you? I'm playing with my earring. I haven't had a chance to clean it this morning. Looks pretty good, though. Got a little bar in it. It's getting better. It's healing. I'm that way with the dollar store. I go for one item and spend too much. Yes. Yes. Sophia Dragons, I don't know you. Thank you, Jade. I don't know you, Sophia. Let's listen to some more of this. Happens when you're in a delusion. I had pizzas. I had wellness checks. I had police at my home every I had day. Mobile, you ever had mobile mechanics or lockpicks? Uh, no, but somebody sent me a little Manila. Hi, KK, my love. How are you? That's what I would like to know, KK. How does Clint feel that Jen is going live with all of these different men? How? Hey, Josh. All this stuff has destroyed my hope in humanity. Same, Josh. Same. 
But yeah, she's on the Man in Florida's panel. She's on Harry's panel. She's on Ski Mask Andy's panel. Like, does Clint know about any of this? I doubt it. I doubt it. She's doing this. Hey, Shyla. She's doing this whenever he's gone to work or sleeping. Package and I opened it up and it made my hands burn and my cat just told me told me to go wash my hands. I didn't get it. I had withdrawals from benzodiazepine. I had to take my lithium. The guards were amazing, but I was having withdrawals and I haven't had a seizure and I wanted to bring them from your So she went into renal failure in jail. Sure about that, Jenny? Hmm. Kidney failure or renal failure is the most severe stage of kidney disease. I kind of doubt that that's what you have. Good morning, everybody. Oh, shit. Your phone died as you jumped off. Well, good thing you jumped off when you did. Okay, Sophia, have a good day. Thanks for hopping in. I'm telling you, the going out for you Monday. I, I mean it. You are not going to go after me and Cooch anymore. And if you ever come to Ohio after what Dixie did, taking Clint to a freaking bar to talk to a 15 year old, and then you talk. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, Jade. Let me look. So, yes, I got both of them. Yes, ma'am, I did. Thank you, Jade. So, have a good day, Sophia. So, according to Jen, Vixie took Clint to a bar to meet two 15 year olds. Number one, no, I don't see Vixie's not going to do that. Vixie is not going to, uh, Vixie is not going to take Clint to meet two 15 year olds. Not going to happen. But number two, why did Clint agree to this? Well, let, let's say it is true. Right? Let's say it is true. Why did Clint agree to go meet two 15-year-olds at a bar? 15-year-olds can't get in, a, in bars. No, she would never do that. But let alone the fact that 15-year-olds can't get in bars. Trying to come into my apartment, Dixie? You are bigger than me and you brought two sisters over to whip my ass. So what does that, Vixie being bigger than you has nothing to do with you, with her bringing two other women to beat your ass. Exactly, Cindy, exactly. None of, none of that made any sense. Many of you guys did. Why did anybody call the cops when Rent Center came? Y'all thought it was funny then? Sweaty says that she lies. My husband died of renal failure from H1N1 complications, when I mention her neurologist, ne nephrologist, I don't know what that, I don't know that word. She said she wasn't into corpses, LOL. I wonder if she knows she's dumb or blissfully unaware. Hmm. I know, I know, guys, I know. Your asshole boyfriend went to that bar willingly. Shut the fuck up. Exactly, Drazo. Exactly. Yeah, Jalen, this is not a chat for minors. Sorry. Hey, Maddie. How are you? I can't believe she went over to skis. Like, what the fuck? She's going to be hanging out with. Molly Go Lightly. That would be two people to get a snark. Or Michelle goes live, not Molly. Michelle goes live. Yeah. She cannot volunteer at a school, though. She can't because of her her charges and her convictions. 
<laughs> Barbie, that's funny. Nephrologist. Okay, thank you, sweaty. What at the Rena Center? They came um, to take it for the TV. Down, I think. Say it again. This morning, before I set up my live, this morning, Ski was live. I went over there and I was just kind of listening and whatever. And guess who was in the in the chat? Green Goblin. I set up my live. And right before I hit the live button, guess who was leaving a comment? Green Goblin telling me to stop stalking people. Before, within that two minute period, she knew that I was going live and has made a comment. Yes, Lisa Ann, it's her. And I called her out. And she did, she hasn't made another comment. The door on the stop us sit down when I was inside. Those Rena Center, I have the Rena Center video. I have it. And she was like, the Rena Center lady and the door almost got busted down. What does that have to do with the Rena Center lady? Nothing. Why did the door almost get busted down? Because you went in the house and locked, thank you, uh, locked the um, locked the door so Mike couldn't get in. And he was banging and banging and banging on the door. It didn't always get busted down. He was banging on the door for you to let him the fuck in his own house. That's, that's what happened. By Rena Center? No, by somebody. It was all online. Every time I went live, they showed it on uh, YouTube. Hey, let me ask you a question really quick. Are you a felon? No, uh-uh. Are you a felon? Because if you are, I can't, I can't associate with you. The same as you, Jen. You also cannot associate with felons. You remember that too perfectly. Um, you can also you can you cannot associate with felons as well. So you kind of re need to rethink the people's panels that you're going on because it could get you in trouble. Oh, I know, Snark. I know. And she Jen was like sitting there, and she went live from the Rena Center lady's van and crying and crying. And finally, the lady was like, "I, I gotta go to work. I got, I gotta go to work. Are you going to go back inside? What are you going to do?" <laughs> so you in in your state. I think you're in Ohio, right? Absolutely. It's too hard to get recording state. Um, can you have a pistol, like a Sammy Brown state or whatever? That's just no, like, I cannot. No, and the guy that I have one station, I know yeah. he has one, and it's not in the same because he's got TV charges too. You can't have one. Yeah, I'm going to cancel that live at 11 and just keep this one going. Let me go ahead and do that now, really quick. Because, you know. There's no point in ending this one just to do that one. Delete. No, no, that's this one. I don't want to do that. There we go. That one. Delete forever. No, I can change it till tomorrow morning. Yeah, change it to tomorrow morning. Save. Let me go to this one. Make sure everything's okay. Okay, we're all good with this one. Hold on, guys. Just need to make sure everything's okay. Okay, we're good. 
He's trying to talk to her about something and then she just like answers his question and goes straight back into Jules again. Did she ever give the TV away to the smoke shop dude? No, JJ, she didn't. She didn't. It wasn't her TV to give away. Yes, perfectly. <laughs> You're right. She was pouring her heart out to the Renaissance Center lady like she was her therapist. Yes. She went to class and you know, on classmates. Mom, and you took my picture when I was in sixth grade, Jules. Yes, you did. I have it. That was not a sixth grade picture. You're a stalker. And I hope to God when the uh, Lombard told me they are so tired of her. They are so tired of her. With Lombard, her counterpart. Don't back it up. And then here's what Lombard uh, says. When they go to Jules's, it, it's so sad, man. She's so sorry. And she goes, I'm sorry. I can't get offline because they be messed up. I'm so rude, 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 rude. This takes so long she must be making some money over there if she's worried about yeah. algorithms. Now she's going after Pooch. Now she's going after me. She went after a lady in Miami. She calls somebody turkey tea. Jules, you're 53. <laughs> I asked her when she goes to therapy. She don't want to talk about what she's done to me, stalking me, Jules, and it's coming out. I get, I told Clark mm -hmm. to leave, tell you to leave me alone. And you black yeah. there, Clark, too. And I'll show everybody your text about what you said you did. She did. She did. She went to the dollar store or whatever it was. And told everyone she was pregnant. Yeah, I have that video. I have the following video where uh, she said, I'm not pregnant. The birth control is working like craziness. Oh, I don't know if it's here or somebody else's panel, but she says that she had a miscarriage in jail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Even though she's, she has her tubes tied. To him and tell his husband. Like, con contact with people in real life directly. Like, oh, yeah, she did. She had um, all in laws and stuff in there. She was bragging on Clint and his family. So they just got a lawyer for him to get him a TPO because she doesn't. You do not need a lawyer to get a protection order on somebody. You don't. Nobody's talking about Clint, but you. Nobody but you. Stop. She has this lady Camden um, that's been reporting me Camden. for years, calling me Danny, put me on fly strips, watching me uh, cook when I don't know how to cook. They make fun of me because I put chicken. <laughs> watching me cook when I don't know how to cook. You did a live stream, Jen. You did a live stream trying to cook. If you didn't want anybody watching that, you don't go live and do it. It's a, a big garbage can outside when she puts her trash that are outside her apartment. Then throw it an eviction day and then write people's names on her arms. <laughs> and she says it's her S. But none of us are allowed to have mental health issues, right, Jules? When you throw it over the S, so that's that. And when so, you get to see um, me, ever mention me again? Oh, I thought Savage was a nightmare. Savage is an angel compared to Jules. Jules is a rotten, rotten. I think she's getting ready to bring me up now. What, uh, why did she start bothering with you since she's been out of jail? Like, what made her because she's mad at me. Because I'm skinny, I'm pretty, I'm cute, and she fucked <laughs> Nasty. Why don't you come up on panel now, Jules? You got your fucking hive in here, I'm sure of it. Maybe I should tell you what we're going to send him for. It wasn't, uh, whenever you're blaming kids for chocolate wieners, that was you know, the chocolate wieners. But it's been, uh, mystery for chocolate wieners and get me in trouble. See, I didn't know. Okay, Gates was mad at me. I had a picture, whatever. We're not talking anymore. Great, whatever. But I only made a wellness check because I saw that he had, like, something in his hand. You did a wellness check on John to fuck with him. That's the only reason you did that. That was it. I did not. He says I ruined it. I don't know none of these stories. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know none of these stories. I don't know who you're talking about. 
but just begging around playing these people are really thirsty. They're just gonna come in and feed off you. Kind of being a friend and let you get your get your snake after. Kind of. No, I don't have any questions, but it's, it's terrifying. Not not gonna lie. I, I, I can imagine. That, that's I what I'm saying. You need to have a whistle blower. You need a. Uh, you need to get a way to defend yourself, protect yourself, rather. I, I mean, I listen. I have security. If my door opens, my garage door opens, I leave my light on at night. It was just so embarrassing when the fire department showed up, and I'm like, "You guys, hide your camera because this lady watches everything." Then I called my best friend, and they talked to her, and they were explaining. Like I, I told them, I don't take that diazepam, overdose, jail, went on a lie, and people just kept clowning me. And I just, I, I guess. My therapist, I see him every week because so here's the thing with the permission. I, I can go on. I can't. People go online all the time with DV charges. But here's the thing, Jules. Yeah, you're the other one. Jules, you're just disgusting. You need to go to an old lady's home and get one of those masks they give you in jail. I didn't like jail. I really didn't. I have women trying to pull my pants down. I do remember. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, Jen. Get the fuck out of here. You went to jail and women were trying to pull your pants down. Stop with the bullshit. Stop with the bullshit. Number one. Number two, you were in medical. Those whole 52, 53 days, your ass was in medical. Okay, you was not with the genu the general population. Exactly right, Barbie. What about the nasty message you left John on his birthday? What about sending his pics out? There are no, there are reasons why people don't trust you, Jen. Exactly, exactly, Barbie. You were in freaking medical the whole time you were in jail. So stop it. Just stop. I wish I would have done that happened. Well, she mocked me because I thought I was miscarrying and I was just on my, my female thing. She's just... You know you can't miscarry because you can't have children anymore. Your words. Your words. She's not terrified so much about that, but she will mess with right, her ghost face. emotions and stalk you every day. There's a woman from Love After Lockup and she'll stalk her, man. Put huffing cans up about me, Jules. I do not have a drug problem. Never, ever, ever have. Hmm. Leave my parents alone. Leave my kids alone. Nobody's fucking with your parents or your children. But you. Nobody but you. You're not supposed to be talking to and or about your own children. They have restraining orders against you, Jen. And you're the only person talking about them. Leave my parents. Your parents. Well, you, you bothered your parents and your kids? Are your kids adult kids now? From pancreatic cancer two and a half years ago. And then my father died a year before that having a fatal heart attack on the highway, Jules. Leave us alone. And Brandy, I have your freaking TPO for you and your daughter, too. Aw, oh, Brandy. You're getting a TPO, too, you and your daughter. Brandy, say one more time. I mean it. Leave your ex-husband alone. He don't want nothing to do with you. Hi, hon. Like, as if. Fuck you. I'm a cheerleader and you're a cheerleader. You, you mean that, you mean she's like speaking on your deceased relatives? Like bringing them up and stuff? Yeah. Uh, not right, my Julia. Mother, but my mother, yes. Anybody that would be live right now would come in. Even the bottom feeder site doesn't want her ass. She puts me up on a fly strip. Benny, Benny's back. Well, don't. Ha why do you have fly strips hanging up in your house, Jen? That's nasty. Nasty, nasty. Like, who has fly strips hanging up in their freaking kitchen, in their dining room, in their bedroom, in their living room? That's just weird, and it's nasty. Well, Jules, when do you leave and take a break? It's been 13 months since I have. Uh, it's been 13 months since what? You've taken a break? Longer than that. Longer than that since you've taken a break. When I get the 50-something days in jail doesn't count. 
was a lot of people who answer, like, why did she become, become obsessed with you again? She just couldn't just... Yes. The kitchen. Yes, the kitchen, the living room, the bedroom. Everywhere has a freaking fly strip hanging up, even in your new house that Miss Alice paid for. So you came back, she was right back on your neck, just, you know, stop uh, her weird or whatever you say? Uh, 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 no, but but I want to lie to you and say yes. Jules, Jules needs help. I, I mean, honestly, I don't want to see her get arrested. I mean, she's already a snitch. She told on her dude. Uh, then somebody interviewed. Wow. Them. Tell me about that real quick. Like, not, not the whole story, but what did she tell I know, sweaty. I know. Sweaty says, hand on a Bible. All she did was talk crap about her father, was absent from her life, and how her mother was a, an addicted loser who wrecked her 1985 neon. She can only love after folks are gone. Exactly. Because she thinks it gives her attention. She's an attention-seeking psycho. You know who has fly strips in their kitchen? Muzz. Saw it on Reddit. Really hostile environment? Hello, hostile environment, by the way. But really, seriously, fly strips? Girl. Girl. Hold on, do you like what they call the drugs? Doing things with, with women. Uh, and Jules. Jules got caught, I believe, and picked her up and she uh, <laughs> You can't get out of your house. You can't get out of your house. And you went after Bandy and her bell. You went after T.L. Rang her bell. So that's that. I'm fine. I'm great, Jules. I can get you for 30 minutes today for my... Bullshit. Bullshit. Ooh, really hostile environment? Not the 1985 neon. No. Mm -mm -mm. Huffing hand and red and heart. You are a horrible, rotten person. And it's so you did it. You were the one that was uh, on a live backstage on a live with a damn balloon, huffing it, sucking in a balloon, and was put on freaking panel. You didn't know it. Everybody's seen it, Jen. Hey, Teddy B, why does this life look different? Just got here. We are trying something a little different today. Yeah. Guys, hit the like button. Please, por favor. Por favor, 112 people in here and 49 likes. Hit the like button, guys. Let me plug my phone in. There we go. Well, that I had a panic attack because of you. You, Jules. You are rotten. Never okay. Huh? No worries, Jade. Have a good day and be safe. I'll see you later. A piece of crap. And if you call anybody on me again, Jules, you're going to jail. I will press harassment. And you think I don't have a fax machine? Mm -hmm. I sure do. And I recorded <laughs> all your lives, got all your screenshots, Susie Q, Big B, Amy Lou with the blood pressure issues. How you exposed my ex best friend Christine and what she went through. You cannot let anybody have their own trauma. Jen, Jen, come on now. You are in the right game. For the record, this woman has no relation to Michelle. No, they have no oh, relation. No. Uh -uh. She is. Remember that? Andy, let's have a fashion show. It's like, what are you taking? You see my ring? No, I'm gonna... Gosh, show her where the like button is or tell her. Nobody sees it. I don't know what it looks like for you guys. I'm younger than myself. I believe you're only 41, right? 42? No, I'm not. How old? How old are you? 45. Glad to be. Oh, you look so great for your age. Wow, that's amazing. It's called getting up, eating better, getting, you know, I'm stage three B. I could have died in jail. I she could have died in jail, guys. Stage three B. Come on. Come on, Jen. Anybody that goes to jail can die. Anybody. 
You're you're not special. I'm in three D real. The three dots on the right top corner, guys, gives you the option to click the like button. You know what is this? Sounds like a dumb accident. I think I've heard that before. Uh, it's just called CKD, chronic kidney disease, and it just my blood pressure fluctuates a lot, and I really don't get these lemons. I do. I really don't. You do though. You do give us all of you though. You were the first person in my life today, leaving a comment. When I needed my friends, they just bring me up when it self-serves them. Like this dude that went to my hearing, like, bro, if you went, if you are the person they identified, you better stay away from me, sir. Okay. I don't mention you. I have nothing to do with you. I never broke a car window. You called my man. You had his mother in there harassing her. So Listen, Sophie is the worst of all of them. I'm the worst of them all, guys. I'm the worst of them all. Well. Miss Alice came into mine, our lives, because she wanted to be there. Nobody was harassing her. Nobody. I like Miss Alice. I do. She's a sweet lady. There, there's no harassing of Miss Alice. As much as you would like for there to be, there's not. Sophie is the absolute worst. Ha <laughs> ha. She is so jealous of me. Disgusting. Why don't you show your arms? What? Show my arms? You want to see my arms? You want to see my arms? I'll show you my arms. Hold on. Let me get propped up here and I'll show you my arms. Want to see my arms? My arms. See? My tanner's coming off, guys. There's my arms, Jen. There's my arms. Most with stage three kidney disease will not even have symptoms. It's obviously not a super dangerous stage. Yes, she said I am jealous of her. That's exactly what she just said. Jealous of what? I'm not sure. Not really sure. But according to her, I'm jealous. Thank you, Jojo. There's nothing to be jealous of, Jen. Nothing at all to be jealous of. I thought she said he you know, had a felony conviction, you said, right? Number. Uh -uh. That's just, what he's worried about. I shouldn't have done that. It was a misdemeanor, and I've already taken care of the probation violation, paid all of my restitution costs, did my community service. I'm on the courts here. You don't finish the program, you violate your back to show. I got 90 days. I swear she's in drug court. I swear she is. The way she talks about what she just talked about. Yeah. Thank you perfectly. It's over my head, and I'm not looking back. She's talking about somebody named Just Jules that's a town that's like a recapture. Now, uh, Glenn Wood is the one who has multiple felonies. He was pimping out girls. That's what you. That's what he did, Jules. And then you got wired up. He snitched on you your you in your apartment, getting high, getting stoned, getting your kitty litter box for you. Um, and he said, you're coming to Ohio. I guarantee you, you will not come into Ohio. You will be arrested on site. If Jules goes to Ohio, <clears throat> she will be arrested on site. On site. She talks about Jules, somebody buying Jules kitty litter. While... Jen's whole life is being funded by Mrs. Alice. What do you buy? What do you pay for, Jen, huh? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. I know, JFID. I know it's, uh, it's angering. What do you want to for? Just because. I'll hang out with the chick that had a nervous breakdown. Right, Vixie? Right, Vixie? Right, Vixie? 
stay offline, then here you're getting a TPO right along with the uh, <laughs> woman who came to my hearings, Tracy. You guys leave me alone. Quit talking about Chloe. Chloe's not, you don't know nothing of what's going on with Chloe, Jules. You rehome animals. Look at what you did to real entertainment cats. Couldn't even provide him information on how they were. You hoard cats, you hoard weed, you buy bombs, you buy squirrel vibrators. Now, if there is a cat, cats, dogs, animals put into rescues, unless you work at said rescue, unless you volunteer at said rescue, there's no way for you to give anybody kind of any updates and or information on animals at said rescue. Stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she is for sure. For sure she is. And I have the lives that she or live that she did before right, right before she went to jail a couple days before she went to jail. She was also on ski mask Andy's panel then. And I have those. So when we're done with this and we chit chat, whatever we um. I'm going to go watch what Jen looked like pre-jail and see if there's been any changes for the better. That's it, Johnny Mac. I'm coming for a visit. Make sure Ohio State Troopers are at the state line as I cross. Right. Right, hostile environment. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Turn off your fax machine, Vixie. TPO incoming. Right. She's always said that about Ohio, though. She's always said, or oh, you can't come to my state. Like, come on. Get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. And that's sweaty. That was sweaty with the dehydrated squirrel. That was not Amber. That was sweaty. And you fuck with Amber too. Jules, you yes, don't want JJ. me to give Amber this stuff to you. Oh. Yes, JJ. She said that Jules hoards squirrel vibrators. Oh my God. Amber, Amber. And and Ski Mask Andy has said like maybe five words this whole 22 minutes. Yes. I did, I'm sorry, but I did not mean to call Mr. Yates. I absolutely not. I don't want to be friends with him, but I only called and I called back and apologized. <laughs> Why did you give out his pictures, his private pictures, Jen? Huh? Was that also an accident? No. Well, the boys, I got the ass numbers from them as well. What, what are, so, what are the, that's like a report, right? Like video and body cam, all that shit. Uh, it's what they pulled on you, and they go to your hearing. You can't go to a hearing with the phone. Good morning, Queen of O'Hara. Oh, God, you can't do that. And then read dockets, and then throw me on YouTube channels. Plenty of it's fucking about. Plenty of it's taken his life. I could have lost my life in jail. It's over. It was 13 months ago, Jules. So you're still the only one talking about it. You were the only one talking about it. You. Everybody else has moved on. You haven't. Not, not at all. Let me look at the chat. I'll tell you who's in there that is affiliated with Jules right now. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of familiar names, but I'll tell you. Wait, right so now. who said that person's life? Just Jules. Uh, Jules is that. I wish what? I could share my screen. I wish I could share my screen on my phone, but I can't. That's the messages. That's to share and add a guest. Uh, no, no. I can't share my screen. I wish I could share my screen. Ooh, maybe I can. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me try something.
me see. Hmm. Okay. Let me see what I got here. Pop out dashboard, channel level settings. What's that? There's that. It's not what I need. Send feedback. Hmm. I wish I would. Damn it. Edit. I don't want to edit. Wow, the views I've had on this live. Manage guests. View activity. Damn it. Thank you, Shauna, for becoming a member. Stream. Ah, oh, daggone it. Come on, YouTube. Get it together. We need more options. What's 360 video? Yeah, I get it together. Get it together, YouTube. Come on. We need to be able to do more things on here. Oh, well. Hold on. Go to this. Yeah, I can't. I wish I could, man. Because you you really want to see Jen in in this in this live that I'm getting ready to play. <clears throat> this live is from five days ago, Queen of O'Hara. Five days ago. It wasn't until she came back running her mouth that people started talking. Exactly. People forgot about her. Like, hey, Martin's mommy. Good morning. Yep. Right, little shoe. I agree. I think that's about it. She's breaking up. She drops and comes back. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. She breaks up. There's only a couple minutes left. So, there's that. I'm gonna show you. I wish my camera wasn't broken. There's Jen. That this was Jen a year ago. A year ago. There we go. A year ago. That was her. So. Hold on. Somebody bought a pizza. Hello. Can you hear me now? Let me see. Here. Let me see that. No, what's on it? Somebody bought a pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Not a pizza. I know, the smug look on her face. I know, right? This was right before she went to jail is when this was. Oh, nasty, dude. If you guys want to meet, it's nasty. Hey, I can't get the volume for up. Oh. Right. You're meeting me. Well, that's not the one. I can hear you. Oh, you're hoarse. Try saying something, something. I can hear you. I need to go get my phone stand. Right in. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes.
Yeah, but you're not on the dot. You bitches need your vibrators. Badly. This poor man has more polarity than anyone I've ever heard of in my whole life. What's up, buddy? Oh, my fucking God. These fucking pairs sent me a pizza with, um, with black marshmallows? <laughs> oh, meatballs, which you fucking know. They can't, yeah, you can't swallow a dick. Salami, which you guys, that's what your fucking titties are. The pizza had meatballs on it, and they know she can't swallow dick, so... This this woman is is really really nasty, guys. Same perfectly, same. I've not gotten a pizza either, and they say that that uh, Bison has posted my address, and they all know where I live. Send me a pizza. Send me a pizza. Right, Ghostface. Good point. Wait, if someone bought a pizza, it was no one from this community. They don't pay for pizzas. Exactly. Hey, Deadly. What's up? We are watching Jen Bailey before she went to jail on Ski Mask Andy's panel. Yeah, so. Is Clint okay with her flirting with Andy? He doesn't know hostile environment. He does not know what she's doing. Has no clue what she's doing. At all. I'm going to go try and find my phone stand. I'll be right back. Look like your nipples, but right? uh, onions, because you can shove out your ass, which most of you guys have, because it's stretched out. And what else? Something fucking else. And God knows what that is. It's not like that. Okay, so what's going on? Where's the inversion? Oh, she's going to come on, I guess. I have a room to check in. Uh, moderator, put the link in the camera. Who's the moderator? Me? No, the Queen. Hey, Queen. Have to look nice today and then come back to Easter or what do you have to? Dude, I'm just fucking so I didn't even have a chance to uh, smoke it if I got it. And I do got it. Oh, All they had a freaking sale yesterday, bro. At the dispensary, it was like 40% off. Yeah, I ended up saving more than I had spent. That's crazy. So, let's stop there. Because the other day on the man in Florida's panel, she, she was like, oh, God, I don't smoke weed. I've never done that. And here she is, right before she went to jail, talking about going to the dispensary. And they had a sale. And she ended up spending more than she was saving. So, there's that. I'm setting up my phone stand here so I don't have to hold it. Damn it, man. I need a new ring light and a phone stand. This one sucks. I'm grifting for a new new ring light and a phone stand, everybody. Actively grifting. Oop, see? See? Okay. You've smoked weed with her. She's smoked weed many, many, many times on, on panel. Yeah, she's definitely a show-off. It's kind of weird we haven't seen Clint. Jen has been live a lot, but do we ever hear Clint in the background? Maybe he's following Miss Alice's rules. Yes, and he thinks that Jen is too. He does. He thinks that Jen is also following said rules. But yes, super chats, super stickers, gifted memberships, cash apps, PayPal's, Venmo's. It's all appreciated but not expected. I am actively grifting for a ring light and a phone stand. Right, Clark? Uh, is it illegal? Is it legal where you're at? Is it a recreation? Oh, yeah, oh, you're in a, oh, you're in a green state. No, I'm in, I'm in a medical state. Same as me. Yeah, well, no, I can smoke it medically because I have PTSD and then... They said that I had bipolar, okay, and then, yeah, so there was no problem. That's what I got. Seriously? Yeah, I got bipolar, PTSD, and they said I'm going to get depressed. And I'm going to say, she's going to cut it. Thanks, I have a question. Do you want to marry me right now? Sure. Seriously? Yeah. Flirting. Look at her flirting with Ski Mask Andy. Would you marry me right now? Seriously. I think that Clint has no idea, Ghostface. I think she does all of this when he's either A, sleeping, or two, at work. That's what I think. 
And they can still probably make TV show videos because we never met. So we could probably get like a TV show video. Do you feel like you could fall in love with me right now? Ooh, you know, I can I mean, zoom in. Uh, sure, maybe anything's possible. What do you mean anything's possible? I think you're in love with me. And you don't even know it. See? You might be right. No, I'm right. I know it. Look at you right now. You're lusting after me. You're in love with me. Look at it. I can see it right now. You're lusting over me. Jen. You've got that straw right in your mouth, and you're not thinking of a guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very skinny one. Yeah, no, I'm like, I don't have much reason to get around. I always like, do you like me? Do you like some pictures of me? No, I don't fuck with this. I don't like that stuff. Um, I just get like a, like I got a Chris, it's like a, yeah, what the fuck is this shit? Um, it's hybrid. I yeah. Mean, you know, yeah, it's a hybrid and it's, what the fuck is it called, bro? Uh, I don't know, like birthday cake or some shit. You can't taste the birthday cake. I know, right? So when are you going to come down here and marry me? Like, fucking hot stuff. Can you, can you get to the other one? Oh, I bet you will. I like you. Multiple times tomorrow. Are you coming over? Yes, Celia. She said, when Clint is at work, she is a single woman. Her words. She is a single woman when he's at work. Wow. Will you be using a burning glove? I don't think I'm using a burning glove. Say you're more of a relationship kind of guy. Or do you want to know? What do you mean? Oh, I'm just rushing. Why? If you had to pick Amber. Right, Dresden? At the end of the day. No, I think you can I'm not married. IQ test, we know that you're stupid. And uh, if you said deliver, um, I've had like fifteen hundred people try to jump me. Um, you know, no, the fuck I don't. No, I do not. You know, no, it's my friend's fault because he. I don't like hair pullers. Okay, so I just sat there one night. This uh, bitch next door. Here she is talking about stinkfish Paul again. And uh, she was like, "Sorry, I'm watching something." Anyway, so she fucking like hit me, and well, I waited for her to hit me first, right? So she swung like that far right there, <laughs> and uh, she fucking swung it. Hold on. She swung it at me, so I like backed up and I took my fucking hoops out and kicked my fucking slippers off. And by the way, there was Jessica Simpson slippers. I was not too. These things I buy are expensive. I could just take those motherfuckers off. Get it? Go. And then that bitch was fucking yanking on my hair in the fucking kitchen. And I was like this, and I'm like, are you kidding me? So she let go, and I got her interview. Wow. No, like four years ago, all these other punk bitches, they ain't doing shit. They're trying to jump me, and I'm like, man. Fuck yeah, people always try to fight me. I've never lost a fight one. She, people always try and jump her. She's never lost a fight one. She she lost big time, Ghostface. Big time. She's never lost a fight, guys. All 96 pounds soaking wet. I'm the biggest manipulator either, but if I have to fight, I know that if I go to jail, it's only going to be for one day, I'll go and get a fucking lawyer. And what? <laughs> she knows she's the biggest manipulator. She knows if she goes to jail, she'll be out in one day. I'll get a lawyer. And what? And And you ate your words, didn't you? You ate your words. Exactly. I have more twenty five hundred dollars. I never said that I was rich, but this is what my roommate did. This isn't me. I'm OCD as fuck. Well. Right? Hostile environment. Not anymore. The big fact. Oh my god. The teacher. And she's doing the same thing today, a year later. Wait for like ten hours. It's disgusting. 
Deadly. You can come up here with me if you want to. My panties are falling. I got four pairs of panties. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so cool. Um, yeah, this is what my roommate said. He's a great guy. He's not there no more? Any. Any more. I wouldn't care to go get the kids. I care to go. So who are these bitches in a fucking chat? Which one wants to come up first and get her horse whipping? I heard bombshell. Okay, you're right. Right, perfectly. Uh, yeah. She wants to be a tough girl. Like, she spent 52 days in jail in medical the whole time. Like, you're you're not tough. You're not some, this big tough girl. She is gross. I've seen some great pictures of your nasty fucking horses covered in fucking dirt. So eat your fucking chalk and your beef stick, metaphorically speaking. And this your guys' sticks are about this big, and your vulva is probably that big, which is why you just hit the other. Oh my god, which one wants to fight tonight? That fucking bitch with the pickle nose. I can't deal with her. Uh, the foodie bitch, fang bitch, uh, flavor guy. Send up a flavor guy. Flavor, you want to come up? Oh, she's a friend, oh I would love to make her cry. Bitch, I will make you cry, and I will take your fucking husband if I want to, because God knows he's thinking about me way more than your fat ass fucking whore. She'll take your husband if she wants to. <laughs> right, how you start hostile environment? Don't you know all the toughest women sit in medicals? <laughs> Oh, so she's like burning out her fucking uh, batteries for her big fat dildo. Well, I know a dude that fucking literally escaped from prison in my fucking state that set a fucking building on fire. So bitch, you need to shut the fuck up. That shit ain't fun. No, it's not. It's, it's fucking sickening. She did a house on fire in the entrance, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck are you doing in here, then, you fat fucking client? Oh my god, you must want a piece of this guy, and you definitely want a piece of me. But that won't happen. When I was not happening. No, I don't do fucking threesomes, ever. Never. I've had, literally, I have had, I kissed one chick out, uh, you know what happened to her? Uh, up against the wall. Uh, yeah, you, you that me. Wait, wait. It's a fuck. Wait, no. And I don't, wait. What the hell I have never had a fucking threesome. Not a day in my life. Bullshit. You fat bitches, you do what the fuck. Bullshit. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. You, Mike, Clint, the end. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Cindy. <laughs> you want to do take a carrot up your puss hole i don't give a fuck but i do not do three sums no fucking way that shit is nasty i i'm an on top lady if you know what i mean okay. i'm not pairs i've gotten off twice under like on the bottom but that's only when i cross my legs around is that twice in your life or two fucking two different guys to do not twice in my life i've done it and gotten off like that i don't like that yep go face exactly do you feather no i know they don't care to do it or did you like the thing you're talking about the big giant hole that's what um that's what brought that she does a lot of scissoring with tools really disgusting See, here she is, a year ago, still bringing up jewels to this man who has no idea who she saw, who she's talking about. Mm -mm -mm. Why are you perturbed? You should be perturbed about it. That, whatever you want to do is what you want to do, and you want to do. I think we could, uh, we should end up, I don't know where you live or anything. I do, but I was looking at you today, I was trying to find out about you when you were on stream, and I was just like, general questions for that. Leave him alone, Monster Love. I can see whoever you are, and I see your fucking profile pic, and nobody wants to look. God damn, you ugly bitches. I do not like you. There's okay, there. so I'm in Cincinnati. Okay, well, I'm far. Oh, you're in Jersey. I know you're in Jersey. No, I'm in Oklahoma right now. Why? Because I got in trouble, and they brought me back here. They extradited you back. They put a order on your ass. And you, don't like to, you don't like to be told what to do. I don't like to be told what to do. You know, the, I've never had a felony a day in my life. Same. See, I thought nope. it was funny because I thought you were one of the women who had got out of jail. Uh, no, I have not been arrested. I, okay, so I got the trafficking thing, but I never, it, it, there was no merit to it, but it was thrown out, but you can still see it as that. You have, yeah, they say a lot of crazy stuff about you. I don't know. I don't give a fuck what they say about me. They can fucking suck a dick, and most of them do. Do yeah. you think I get a flipping fuck? Like, fuck around and find out, bitches. Seriously. You guys are so mad. Fuck around and find out, bitches. Okay, so, like, what do you want to know about me for real? Do you, uh, still, are you still dating the guy that was dating the other chicken on the show? Ghost face. Mm -hmm. I've never been married. Well, yeah. I mean, I, you know, I, I love him a lot. He's my best friend and everything. And, you know, like, if I had to marry him, like, I would to make sure that he was okay. Like, you know, Amber would do anything for me. If you had to marry him, you would? Like, that's kind of sketch. Sketchy. Uh, I guess hostile environment. To, to her, it is. I, guess, I don't know. I don't know, man. But, I mean, you know, Amber does get controlling and I don't like that. Oh, no, you don't know. What? I've only talked to Amber for a couple of months. What do you think of her? I mean, what, did she find her intriguing? Yeah, she, she and I had friends and then, uh, 
That's what you did. You fucked around and you found out, right? Okay, Barbie. Have a good day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never been to Costco either, but I assume it's like Sam's Club, sort of. Yes, she did, little shoe. She did. She's talking about all these women and sucking D and blah, 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 blah. But she literally sucked Clint's D on a freaking live stream. That would be Ski Mask Andy and Jen Bailey before she went to jail. Yeah, I'm playing both in the future. Like, you have any I guess if we got married, you would know. You would be the one working, and if we worked together, then we would have a channel together. That's right. Do you have a channel right now? Do you need someone? Uh, Jen in the Wolfpack with an exclamation, and I have no access to that because of the whole hacker bullshit. But uh, I have another backup that was taken down that was a safe zone, and the new one I was going to do is uh, G&M because of my friend Maria. I believe she's <laughs> I used to listen to people my whole life. No, don't say Sam. you're sorry. Don't ever say that you're fucking sorry to people, bro. You don't fucking need to say you're sorry. Just because you got in trouble, at least you fucking admit it. These stuff that just do not. I mean, I both, like I said, all I knew about you, without, let's say, not even Amber, was I was just like, is he a fugitive? Like, and that's why you guys are like, you know what I'm saying? Never had a problem with you. Never. Then I started thinking more about you, and I was like, I could be pretty careful with this dude. Right. I feel that. It was disgusting, sweaty. Oh, all right. We're calm down. This is Miss Gathers. Oh, my God. Jen, just saying yourself up, but it looks like a poor dog. It's so embarrassing to say that. Right, Amanda. Are you? Oh, my God. Are you offended that I'm embarrassed? I am. Oh, my God. I'm blushing. Say that. You're a fucking fat horse. You guys need to, like, gallop your asses. Oh, my God. I'm like, I'm like, yes. uh, oh my god! I think you people because I'm not a fucking whore. I'm really not. Sure. Oh my god! I just have a gag reflex. Like I gag. Oh my god! You women are fucking disgusting. They talk about like uh, this is semen and uh, 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 like rub it with a raincoat, or you guys just swallow on, and most of you cows do. But wow. Oh my god! Well, because when my mom passed away, no lie, um, when she was growing up, it was like black, and I had actually, and like when she grew up, and she couldn't help it because she actually had lung cancer, and then it metastasized to her um, pancreas. So I swallowed it. I know, I know. It's a little much, little shoe. I'm trying to get through it because it's long. It's an hour and a half long, and it's only sped up a little bit. We'll do normal for a little bit, and then we'll go back. I know, Johnny Mac. I know. She is a pathological liar. Hands down to come back to a comment. Didn't AMZ ridicule her for the BJ, then backtracked and said Jen is a good actress and actually faked the BJ sounds. <laughs> She's no when Harry met Sally. Yeah, that was definitely not faked. You could see the look on Clint's face and tell there was no faking in none of that. None of it. But I'm going to go grab me a pair of socks. My feet are cold. I'll be right back. Mm. It's like, you know, when you pass away, your body releases. Like, I, I mean, I don't, I don't like to go to funerals. I hate roses. I fucking hate roses. I've only been to two and I've never gone to another one in my life. I've been to. No, I mean, dude, I just, I can't. There's this bitch that fucking works at a morgue and she like toe tags people and brags about calling funeral homes because she works at one. She brags about that shit. But you know how they say when they identify somebody, you call a morgue, which is this shit, and the only way you can identify somebody, like the person that I, my best friend that I care so much about, how would I know that he has a fucking truck on his left toe? Like, get, get the fuck out of here. I can identify somebody without even having to look at them, even if the little plaque would be where they just throw people with a number. Have you ever been asked to identify anybody? Uh, I don't, not, 
don't know what to do. What if you were told that I had passed away? It would, it would, it would destroy you. It would. This would be laughing at again because he would never laugh at that. But um, you know, maybe I have a little itty bitty, teeny weeny little birthmark somewhere. Ooh. Like Marilyn Monroe, where that woman draw these birthmarks. I don't have to do that. I have a little itty bitty freckle. I'm a kid cat. And now all you, oh now, my would, God. Would anybody know? Oh yeah, in my super cool video. I'm like in the bathtub. Yep. Well, now everybody knows that Jen Bailey has a little itty bitty freckle on her kitty cat. Like, why would you? Why? Why would you? Why? I have them all. It came from my iCloud account. And a lady says that I have the best damn news. And her brother, um, hmm. yeah, her brother, without his wife working. There's a porn room that my friend owns in Florida. I, it doesn't bug me. If y'all want to enjoy whatever, get yourself off. Believe you me, fucking, I don't do that stuff to myself, but when I'm with a guy, yeah, I ain't got no problems. Fuck around and find out, bitches. Most of you bitches are in love with me. That's fucking problem. And I don't do that kind of stuff. Nope. Been there, done that, <laughs> and that one got, like, metaphorically up to a wall. Oh, my God. Yes, deadly. Yes. And Little Whore on the Prairie actually has a DV, and she uh, tells me that uh, she wanted to eat, uh, well, a few days ago, she said that she wanted to, uh, on a watch. Do you think I care? She's as big as a fucking logger. That's a pussy-ass bitch. Yeah, she bring a weapon. I know, sweaty. I've heard warning shots. Didn't phase me. Uh, has somebody, you heard about the gun thing. Didn't phase me. So you want to throw a fist, then you want So you mean to tell me now, well, a year, a year ago, you said that there was some road rage. You pulled into a parking lot. A gun was pulled on you. You talked about how freaked out and scared to death you were over that. But now that you talked to him, this man on panel, it didn't phase you? Bullshit. I know perfectly. I know. I know, little shoe. I am surprised. Now that you bring that up, I am surprised. I want to call the cops. And that's why I've had the cops here. And there's the <laughs> Nothing but. The chat. Uh, Jen's empty antos, antipsychotic built. Blah, 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 let me start that over. Jen's empty antipsychotic pill bottle says, how did we go from funeral homes to porn rooms? <laughs> I know, little shit. It's funny. Oh, my God. Uh, my daughter's medical information from a stepmother. Uh, well, it's one reports. Every time you call the cops, they will foster it online. That's why you've heard so much about me. Uh, they copy my uh, bracelets. They copy my tattoos. That's why my tattoos, because I was the PTO mom. Okay, so I have to put them here, but I don't know. But my tattoos have my kids on it and Bible quotes. And you want to see yours? Oh, I got a bunch of tattoos. How many have you gotten from jail? I didn't get no tattoos from jail. I've been in prison for three and a half years, but I was here. What did you do? I would have uh, you. I've been to prison to visit somebody, and I was like, oh, hell no. Did you have to get searched, and it was all awkward to go in and out? Like, did they think you were yeah, there? they didn't like some of the outfits yeah. I wore, but it wasn't horish. It was just a show, like, I guess. But I went there, and I just sat there, and it was fucking boring. Like, people were taking pictures with these backdrops. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, that's it the worst. Uh, he asked me, yeah, he got me pregnant, and I fell down some escalator stairs, and I was like, okay. What happened back in the day? Somebody got you pregnant while you were pregnant, you fell down escalator stairs? Yeah, it wasn't my fault. It's just I was a klutz. I wasn't drunk or anything. But did you? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This dude got her pregnant. She fell down some escalator stairs, and it's whatever. You know, it's it's whatever. I'm fine. But then she says, it wasn't my fault, though. I wasn't drunk. What? Let's let's go back about ten seconds. And he got me white. <laughs> yeah, that's it, it, the worst. Uh, yeah, he me, yeah, he got me pregnant, and I fell down some escalator stairs, and I was like, "Okay." What happened back in the day? Somebody got you pregnant while you were pregnant. You fell down escalator stairs. Yeah, it wasn't my fault. It's just I was a klutz. I wasn't drunk or anything. But did you? Did sure, you, you weren't. Did you, did you, did you, yeah, it was fucking fine. I just you just go into your gynecologist and they take care of it. No, I don't freaking just like sleep. Easy peasy. Get rid of it. Right, Jen? Wow, these women are fucking disgusting saying that shit. That, it doesn't even piss me off. It pisses me off because they're not being fucking true about it. Right. 
I don't like fucking liars. I don't care what the fuck you ever done in your past. I was telling Mike, I said, they could put me in a Taiwan goddamn prison and right, put me right. in a goddamn wiper, and I'm still going to fucking talk. Meaning uh, that wish uh, put a fucking ball gag in my mouth. Now I know what it is. You guys are fucking gross. Why are they Hold on. Ooh, look at me. Ooh, look at the stairs. That's what I'm You can get the camera off if you want. You're very attractive, though. You should turn it back on. Oh, yeah, I know. What you. That's why you're in the bathroom all the time. Now I understand. I was, I was in the bathroom hiding out with that, uh, Stop it. Like you do. I don't want the pizza. You come down with it. Hmm. gonna be happy, happy, happy. Sweaty, you're funny. Hey, Amber. What are you doing, baby? Yo, what's up? Look at those melons. And now Amber's already been on the camera more in 2023 than Bonjo. I am. No makeup either. <laughs> uh, life's in love with her. Who's that? Your uh, roommate? Yeah, uh, she sent a fucking pic. It wasn't. I've never seen one everybody. No, I have not seen one new photo of Amber, not a day in my life. And that is honest to God. Swear to God, no new, no. Why would she send me that? That's fucking disgusting. And if anybody ever sent me that, like, I would bitch slap them in the face, metaphorically speaking. That's not in my pictures. That's the thing. None of my pictures have ever been nude. No, nude. Only I think you put that that finger in the fish one, and that wasn't even you. That wasn't me. That's what they are. It looked like a uh, tattoo of a um, an ankle bracelet. Oh, okay. I, no, don't. Amber, I only saw it once, and I looked at it, and it was like, oh, fuck, no, that is not even her. You guys are dumb. I got the whole video. I got the whole video with the TikTok, and she found out she's from New York. Or the box. So oh, yeah. God. Oh, like Lauren? What, she said, what are you talking about, bitch? I'm from fucking the Boston area, you fucking dumb bitch. Her name is NB, New Balance Shoes, Velcro, something none of us. And you can find her shaking her thing with her RB slap bitch hanging out from her shorts. Correct, Amber? The bitch fucking got me and Amber in our first fight. She was Amber's mom. And the, oh, God, the text she has sent me. Who hasn't she? Who did that happen? Because of fucking that bitch. But like how long ago? Four years ago. Four years ago when we had a channel together. She wanted to be a part of it. Yep, she's a fucking freak. And Amber and I kept fighting because of her and this drunk bitch from fucking Michigan. And Amber used to do these full side lives. And I just, I didn't, I did not know Amber. I- yes, what the app? Yes. Yes, she really was. Just basically saying that having a miscarriage was no big deal. That's, ex- that's what she said. Yeah. You just go to the gynecologist and they'll take care of it. And it's whatever. I met Amber when she hit me up to do an interview for another content content creator, and here we are. Hey, Amber, so much Amber, Bahama Mama, it is not me, weirdo. Tech and marketing do not go away. Nope, it's called laser surgery, you big fat whore, and Bahama Mama is a fucking drink you drunk, so go eat your puss and wash it properly. Isn't it stupid that they're, like, trying to pretend it is Amber? Like, what's the point of that? I know, um, me too, hostile Amber environment. Me too. Yeah, but, you know, what do they expect to accomplish with that video? Like, what are just they want to break our friendship up. We have a sister ship. Amber's got a tattoo for me, and all of my tattoos, mine is for family and friends, it's for her. The angel tattoo is for her and her daughter. Yes, it's perfectly. Me, she Amber does. And her daughter. She um, believes it all. <laughs> well, do you want me, are you going to pay for my new tattoo? We'll have to get one together. Sure. Here, I'll show you. I have to get it touched up a little bit because I got it done in this area, but that one, it said angel square, and that little A right here is for her daughter. Amber, did you know that? And that's her tattoo for me. And that is from my necklace. And there's my foot down. <laughs> oh my god, Amber, tell me about that fucking parody I did a few. She did not even know, but it was called It Ain't That. Oh my god, Amber, that fucking parody was so dumb. I did it in like two minutes. I was so mad at her. And I think it was fucking parody. Like, if I did a parody on you, do you want me to do a parody on you as well? Yeah. Oh god. Oh yeah. my god. No, okay. no, no, right now I have to because then I'll forget. And I don't want to then. Here we go. All right. I'm already ready. You ready? Are you ready? Do you want this parody? Oh, you're ready for it? <laughs> oh god, that's great. That's funny. Good job. Dude, that's like that is so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You gotta get the blunt. Get the blunt. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Uh, you got it. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's better than most people are trying to do a parody. And then you got the kitty fuckers. Uh-huh. And then they're all pissed off at me because I'm not doing my hair. So let's just lie it off. You fucking sheep. You fucking buffalo. Get the fuck out of my life. Amber, so what is your uh, best parody of me? I keep hearing a lot of Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. I know, uh, dude, the one parody I did about drunk bitch, it took me five hours to get the goddamn makeup. That's why I said these bitches must be spray painting makeup on their face. And you know me, I'm always, you know, at the Whipple Dollar Tree getting the inhalants. <laughs> Here, wait, this is more, actually, this is Mr. Andy, because he likes the thin ones, the small pieces. <laughs> like a super slim. Hey, <laughs> buddy. Oh, you got it down though. They're, they're, they're different. And then Johnny Smack, he's like, "What? What? I mean, I'm so, like, I'm so fucking stupid. I'm so fucking stupid. 
<laughs> Get the fuck out of here, dude. Like, if you're from the mob, you wear your fucking glasses respectfully, stupid ass. <laughs> you have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Do you know he's been up here telling me he's been trying to sex with me? Uh, no, he has not. That's why I texted you and said, stop that shit. He hates that shit. Ask him if, ask if he likes me. Well, I'm sure he does. Like, like no. him. He wants to marry me. I don't think he wants to marry anybody. Andy? Yes. I think he would do it for a YouTube reality show. No, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He would not do it eventually fall in love. Are you in love with me, Andy? <laughs> oh, God, I'm leaving. Bye. Bye. <laughs> And she's doing this all while in a relationship with Clint, plus sleeping with Mike. But it doesn't surprise me because now she says that when Clint's at work, she's she's a single woman. So here we are. Starting to blush. Or he's, uh, oh, I know he's, he's in his uh, throwing gloves. So do you raw dog it, or you, uh, I know this guy named Doom, and wow, we ran out of lotion for a full year in the country. This dude was, like, lathering it and splattering it, and it's so good. Dude, he's going to find his bed by the table. He's a No, he wrote my friend, and, like, somebody was, uh, put, like, not a hit out, but, like, what wanted this dude to roast me, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So I just showed the dude the proof, and Doom is a, some fucking lying bitch's ass who hates dogs. Hey, Linda. I miss Mickey. I only know one Linda. Her last name begins with an M. She's cool as fuck. I work with her. I don't know if it's her though. Are you guys? Oh, Amber. What? Jen, do you and Amber plan on starting a channel together or working together? Uh, yeah, we'll always work together. Always. Like I'm gonna be at her daughter's graduation when she's 18. You're talking about YouTube. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, I would. I would like to. But are you still wanting to or not? Yeah, I think we do. Uh, IRL shit. I've already. I've already. I've already, already, already knows everybody knows every step I make in my own fucking house every damn day. I'm going to podcast it. No, Amber, for real. I had to. Go through uh, on my IG. Uh, Bobby Brown decided to get into it with me, and so I said, "Hey, bitch!" I was like, "I'll kick a fucking football through your goddamn gap in your teeth." I said, "You is Bobby Brown can crack his web." <laughs> what? She? Uh -huh. Mama? Yes, actually, I joined up here. Finally, I found a chapter up here to join. Thank you for asking about my Eastern Star membership. Thank you. Yes, I have one with it's fucking Breezy Girl that hangs out with uh, Rough Rough the dog person. So try again, Breezy Girl. Your fucking hair is disgusting. <laughs> She has a fucking wow. channel that has nothing on her page but me. She's like, this is our proof. This is our proof of what? That you're Perfectly, I'm not sure. I think there's still the restraining order situation. Mike, the roommate. Yes, yes, the one that she knocked his teeth out. That same one, yeah. Your fucking hair is disgusting. Get the fuck out of here, stupid bitch. And go hang out with Titty Lynn. Titty Lynn after. Telling Breezy Girl that her hair is disgusting. Yes. Yes, she just said that a woman of color's hair is disgusting. Yes, she did. Add a cock to her mouth. Mm. I Somebody who's got a fucking husband that she calls a dick. Very awkward people that she, she messes up their name on purpose. <laughs> Kitty Lynn, come to me. Kitty Lynn, carry me. No, come on. Get out there. Bye, Maria. Bye. Get her out. She's disgusting. You are a stalker, Grandma. Maria's just looking out for me, real. No, she's not. She's stalking. No stalkers of yours. Y'all are allowed in there. Need somebody to keep the other note. I was so comfortable having Maria come up here. I honestly thought I would. Even if she was me. I don't know. Well, don't abandon them, my greatest. She's on the 90 day. She doesn't like the Amber. That's absolutely true. But I will yeah, talk about our fucking daughter. You know, my daughter on fucking screen. Never. But on the phone with me, she's never said anything fucking bad on God. Swear to God. I know <laughs> you know, I don't really care what she does on private. I care what she did on her fucking YouTube channel by posting my fucking kit. PSA, never fucking tell a person of color their hair is disgusting, you POS. Exactly. Exactly. She really showed her true colors back then, guys. She really did. Daily. Daily. And then she's going to say that Maria has never said a bad word to her. On God. On God. She's never said a bad, said a bad word. Bullshit. Bullshit. I'm going to go back and see if I can find. Maria comment. I don't see anything.
Yeah, sweaty. Yeah. Yeah. But I will yeah. say this. We talked about my fucking daughter. I got a daughter on fucking screen. Never. But on the phone with me, she's never said anything fucking bad. On God. Swear to God. I know you don't believe that. I don't really care what she does on private. I care what she did on the fucking YouTube channel by posting my fucking kid and calling her a man. Listen, she has to do this right now because of Brooke fucking up. Amber, Brooke is the fucking problem. That we fucking, look at what Brooke did last night. Brooke is a bitch. So Maria is telling me that's important here. But personally, if I say that I would trust Maria to make medical decisions for me just mm -hmm. as much as I would trust you more than I would, wow. uh, then you know what? Then my, there, there's not, nothing bad would happen because she would never force me to be on my support. They would make the decision and just like with men's and they're coming in here being disrespected for the dog, you know, the dog, or whatever. It's fine, Amber. No, she has talked about my daughter, Bulldog Mom. She actually posted my daughter as a minor on her YouTube channel. We need to quit. Now, that's not funny because Maria does have a channel called The Crocheting Thing. And the reason that she's been getting bullied is because she has a sister, but she sent me a fucking picture of a fucking from her work and she crocheted a dick on the top of her <laughs> So Maria, number one, is not getting bullied. And number two... Her sister has nothing to do with it. Her sister is the, the good twin. No, no, no offense taken, hostile environment. No offense taken. Hey, Little Red, how are you? I think persons of color have beautiful skin and hair. I'm so pale, I glow in the dark. I do too, sweaty, whenever I don't have a self-tanner on. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Mm. Oh my God, why is that be mentioning her? I know. I know. I know. I know. I know, Sandy. I know. It gets better. My relationship with Maria, because Brooke and fucking Seahorse muddied up all this bullshit, is why we're having this problem now. It's a, is it? It's a 90 day fiance, you fucking idiots. Why don't you let those people live their life, Brooke? You've already Brooke. fucked everything up. Jane, how'd you go from being involved with the Clinton dude on uh, Love After Lockup to in the 90 day community? Was it just like... like I never knew any anyone in the 90 day. I met Amber, um, and uh, he said something very stupid four years ago about our president, and there you go. What? He came down uh, for a show. We fed for three months because I felt bad for the way that him and his family were being treated by some slut. And uh, there you go. I got you. He's a good guy. He, Amber doesn't agree with him. Um, he is very, he's fine. I don't want to say he's possessive, but if he, if it could just be him and I, you know, and, and if that would be the case, then what I married, you know, you know, he, I mean, when him and I, you know, it is like we're in our own little bubble because, you know, we, we take care of each other and I don't know where he is. So I'm just, ask Amber. Amber knows everything. Amber, wow. Amber, Amber interviewed me with a content creator and she was dismissed very quickly after. <laughs> Amber, am I lying? No. I already got my channel up though. Amber and I was like, oh yeah, I didn't even know her then. But she hit me up and she was so freaking nice and like cool and like that lady was just like I, I just I, I fucking couldn't. And then another person hit me up and then Amber and I were on the phone and we just uh oh my god, I don't Amber and I talked. I don't know when Amber and I didn't talk. I, I can't even tell you. Until so Lauren came into the situation, Amber and I were were good. Like uh, CB, he trusts Amber only one time because of Brooke. He didn't, but he had, he's never said anything. No, we even had his mom on the channel. Okay. No, he doesn't. Shut the fuck up. He does not like it. Did he ever tell you that? No, the fuck he did yeah, not. He did. You, 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 you showed him my picture, and he goes, "God damn, you still big boobs." Big deal. All he said was that you have big fucking tits. Big fucking deal. Oh, women say that thank you. This guy, I can guarantee. No, because people like to say that he is. He swings a fort. Well, he's not. I'm the first chick that he's ever physically been with. That's the truth. What? I. What? Are you serious right now, Jen? Did you guys hear that? Did you guys just hear that? She is sitting here saying that she is the first woman that Clint's ever been with. Um, he was married. Twice before you, Jen? Twice. And he has children. Yeah, listen. 
Did you know all he said was that you had big fucking tits? Big fucking deal. Oh, women say that they love him. This guy did. I can guarantee. Listen. No, because people like to say that he is, he swings a fort. Well, he's not. I'm the first chick that he's ever physically been with. That's the truth. I am the first chick that he has ever physically been with. That's the truth. Seriously, Jen? Yes. Yes, this is from a year ago, right before she went to jail. How old is Jen? Her forehead looks like... I... Her forehead looks like an inner city roadmap. Wrinkles about. Oh my goodness. Right. Yes, I did them. And a lot of these fucking big fat fucking heifer bitches, according to they I took their uterus too. They got a, I got a, I got a Jen's PP. I got a Jen's cervix. I got a Jolene's tickled uterus. I did all of them. Brooks black eyes. Uh, I made one for Breezy because she's not worth it. Uh, Mims, no. Uh, Terry Wynn, why would I need to? She's Penny, Penny underscore, Patricia Wicks, uh, Madonna Knowles, the list goes on. I call her Slinky Eyes because they call her all shit in the community because she goes, oh, she. Like, shut the fuck up, Slinky Eyes. She's like, she's like, dude, she doesn't, she just sits up there. Like Sophie, like she just blinks her eyes. What about That's this? Number. What about which, this? which one? Tell me, I'll tell you about no, you and I, me and you, Genevieve. I say, you and I, Andy. I'm in character mode. I'm in character mode. I don't know how to speak. I'm a college graduate. See, now I'm from, where? from the University of Arkansas. Seriously? Oh, look, you're smacking me. I have both. Uh, how, how's it, how do I taste? Wonderful. Oh, my God. I'm breaking up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, Genevieve, you and I, we go on 90 Day Fiance together. Why? So I can be like that lady with her toe that flew off and she's yet to find it? I'm not familiar with that one. Anyway. <laughs> you were talking. Everybody's talking uh, on the thing. Right, um, sweaty. And then everybody wants to call me the side piece. But yeah, I was working on her. Okay, so what, so what happened with Amber was, is this guy that was married to baby toe, Lisa, who likes the Texas Rangers a lot. And she literally, like what she swallows, she swallows gravel. And um, she wanted Amber to help her out about this guy named, named uh, Who's to the Man, who I believe has... Like, oh, to boost his music career. You guys want to have people join the panel? Sure. I'd love a good interview with the slot crew. Yeah. Bring your picky asses up here. No, I myself well. like bisons. <laughs> yeah, both of those. Which one wants to come up? Uh, do we want the Bahama Mama Breezy Girl, or which one wants to come up? The one with the dirty fucking hooves, or what? All of them. They're all, any one of these two, yes. Oh, God, I cannot deal with uh, the NGL girl, the one that lifted over by the pancake tits. Fuck no. Now, Brooke, bring, Brooke bring Brooke up here. Bring Brooke, Brooke up here. That's what they call her. Brooke, mm -hmm. Brooke. <sighs> I'm going to be a good host if you come up with you guys can talk oh is Brooke in here again no 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 he's 90 day on blast I'm not checking I don't see her we're going to put out their chat signal it's probably uh, beating the shit out of um, Brooke I wish she were with me <laughs> I wish we could bring her ass to my fucking state <laughs> Amber what would, what would happen if Brooke came to my fucking state Brooke would need uh, her I would want to be there oh bitch I would fly you in have some respect. You have some fucking respect. She was telling me that. Who the fuck do you think you want to read for Frank? Shut the fuck up. You know how you you read for it. Like stick it up your fucking pussy bladder infected fucking shut. Oh my god. Uh, uh, that would be sly for sure. Whoever that person is. I can just tell looking at it. Like that shit is weird. It's like the scary movie mask. I don't get too much about that. No, it may be John Miller. He drinks a lot of Miller White beer. Like a John Doe, a fucking nothing. Bane Doe, a fucking nothing. Meaning, a piece of motherfucking dust when I could be like scissor. I know, sweaty. I know, I know, I know. I wish we could see what Tracy's baby looks like today. I bet that baby is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Same hostile environment, yes. Hey, Drezzo. I'm not sure perfectly. The baby was adopted, but I'm not sure who has it. We could make 50000 off that. 50K? Well, you guys could have it. I don't care. We'll split it three ways. Like I don't need three ways. I don't, I, don't, I don't need Amber. I don't like taking money, do I? <laughs> I will not take money. Never, not one time. Even when we got monetized and we did it was, you won't you, you never take money? What about the toothbrushes, Jen? What about the basket? What about all the things? What about the Ugg boots? What about all the things that you have gotten? I know, Cindy, I know. 
I know. And that's horrible that that man did that to you guys. Absolutely horrible. I am preparing. I'm preparing to grow the lion's mane mushroom. I'm preparing the growth of the lion's mane mushroom. My daughter just left and said, what in the heck are you watching? I said, it's a video on how to wreck your life in these three easy steps. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> That's the thing with the podcast for it. They always ask me, like, why don't you get paid? Why don't you get paid? And I was like, because I don't fucking want it. I don't want money. I just give money to people if they need it. No, no, no. I didn't say that I like the bare essentials. I like the things, but no. That's why, like, if I have my shoes on, and Mike will tell you, I, one time, I got so mad at him at the store because he hit the back of my fucking shoes. Like, you don't fuck with my shoes. Everybody knows. And the reason Brooke is so mad because Brooke's Uggs are so fucking ugly, and I told her that. Aww. And she wanted to fight me, and I was like, well, do you want to meet me at the willow tree and fight me? Wow. Now we got to fight her. Yeah, yeah that's what Brooke's. Back me yeah. at Brooke. Uh, Nene, why didn't I go up on 90 Day's panel yesterday? Because I don't want to feel any more trash. That's why. Um, no, no, no. That's fucking Nene. You're not going to be a bitch like that. You were in my group for about two months ago. Uh, so shut the fuck up. Shut up, Nene. I know exactly what you look like. Now stop it. I am going to be getting an interview. It just won't be to Brooke. Oh, I know exactly what it is. Yep, I know exactly who it is. And I interviewed the husband. And it was such a, it was the dumbest interview ever. The girlfriend, um, the guy hey, was like, oh, I don't pay my chest to put. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? So when I got done with the interview, I told c -Cal, at first I felt bad. And then now it's like everybody wants the interview because the guy that's in jail, um, he went to the psych ward and uh, that's where she likes to find her uh, boyfriend. Amber, what are you slurping? You sound like you mass dandy. Coffee. What do I have? Do I have slurpee? No, I just like some coffee. Amber, do you like the scheme? Do you like Andy? Yeah. He's awesome. Now, are you in love with him? The way he's in love with him? No. Mm -hmm. Andy, what do you think? Do you think that she's lying? Yes. I think the only thing that's stopping her is she doesn't, she's married, obviously. She's married. She's married. She's married. Just the formalities of everything. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so what you are, are you admitting that you're in love with him? Yes or no? Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. no. Oh, you stop it. Who's asking you? You're sitting over there doing something that I don't even know what you're doing right now. I don't want to know. With your lefty, or you're a lefty, I can tell. She is so out of line. Hey, Kendra. <clears throat> okay, so, yeah, I can show you guys. Yeah, there's my hand. I can show you guys. So, why is it so close? Hold on. There we go. There we go. That is how you grow mushrooms. Well, these mushrooms, at least. The mushrooms are in there. Cut an X in it, spray it with water to get it, you know, moisture, paper towel, damp paper towel, put it in a big bag for humidity, zip it up, and there you go. There you go. That's it. That's all you do. And then you missed it two to three times a day. Uh, but I still don't see your left hand. What are you doing? Two to three times a day. You missed it to keep it moist. And then you start growing mushrooms. I'm excited. Where did I buy this? I got this off of Amazon, Martin's Mommy. I think it was like $25. And it should grow enough mushrooms. Enough mushrooms for me to cook them three or four times. And after they grow... And get mature, you pick them, and they'll grow back at least two more times. So you get, you know, like three batches of mushrooms from this, at least. So, <laughs> I will keep you updated. I might hook up my GoPro to, like, a uh, power source to the wall to keep it charged and do like a time lapse deal so you guys can watch them grow i'll send you the link martin's mommy i'll send you the link but yeah 
yeah, it was easy. It took me like five minutes to put this together. So there's that. Zoom back in here. Of course, yeah. Martin's mommy. Of course. And there and I am once the mushrooms grow and I'm able to pick them, I am going to try a few recipes and I will record it and walk you guys through the steps. All right, Martin's mommy. Okie dokie. There's different ones you can buy on there. Just put in like lion's mane mushroom grow kit and a bunch of them will pop up. Okay. Yeah, sure. I love watching Tom Lab's videos, especially cake decorating ones. Yeah, those are cool, sweaty. Those are cool. But yeah, I might try and hook up my GoPro and do like a time lapse thing. And if it turns out good, then, you know. But yeah, we've got 10 days that the, it says. Let me make sure. Keep looking for pinning. Lion's mane can take anywhere from 5 to 14 days for pins to start to form. Once pinning starts, it is extremely important to make sure your mushroom pins are always hydrated or they will dry up very quickly or stop growing. Okay. So I should see some kind of growth between 5 and 14 days. Lion's mane mushrooms are very sensitive to direct, direct misting. This is why we strongly recommend you use the provided hum humidity tent or a humidifier to keep the environment as moist as possible. 80 to 90 percent humidity, 60 to 70 degrees. Access to fresh, fresh oxygen. Okay, yeah. I know, Mikey, she is. She is. So out of touch. Have you heard of the Appalachian Foringer? She's all about the... No, Granny, I haven't. I haven't. I'll check that out. Okie dokie, Drazo. Okie dokie. Oh, my God. Maybe Amber and I can double dutch with your uh, donger. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, marriage is going to be, um, um, absolutely, yeah, uh, me and Reddit, you want to hear what I did in Reddit, so I went into this, uh, this, uh, lady's thing, and she was running it, right, and, uh, because I got tired of going in there, because some lady called Nancy Kerrigan was coming after me, and that was from, uh, Jules's room, this horse with an old bitch that looks like a fucking California raisin in the face, like, an atlas that you could find in map, but anyhow, um, so I liked right, it, Lisa. I didn't to make it so it was called, they called me Geological City, and I'm like, what the fuck name is that? Yes, Lisa. Yep, that was, he talked about it a few minutes ago. So, yeah. Let me finish my third antibiotic for this dang ear infection. I'm trying a probiotic and oil of oregano. Um... <sighs> The oil of oregano, MTT, are you still here? Are you still listening? Have a good day perfectly. Me too. I'm glad that you were here to hang out for a while. A kale soup day. Yummy. It sounds good. Sounds really good. But, um... Oil of oregano is supposed to be good for, like, immune health. I have some. I took it whenever I had that cold that wouldn't go away. Um, and it really helped. Candling your ears. I've never done that, sweaty. So I cannot say yes or no. <laughs> I can't. I can't. So I'm going to turn this back around and fix it so that 
You guys can see me again. Hello. Hi. So you guys can see me again. Um, put this over here. So okay. Here we go. Deadly, what are you doing? If anybody wants the link to come up, you're more than welcome to. You're welcome. But candling your ears, sweaty, I've never done that. I haven't. Did it, Susie? Good. Good. Thank you. You guys need to thank MTT. MTT is the one that turned me on to the oil of oregano, and I've just turned you on to it. But I'm glad it helped, Susie. I am. Yes, ma'am. Time is up. Okay. So, I'm going to switch gears. Go to something else. Oh, I have made a whole 93 cents on my candle unboxing. <laughs> crazy. YouTube's crazy. Okay, let's see what we got here. Now, last night, while I was live last night, a tube in the air that's not healing. Don't know if that matters, but I am over the... That might be part of the problem, Sweaty. You might need to get a hold of your ear, nose, and throat doctor and let them know, if they don't know already. Let them know what's going on. Okay. So while I was live last night, there was a channel that also went live, right? Really? Like, they're so pretty, sweaty. I don't want to burn them. I have one sitting on my fireplace, one sitting on my table over here, and I don't want to burn them. They're so pretty. But... My husband's like, are you ever going to burn these candles? And I'm like, I don't know. They're so pretty. And he was like, that's what you bought them for. You can always get more if you want them. And I'm like, yeah, true. True, true. True, true. So, guys, while we are transitioning, Go to the three dots in your upper right corner, hit the like button, and come back. I know, sweaty, I know, but but sweaty, if you're having ear aches, ear infections, and it's not healing, you need to get it fixed. ASAP. Okay, Martin's mommy, no worries. I know, Jules. I know. So, during my live last night, I was directed to Julie, aka Mod148. I don't know why anybody is obsessed with Clint Jules. I don't know. I, I can't explain that. He's nothing. He's nothing special. Nothing special. Oh, sweaty. Nice. Nice. Yeah. So you know what I mean. So I was directed to Julie, a.k.a. Mod148's video, or not video, but Instagram post last night about a channel and their DMs. And I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you. So. 
DMs. I hate that my phone's broken. Okay, it says, hey, please don't talk to any. This is between Maria and Muzz. This is on a IG account. Please don't talk to anyone. I don't know if you watch our lives. I'm going to start going solo without Anne. We just don't get along. Muzz says, I'm sorry to hear. Best of luck. I sometimes bush watch, but I stay on IG mostly. Thank you. Do you know who Vault is? Have you heard of her? She said, sorry. No, sorry, I don't. I think I heard Jen mention her. She's going to start doing lives with Anne. This is who she is. I think they've been planning this for a while. And then she shows an IG page that she says is Vault. She said, okay, I wish you all luck. I'm sorry. I really don't know the dynamics. I just heard your name in a conversation and then it cuts off. Hi, Tony Ann. Good morning. So, I showed this while I was live yesterday evening, right? At the same time I was live, they were live. And they were saying that I was doxing a child by showing these this public Instagram, right? Here's my thing. If she didn't put this in a private message with somebody, nobody would know about it, right? Nobody would know anything about it. So... I want to go to their YouTube from last night, and we can kind of hear what was being said. I think this is about the spot. Oh my God. Yeah, this is it. This is around because the messages that's popping up on screen. I can't see sweaty, but if the earache isn't getting better, then you should see a doctor might need antibiotic. Yes. Swin whispers. That's what I'm trying to tell her. Yeah, the, yeah, they're, that's BS excuses. I agree. I agree. So, let's, ooh, a little too up close and personal. I wouldn't trust it because not very long, I believe, John's birthday, they pranked their subs saying they don't like each other anymore. Subs were mad and upset. Oh, really? I didn't watch. I didn't watch it. But these were from a year ago. April 2023. I know, Shade. I know. I was surprised to see you up so late, so early this morning. No worries. Just lay back. Just relax and listen if you can, Shade. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Yes. Yes, thank you, Jazzo. It would be in the DMs trying to say how bad Paul is. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Go back a little further. Let me know you guys can hear this okay. This is an asshole that she has. Wait, if it was an asshole account, I would say, oh, I haven't listened to this, so I don't know where to begin. Looking back, he said, I made bank today big and sold three t-shirts with her face on it. With the, oh, my God. Thank you, Cooch. <laughs> Thank I you. I thought he actually see the voice is my thing, Brooke. Well, I think, actually, then, you've been copying all of his jewels because I think that I did that before the people always in pain. Maria, why didn't you start Easter, Easter with your family? Nothing happened. She just came out because that's the type of parent that's She's she's not, she's not, I don't care if you think it's wrong or not. 
it's not you don't get to choose what's wrong when you go after people's family members you go after a family member and they come out and you can't say well don't pick this one because she passed you can pick this one because he hasn't you can't pick this one you don't get to choose jewel no but nobody's come after your family momo nobody's come out you after your family just because you can Name. Right. So she tries to balance things up with the right. in this community. That's not good because in this community, you all let the kids so so like her name. Don't her feel me. name and no. use her picture. No, you're wrong. Every single account. And then you'll say, Don't be doxing. Don't don't let these sack accounts in. Group never complains. But you no. all do it and you all think it's okay until it happens to you. And it's not even when? happening to you directly, Jules. When did I say it, think it was okay? When did I say it was okay? When do I have sock accounts like that in my chat? I don't. I don't. There's beetle accounts that you fucking carry about. But they actually see. She just wants them all gone. So this one is they're in a, a beetle account is not. She's an asshole, but she is. If it was an asshole account, I would say, oh, there's a sock account for Jules. Yeah. And then I posted you know a, the screenshot of um, Julie saying that she needed everything she could to send the, the content creator the other day. Um, and she literally said it in the defendant's chat. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was, I was telling people, send me, send it to me here, send me this to get me to get harassed even more. And they said they didn't harass me in the chat. Okay, so that's not that doesn't count. She said she was a stink bug. Beetles rule. Bees do not. That's right. Bomb. Bug. Oh, she's accusing the beetles of being so <laughs> It's a nasty miss bug. Should be any That's second. That's not bad. <laughs> God. Is it really Kelly's birthday? It's not how to see. It was a joke. It was... <laughs> It's not how to see it was a joke. It was a joke. I've mm -hmm. never got into an argument with Walt. Never have and never will. There's Nobody said that you got into an argument with Walt. You said that you and Anne do not get along and you were start doing your shows by yourself. So stupid, I know. That's that's why they're over there because they're so gullible. Dear God, oh just like we were going to argue, so we decided to make fight. To, shade, to shade with this format. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's, it's new to me. I'm not sure. Or um, who was it that left? Pick me was upset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Catch rules. They are real and smell bad, Jules. You are a stink bug. Well, let them think whatever they want. It was a joke. I so, a year ago, a year ago, you did these DMs as a joke for them to come out a year later. Does that make sense to anybody else? Because it makes zero sense to me zero sense to me how would I, I don't even know where to begin to explain said joke i don't think i've ever had an argument with walt no you haven't no, no. i think you disagree but that's what about the dms that i just showed have nothing it doesn't make any sense it doesn't have anything with to do with you arguing with vault at all so I, I guess you're thinking of different joke dms than what's being shown i don't know uh, yeah the fake fight that keeps on giving but the thing is then we go again 
tell me Ann Walker's got content. Now, this woman actually had the cheek to sit on and say, the things they've done to me, I felt intimidated. Well, we're not intimidating you by playing your lies. She just lies and lies and lies. I'm a liar, and guys. When I, heard, when I heard that she came the story about Paul and said that I was forcing her to be his friend, I'm like, oh. No, no I never said that you were, for, uh, you were forcing me to be his friend. That's not what I said. You need to clean your ears or go to the doctor and get your head checked out because you are 60 now. You you started this when you were my age and now you're 60. Um, so it might be time to get your head checked to make sure that early signs of dementia are not setting in because you don't, you're not comprehending and or remembering things correctly, ma'am. You're not. I still don't understand why she would have been testing Muzz's ability to be quiet when Muzz hadn't even fallen out with everyone yet. Agreed. Agreed. No, no, no. We gotta go fix this. Fix it. Fix it because you're wrong. I never said that you made me be Paul's friend. Like, that doesn't make sense. We gotta go and fix it. Fix it. The flea by the sea is said, I can't tell Sophie what to do. I mean, I can't tell her what to go live about. I can't I can't make her do anything. But suddenly you can make her be friends with a whole grown man. Be, be pop no, no, nobody no no. John, nor in, Maria, nor anybody else can make me be friends with somebody. If I like you, I like you. If I don't, I don't. I'm I'm not that fake bitch that's gonna fake be fake friends with somebody to make it look good for everybody. I know JJ, it makes no sense. Paul's friend or you can't be mine. What the fuck is that? All I said was in the chat and I said and Jen I think removed her moderate moderator status that day because she is that the day she told her to call the up? And I said Paul was trying so hard to ignore her. And I said, Could you just leave him alone? And I said no. Bash him in public? No. It wasn't bashing. It was telling the truth about the man. That's not bashing. Okay, hostile environment. She's a bully and never bully that man. I, and and when she cried and seemed like the victim she was supposed to be. When did I cry and scream about anything? I'm not a victim. Just to just to make this clear to everybody, I'm not a victim. I've never been a victim and I will never be a victim. Sorry. Sorry, old ladies. Sorry. Yeah, I think anybody saying, Sophie, just put it out there. Tell them, tell them what 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 else is bothering you. She's like, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. because the whole yeah. nothing else. And then she would be in the DMs trying to say how bad Paul is. And I said, if you don't like Paul, that's on you. Why? You no, no, Momo, no, 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 no. And you know that's not right. If that's it, put the DMs out. Put them out. Why hasn't that stuff been put out? All the stuff that she puts out about people, why hasn't she put that out to prove the things that she's saying about me? Hey, at you slept in this morning. My goodness, girl, were you up late? I was diagnosed with systematic infection in the other You're trying to turn everybody on Paul's. No. Like, you don't like everybody, but you don't go into people's DMs saying, I don't like this guy. Prove, back. It. Prove it. I never went into anybody's DMs and told them not to be his friend. That's also not true. I still have the screen recording that I did about uh, Maria and Bella's messages. And nowhere in those messages does it say that I said to stop being friends with this creep. Eddie, 
that. Big nose B doing her laundry today. She's drinking water. See now, because I left you last night, and up, you were set up by setting them up. It wasn't just coming through, and it's so yeah, I'm going to have to try and delete somehow. Oh, you said the other the other channel? No, no, no. So oh, it's got it a yeah, but so we had three and they deleted two and left one, but you can't access it through the senior. So I had to set up a normal one. Oh, this one's not one. this other one they've left right. there. I'm sure they'll get it. It's just no. crazy. But as I said, I'm Walker sitting there pretending that he's upset for Jules. No, 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 no. She's delighted. Let's give her a chance to go live again. Delighted about what? The fact that everybody bullied Jules on her birthday? You tried to ruin her day? Why would I be delighted about that? I don't know, JJ. That's a good question. I've always, Jules, I am supposed to be delighted that they, all of these people, were bullying you on your birthday. She said I was delighted about it. Really, Lainey Lynn? Yes, I've been live since like 7 o'clock. Um, <clears throat> but JJ, I don't know. I don't know if he knows things about them and what they've done. And that is why they are protecting him so fiercely. Like this grown-ass man can't take care of himself. I know that a lot of people turned on them this week. Good. Good, Jules. Good. That delights me. That, in fact, does delight me. But what they did to you on your birthday does not delight me. It pisses me off. Yes, hostile environment. Yes. Let me go back five seconds. Let's listen. It's on Jules. No, 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 no. She's delighted. Let's give her a chance to go live again. She is yeah. delighted. Is he grifting for jewels earlier, was she? <laughs> no, it's not grifting for jewels. On my birthday, Jules put my cash app in her chat and told people it was my birthday. If people want to give to me on my birthday, here's my cash app. I did the same for her yesterday, both lives that I did yesterday. Because that's what you do. On my first live yesterday morning, hi, Sheila. On my first live yesterday morning, I told everybody, if you see Jules today, tell her happy birthday. Her cash app was put in the chat. And I told people, you know, if you want to give to Jules on her birthday, put a little smile on her face. It would, you know, be appreciated. If you can't, no problem. And then when I went live yesterday evening, I did the same thing. Her cash app was pinned at the top of the chat, and I told everybody the same thing again. How is that grifting? How? Yeah, everybody is grifting except for them. The women that promised total transparency for the lawyer that they were uh, grifting for, right? And then the second time, they did a members-only live, grifting for a second lawyer. Has anybody seen any kind of transparency with that? No. No, because I know people that have given to their lawyer fund and have not seen any kind of transparency. Yes, they did the same on Cooch's birthday. Why are you grifting for Cooch? Why? It's weird. They're heavy hitters, group chat ladies. Ooh, yes. That, I would love to know who these women are, these people are. I like it. I like it. 
pooches. What was it? This account? There's an account in Sophie's today. I can't remember. It's a weird name. And it was saying that um, Jules never bullied Jen. That oh, Jules yeah. was soft when everybody was one of the only ones that really cared when Jen went to. Fuck, you didn't watch me. You don't watch me. You don't watch my lives or my chats. So why do you always know what's happening in my chats, in my lives? We're putting their Cash App and PayPal link in for John and Jules's birthday. Exactly. They're having a grift fest over here yesterday. Every single one of them, a grift fest for Jules's birthday. But I'm the bad guy for putting her cash app in the pin to the top of my chat. If anybody wants to give to her on her birthday and put a little smile on her face, I'm the bad guy for that. Not them guys, not none of them, just me. Yeah, she's very nosy, Sheila. She's very nosy. Um, jail and was trying to help her out. Jules, are you kidding me? Going and going and going when Jen took her to please stop. And she said, I'll stop when I feel like stopping. Remember that? How is that any different than what you did to me for a year? Huh? How is that any different? I said nothing to you. Nothing, no responses. Nothing. But you just kept on and kept on and kept on and kept on. How is that any different? What about the whole cheesecake tobacco? What about Jen's daughter's graduation that Jules brought to YouTube and told everybody everything and Jen get taunted for months about that shit? Now, Sophie. What? You don't have any of your children. How would you? They're grown. Why would I? They're living their lives. Why would I? Like, make this shit make sense. I don't like Jules to have done that to you. Because you can give it. It is what it is. If I was like Jen and grifting for my daughter's graduation and then ended up not even going to the graduation, not paying anything towards said graduation, okay, I would deserve it. Like, do you, do you guys not remember the money that she grifted for her daughter's graduation that none of that went to the graduation? She did not even go to said graduation. You you can't leave out bits and pieces that you want to. She absolutely would. Yep. Yep. Jules is I know. Going through. Yep. Absolutely evil. She's a horrible. I that so are you. Crazy. That Jen asked her to please. These horrible women is calling somebody else horrible layoff um that she wasn't feeling you know mentally stable and jewel said you don't get to choose when you stop when people stop on you and i was like wow this woman is actually telling you she's not mentally strong enough for this and you say that yep. when you when you've gone through your own mental health issues mm -hmm. and now they're making it sound like jewel stopped when it when when she realized she's one of the only people Piper. who didn't who didn't make fun of Jen while she was in jail. Who made fun of Jen while she was in jail? Oh no. Listen, we didn't get involved in this whole fucking jail situation. It was ugly enough. Seriously? Salivating. Like Sophie, who just continued to put the put the boot into her and continued to make she still she had a life. He had a life up the other day with a picture of Jen not looking good. Why? Yeah. Why? But a picture of Jen doing this? Is that what you're talking about? That was Jen when she was on panel with Savage years ago. That's where that picture came from. That's where that picture came from. Jen was doing fine then. Hey. 
pathetic. Look who's talking. So there we go. Anne Walker is nothing but a bully. Mm. She intimidates people. And she goes after people when they're at their lowest. That's the thing. As do you, ma'am. As do you. She really, really does. Maria, you're going to have to find DMs from a year ago saying you were intentionally telling us a lie about not liking Anne. We all said it was a lie. We want you can say something is a lie all you want to. That doesn't make it true. Let's see how fast it got around. We what do you mean how been... fast it got around? Muzz was sharing the messages between you and her in her DM, in her group messages with people. What do you mean how fast it got around? She immediately shared it. The channel for how long already? Two years. They can say what they want. There's never been a problem with me and Ann. No. Okay. I know. Why start these kind of lies? Sorry. Right, right, I know. Yeah, you can't. You, you can't come at somebody and tell them, oh, I'm not in a good headspace. You can't come at me no more while continuing to still come at that person. But you expect them to stop. Come on. Right, huh? What? Exactly. Oh, that's not really true. We have to put one of his, but we deal with a lot of behind the scenes. Yeah. yeah, behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. But I, do you honestly think I would tell Muzz yes. that I had a problem with Anne? Yes. Yep. You need to do it. I'll find it. And nothing against you, Muzz, but, you know, I would tell um, somebody that I'm close to. Cooch, I did not build my channel off the back of Jen. However, you did build your channel off the back of John and now Jules. You, you did do that. You did do that. Those were your first lives, your middle lives, and now your, your lives now. That's all it is. I had close to a thousand subs before I even started talking about Jen. Of course, hostile environment. Of course. If I had something, I would talk to Brittany. There you go. I would talk to Sweets. I would talk to Molly. I would talk to Sarah. I would talk to Cookie. I would talk to. I'll be right back. To E11, anybody, as those people all, before I would go to Muzz. I think it needs to to see if she was, how fast she would, um, if, if it was true and she would Come run on. and tell somebody that we were Come having on problems. Now. It makes me laugh that Sophie says something to other people. It really, really does. I just think she's the worst example as a oh you're it makes you laugh that i worry about other people is that what she just said let's go back and listen to that it makes me laugh that Sophie says something to other people it really really does i just think she's the worst example as a, a penis <laughs> as a human. and for her it's going of other <laughs> and we'll see black sweets <laughs> yep. So that's exactly, and that's what Cooch, I think it was, our E11 pointed out today that she said she was no longer covering Jane and then went to. So where's my. Uh, you know what, Brooke? I was just thinking about that. So nothing ever happened with that. I don't think we got it. 
We got we didn't get a reaction from Muzz at that time. But she must have given that screenshot to somebody. Mm -hmm. I wonder who she gave it to. Because remember, we wanted it to go fast, go around fast, and nothing happened. So we just okay, nothing happened. We were wrong. Obviously, it went, we weren't wrong. It went out. I'm curious. And and after all, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, Cooch built her channel off of Jen, then switched to John, and now is on Jules. Yes, Brando, we got a party going on over here. None of us had channels when he started YouTube. No. Let's see what you guys are saying. Hi, Tawana. Oh, my God. Today. I don't know why Jules is upset today because Sophie said it yesterday. All, all attention is good attention. Yeah. Sophie told her yesterday. All attention is good attention. No, no, that's not what I told Jules. That's not it. When I, on my live yesterday morning, Johnny Mac was on panel with me. We were talking about all the bullshit. And I said that my husband told me that all attention is good attention good publicity bad publicity it's still publicity you're still pointing people to my channel either way i don't believe this for a second sorry but i don't just admit you were in a bad spot with your friend and kept it moving exactly but no they have to make up this elaborate live i mean lie and talk shit about other people it's what they do best Yeah. So you can run with it, Jules. You're getting attention. Same, Jules. So you get your I mean, I don't, I don't want the bad attention or publicity, but it still happens, right? I don't, I don't care for it. I don't want it, but it's, it's going to happen either way. You guys know that monstera that I was talking about the other day that I put the moss pole on. That's it right there. See how high it goes up to my ceiling. I put that's the plant that I put the new moss pole on. That's my monstera. It's up literally attached to the ceiling. They do. They they do twist everything. They they half ass listen. Because we I also we also gave them the same picture of Walt and they have it. <laughs> oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. That is hilarious. You you can tell when Maria's trying to cover up her bullshit. Because she, she says things like this, and it's just the tone of her voice and the way she says things. You can tell when she's lying. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, well, look, okay, well, I'll find it after. We'll post it in the community tab just so we can laugh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is too funny. <laughs> Anybody would say, okay, Maria wouldn't go to Muzz and say that because, first of all, it was a year ago, so I really wasn't talking to Muzz that much. That I, oh, yeah. that I, we still weren't there as Oh, yeah, Addy. So it'd be stupid. Yeah, Addy, you need to get something for it. Just like that plant right there. That's another Monstera, a different kind, and it's just like flopped over. You see it? It's flopped over. I need to get a moss pole for it so it'll start growing up. It's really, it's long. It's like down to here. But, yeah, it, I need to get something for that. And then there is a baby Monstera that I've had for two years, and it's just now starting to grow leaves that, to have the, the slits and the holes in it. Yeah. And I've had that thing four years. Look at it. It's up to the ceiling. Yeah, try and braid it. 
that was a month before Muzz fell out with everyone. And before the phone call between Muzz and Siwa, the timeline doesn't make sense. There you go. Thank you, Oh, Addie. my God. That's so funny. Yeah, it's funny. It's just I, gotta, I, gotta look at, I don't even remember what picture I sent. I'm sure it's one of the ones from Google. Whatever picture you sent, you docked a child in it. It was a picture of a woman and what looks like a 12, 13-year-old girl. Hey, Anna. I have a money tree over eight feet tall outside. Oh, my goodness, Anna. That's one. That's that's wonderful. Well, you live in Florida, so I'm, I'm jealous of that for the warm weather. But um, but to have plants to be able to grow that large outside, jealous. I'm jealous. We'll search. Hey, and you guys search that picture before you post some woman's random picture. I believe this. I didn't post a woman's random picture. I didn't. Maria did. Maria gave a random picture of a woman and a child and put it in DMs with Muzz. That wasn't me. Oh, really, Sweaty? Thank you. You got the round ones? I like the square ones. Uh, wow, that's awesome, Anna. But but no, I. why would I research a picture that you put in dms with somebody i don't care you did it i'm just posting what you did my plants are loving the spring and going crazy i'll be spending the weekend making moss poles and dows to hold up all the vining it's a jungle shyla that moss pole that you sent me like we can make your own i need to try that i do i need to get some moss and some of the stuff because, like I said, that little one right there needs some loving. Come back. Is that right? Because you talked about her family. Who talked about her family? <laughs> oh, FBJ. Let me say something about FBJ. The day that, what was the Sunday? I need to that I couldn't get online because I had been, I had gone out. My grandson's not a year old. You were online Sunday. It was my son. I don't know how they're coming up with my grandson's birthday when he's not even a year old yet. Don't make him grow up so fast, will you? I didn't say it. But I was so pissed off. I don't, I don't care either way. Every day because I'm literally, she was nagging the shit out of me. And I was so to be a, a third person, and I said, I'm... Shyla, nice, I'm jealous. Not, I'm not going on my phone to go on, online and text and, and find out what was posted. I don't care. This is it. I'm not going to look at my text messages anymore for, until I'm home again. And um, she was threatening me with that shit. So when I was live here, finally, I said that um, her parents must have regretted... Um, adopting her and I heard somebody's feelings for that I apologize because of the adoption thing I she, she forces me to go that far and then I regret it because I know I have a few friends nobody can force you to say anything you should have some kind of self-restraint not to say these things nobody can make you Broke says, Julie is on panel thinking she's bringing the tea. And to have adoption in their history. And I won't do that again, but fuck, she gets my nerve. Like, literally, she, she was saying she's giving me five minutes. As I'm driving to my, my a car was driving to my, our son's house. And I'm like, what? And then I said, you know what? This is the last message you're going to get from me. And I closed the phone. To the third person, I don't talk to, I don't talk, I have FBJ blocked everywhere. But to give me five minutes. It's, it's the fact that she's there. But I shouldn't have said that about the doctor. No, I know that picture. Let me see the picture. Look at Carolyn. That would be Carolyn. Carolyn. Let me see the picture. Oh, that is fucking 
know. Anne says it's Carolyn. Whoever Carolyn is, that's Carolyn, and she thinks it's hilarious. Why would Maria give some random old woman's profile to Muzz? What if people would have gone after that woman thinking it was Vault if it's not her? Yeah, it's it's irresponsible. It's very irresponsible. Ladies, can somebody put it in the chat? Really, yeah. Anna? Yeah, That's awesome. I'm in my laptop. It is fucking hilarious. That is so fucking funny. Remember that woman, Carolyn, that you were convinced was all? That's the picture I gave? That's the one. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> shit. You really, okay. you really need to get your lungs checked out, Anne. You, you sound horrible. You do. You sound horrible. It was just a random woman who was who was trying to follow oh, me for years. Fucking funny. For years, funny. Right? Two years, max, three probably. And then I kept, I kept, um, I, I didn't add her. Me I too, just Anna. Her. I didn't accept it. And then she would go a couple of months and try again. And then I would remove <laughs> no, her. Sorry, and then sorry, stop the video. There's also somebody's child in that picture, and Sophie's showing the whole thing. Then Maria shouldn't have posted it. Shouldn't have given it to Muzz. Period. Point blank. That's your irresponsibility, not mine. So why are you oh, posting? So we don't even know who that person is. But why are you posting that kids? Why yeah. did Maria pass it's around that picture? Why did Maria pass around that picture with that kid? Hmm? Why didn't she? Uh, why didn't she edit that picture to take the kid out? Hmm? Why? Why? Why did you have to show that picture with that child? That is actually, I know, and she is actually the woman that back in 2020, I was saying was Waltz. You were saying the same thing in 2023. After I realized it wasn't because it was somebody else. I just kept it. So he said that, I said, let me use the same picture. And that's so fucking funny. Oh, no, it wasn't her. Oh, sure. that's the picture. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> and we always joke to the two women, Carolyn, like, oh, <laughs> don't we know who this is? Oh, that is so funny. That is so funny. And the thing is that that woman was real. It wasn't... <laughs> Hold on, I need to say something. She's JJ, a real JJ is shouldn't be in any chat calling anyone liars because JJ, see that whole cooker shit that you went up and said on that panel about three different companies going to help you find out who that account is and read it? There's no way for that to happen. <laughs> no way. There's no way for that to happen? We're talking about uh, warrants and stuff, so you're not going to find that out. So, um, yeah. so you just got up in that panel and just lied through your teeth. I bet those companies go to help you find that you had. <laughs> I was on Messenger. And how do you know that that can't happen? You when you when you went up on Jules's panel Sunday and you said that those companies were willing to help you find whatever person on Reddit, that can't happen. Nobody can find out that stuff because Reddit is private, and you're lying through your teeth, according to Turkey Teeth. <laughs> Granny, you're probably right. Yeah, yeah, JJ. Yeah, you just lied through your teeth. With JJ, and then she told me, "Who gave it to you? Who gave you that picture of the house?" And I said, um, a, "A follower, somebody who follows me on YouTube." Yep. And then she goes, "I need to know who." And I, okay, all right, JJ. Do you want me to show it, or do you just want me to look at it? What do you want me to do? It's almost one o'clock. I'm going to play this. I'm going to run to the restroom. I'll be right back. I said no because she said somebody was in the bushes. Fucking bushes. She's somebody in the bushes. She doesn't bother anybody. She just looked and then she goes, why was she looking? I said, because you always slam about how much money you have and then the 
the this and that and this. And people get curious. It's a Google search, it's not a, it's not a um, uh, somebody who works in a mortgage or something. It's just a damn Google search. And she goes, well, if you don't tell me who it is, then I'm going to blame you. Okay, okay, blame me then. I don't care. I'm not saying. When I say no, no. Right into yeah. it, probably. <laughs> that poor lady, now I feel bad. I was just somebody that I kept declining all the time. I was just going to see that picture the other day. That's how we were in Carolyn, and the, the way you used to laugh. And then we really laughed about this. Try again and try again and try again. And then I said, okay, this is weird that she keeps trying, but she's never messaged me. Normally, somebody mm -hmm. will say, I have not heard JJ brag about money. I mean, I, I, I haven't. Am I missing something? Hmm? Am I missing something? I've not heard JJ brag about how much money she has. Never. Why? Because she can she can afford to pay to a company to find out who a certain person is and you can't you have to grift for anything and everything online they should make up their mind either she brags about her money or her money is fake which is it exactly Yes. Instead of blocking the woman, she spreads a rumor that it's vault. Yes. Yes. And you're right. You're also right, Granny. You're also right. Say, hey, Maria, it's me, Fancy Fees from YouTube. Okay, and then I know who it is. But this woman, not a message, nothing. So I go, this is very strange. And and I always said, uh, that is Carolyn. <laughs> and I always said, this Carolyn has to be that. Hey, Lindsay's comment. All caps, of course. JJ said she files a million on taxes and two million with her husband. She said it. A hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. <laughs> I've not heard that. And then I felt bad because um, Carolyn is an older person and Vaughn is younger. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, something years younger? Yeah. And I Hold on. Let me look at something. Oh, goodness, JJ. Yeah, yeah, you did it. You you did it, and you paid for it, girl. You paid for it. Yeah, yeah. You file a million dollars on your taxes every year, and then two million with your husband, according to Lindsay. I've never heard that. I've never heard it. No, I've never heard you, A, talk about how much money you have, or two, filing your taxes. Hey, Caddy, filing your taxes. I've never heard it. I've known JJ for years. I have never heard her say that, not one time. No, it was not cheap. I got the receipt right here. It was not cheap. Exactly, Sheila. Why do these women care how much money someone has? Honestly, why do people care? Hey, Phoebe, it is insane. It's freaking mind-blowing, these women and the lies that they tell. I have been close friends with JJ for four years. She has never, ever bragged about money or talked about her taxes. What the f I know. I know. Wow. Yeah. This is what they're saying, but JJ has sent me the receipt to this company that she paid in full, and it was not cheap. To find out who is who is doing all of this. They all assume this because I own a business. I'm a giving person, which they've turned into a bad thing. Yeah, unless you're giving to them. It's a bad thing unless you're giving to them, of course. Yes. 
And they are going to, uh, I can guarantee you 100,000% that they're going to say that I have been, well, they have already said it uh, last week when I had like 2,000 something views on a live stream that I bought views. And I guess it's the same for, for you know, the other day when I had over 2,000 buying views and here I am I've been live six hours <laughs> I've been live for six hours and the views that I have they're going to say that I've bought those too yes you are not a liar JJ you've I, I don't know anything that you have lied about I honestly don't I could not think of one thing that you have lied about. Not one thing. Well, we know that they, as an LLC, doesn't have lawyers and not, and they do not have money for lawyers. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, girl. I've been live since seven o'clock this morning. Hi, pretty bird. How are you? How are you? I can drop the link for one person if anybody wants to come up. I figured out how to do it, but I can only have one person. Hey, Lori. So someone in their group job group's job is to keep up with other channels, likes and views. I'm sure they each have a task. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure, because they keep talking about the views that I'm getting on my channel. They do not see anything wrong with people searching JJ's personal information. So once again, they prove that's what they do. Pass around information in DMs. Exactly. That's exactly what they do. Hold on. Two minutes, guys. So I told you I failed on that textured art piece over the weekend. It's a lot harder than it looks. I see now why they charge as much as they do for these things. My husband doesn't believe me. He thinks I'm just being too critical of myself. So this weekend, he said, I'm going to help you. We're going to, we're going to do this. I'm like, okay, you're going to see. You're going to see how hard it is. And I was like, oh, my God. Mm -hmm. But I, then now I'm so funny. Morning, Carolyn. That's, that's, happy Thursday, everybody. This is better and better. So who did you originally drop that information to? The fake story? Muzz. Is what, that, is what, um, what Brooke just said, wasn't it? You, Brooke, that said it was Muzz? At the time, that's what Brooks just said. I mean, if I'm not Shyla, oil of oregano, take it. MTT turned me on to it. I turned uh, sweaty and Susie on to it. Oil of oregano, it will knock that cold right out of you. <laughs> Granny, you're funny. I went grocery shopping today and JJ's taxes didn't affect the prices. How does it affect their lives? Good question. I am a fan of YouTube. How are you? Thank you, Kendra. Take it. Take it, Shyla. Take it. You take you take it now and by tonight or in the morning, you will you will notice a difference. Can you, Kendra? I mean, my clothes are like fitting me looser and better and different, but I just really don't, you know, see it. But thank you. You notice it. So that's, that's what matters. Do it, Shyla. Seriously. Hi, Ace. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. You need to t take that, Shyla, and I promise you'll start feeling better. 
Regardless of the outcome, I will be showing the proof of what I said on Jules's panel. Good for you. Good for you. I can't wait. I'm not mistaken, did I read up and said you said it was Musbrook? No worries, Shyla. I mean, I was wait to see. Uh, it was, it's been at least a year. I think that's what they said, yes. But so it's not up to story to Muzz, is what I'm asking. I told Muzz, if it's Muzz, because I remember telling someone, um, so I'm sick, she's thinking it's Muzz, that, um, that... You remember telling someone, but you don't remember who it was, so you're thinking it might be Muzz. Oh, really, JJ? Interesting. Interesting. Give me some of the names. DM me some of the names. Cause I'm, I'm nosy like that. I'm nosy like that. Carolyn, whatever it was, Vault. And I was arguing with you over Vault, some shit like that. And we just wanted to see how far we got. No, no, no. That's not what the DM said. That's not what the DM said. My ear infection was part of that awful respiratory thing going around. No joke, it knocked me down hard without, oh my goodness. She does. She does. Maybe this is how they finally separate themselves from, <laughs> hey, you never know. You never know. So then. <laughs> I can't be oh, wild. Then. <laughs> oh, damn. You want to see if you can trust her? Well, she obviously leaked it, so let it go. Close, but I I never heard anything back from us, so I figured she didn't leak it. Why, why is it so close? Who's going to find us in the air? You know, I bet, I bet, I bet she did. I bet she did. I'm gonna look it up on I on my IG messages and find out. It's like a year ago. Yeah. Yes, to see if it would leak, and we laughed at yeah. the thought of them running with it. Yeah, no, and then we heard nothing about it. <laughs> so I'm thinking, okay, she can run with it. But the thing is, Sophie has put a whole damn picture up there, so she, she, they think they're docs involved, but they don't just think they're docs involved. <laughs> they think they're doxing. Hi, Volte. They think I don't. I don't think I'm doxing anybody. I didn't dox anybody. I didn't. I didn't. Maria did. And jo Julie posted it on her IG. I got on Julie's IG and got it. I didn't think I was doxing anybody. No. Okay. It's okay to have some back and forth drama, call me names, etc. But my business? No. I don't play... My opinions on YouTube creators doesn't equate to fucking with me personally. And, and that's what they do. They, they think it's okay. Yeah, if this was a setup or a joke, Anne would have known about it. Exactly what the F. Exactly. The picture I showed last night from Julie's IG. The uh, DMs. The between Maria and Muzz, and Maria's like, oh, this is who Vault is, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. She did post the whole picture in DMs. She did. Vault and a child. Oh, you know? my God. Because that, that lady mm -hmm. has a, a, yes, has a portrait on the yes. picture. So why did you why did you give it to Muzz then? Why didn't you a get a different picture or two edit the little girl out of it? It's that easy, right? So just shows you how far that Anne Walker will go. I mean, we know she doesn't care about her own kids. We know that. How do you know that? But to do that. <laughs> How do you know that I don't care about my own kids? You don't. You keep running with this. Why? Because Bison told you. Why? Because I never discussed my family with her. Never. It's none of her business or anybody else's. Again, 
you don't know my relationship with my children. <laughs> I am so sorry, Lord. So, thank you. Yeah, so <laughs> yes, JJ, let me know. I'm nosy. <laughs> God, your heart <laughs> sound <laughs> horrible. That is hilarious. And you can't even and you can't even mute to cough and hack and sniff and sneeze and uh, exactly deadly. Why do you care so much? If it's if it was a a joke, two not vault. Why do you care so much? Why? It doesn't make sense. Exactly, Lori, darling. I am smart enough to have never shared my life with anybody. Anybody. Nobody. Most of us didn't even know you had kids until your docs got out. So, yeah, because it's nobody's business. Oh, my goodness, Barbie. No, she can't mute, cover the mic or her mouth or anything. It's disgusting. That is so fucking funny. Oh my god! It was our our group chat joke that we all that in the beginning before I even <laughs> I always said this lady Walt, used to go by another a name on IG before, and I go, "This is that Carolyn lady. I feel it in my bones. It's her." <laughs> Just like you felt it in your bones that sweaty was broke's nose, and we proved you wrong on that one too, didn't we? Did you, Martin's mommy? To see if it leaks. And for a year, Again, how come Anne didn't know about this? If she was a part of said joke and setup, why didn't she know anything about it? You fell out with enough people who would have shared real life details by now, but only Britters has come up with these facts. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I, I would think so, fan, a fan of YouTube, yeah. They have Muzz level confidence in who is behind accounts, and they do just as well at guessing as Muzz. Exactly. I gave it to them. They need to stop effing with me. I'm not, oh, my goodness, Martin's mommy. What happened? What happened? I won't tell anything, JJ. Hmm. JJ, what is your gut telling you? Is your gut telling you it's a certain somebody? I know. Using bison for verification is ludicrous. Crazy. Just because I was, I, I thought she was my friend. She never was my friend. But just because I thought she was my friend doesn't mean that she knows anything about me. Exactly, Patty. Exactly. They are showing what they really feel and think about Muzz here. Yeah. Yes. No, 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 Dreadhead. No, Dreadhead. Seriously, you're, that's it. That's it. Anne didn't know about these messages and she was in on the setup. Help me. I feel brainless trying to figure this out. Yeah. They want me to manage shipments for a vendor of ours. They took me. They looked to me because the vendor is foreign and cooking. Oh. Martin's mommy. I see. <laughs> Yes, it's madness. madness. Now you're really. There we go. Carolyn, forget about that. Mute yourself. Stop fucking laughing. Cannot stop laughing. 
as you can see, because I'm still running with that shit. I don't know if you ever show your face. <laughs> Cat, you're so funny. So now that you're no longer saying the team, now Carolyn with the, the baseball mom. The baseball <laughs> thing is, how sick is that though? That they think that that is Baldy in that picture, and there's a child there. And Sophie, who showed the whole lot of it, sorry, Anne Walker, who doesn't give a shit about kids, showed the whole thing. Maria's the one that passed it around. And Julie put it up on her IG. So it's my it, it's my fault. Even though those two people sent it around first, it's my fault. Make this make sense for me. <laughs> make this shit make sense to me, please. How is how did it end up being my fault? I am like literal literal third party, no fourth party, fourth party. Momo gave it to Muzz. Muzz shared it in her group chat. It got to Julie. She posted it, and then it was me. It's literal fourth hand information. But it's my fault that people are seeing this child in this picture. Make this shit make sense. What? Coins? Okay, I usually don't comment much anymore, but it looks like they're saying it was Siwa and not Muzz. I don't know. Look at their community post. Okay, so they're saying that Maria had a conversation with Siwa and gave Siwa this information. This information that her and Anne are always fighting and they're going to separate and do separate channels. She gave that information to Siwa? That, that doesn't, yeah, it doesn't make sense either. Again, this person chose that pic as their profile pic that everyone can see. It's not a dox. Good point, Ghostface. Good point. This is this person's profile picture. For the world, this is the picture they want the world to see whenever they see this person's account. How is that my fault? Right, Ghostface. Like, keep keep with your, like, keep up with your lies. Hold on. Okay, let me bring you guys down to my level here. Turn you around. I'll read it to you. I found the screenshot of the account I was talking to making up the story of Vault. My apologies to Muzz. For some reason, I thought it was Muzz I was talking about last night when I said that, but it was a fake profile that someone we know uses. I'll go over the screenshots on our next live. I don't think screenshots are going to be good enough. Anybody can fake screenshots. We know that, right? Mm, yeah, well, I, I call bullshit. If they edited it, yeah, it does say edited here. It's been edited. Coin said it did have Siwa's name. Now it doesn't. And no, they were not friends with Siwa this time last year. They were bashing Siwa this time last year. Right, Lori? Coins. And comment whenever you want to, dude. Dude, you can comment whenever you want to. 
I know, Martin's mommy. I know. It originally said a fake profile Siwa uses. <laughs> the great cover up 2024. Yeah. They are Jade Travis. It's insanity. Wait, I thought yesterday they said they were testing people. They did. They did say that yesterday, that they were testing Muzz, and she failed miserably. <laughs> oh, I can't. Oh. <laughs> if it was Siwa, they would never forget that. Exactly. Hostile environment. Exactly. I need to go turn my heat on over here. Hold on. Cold in here. It's literally like 61 degrees in my house. No wonder my nose is running cold. Cold. The old and the senseless. Exactly, Sam. Yep. Yep. Thinking of the victims of Julie's husband, who was convicted three times for assaulting women over a period of 30 years, now his wife, Julie, continues to emotionally batter women online. These women have no self-awareness. They don't, they think that they're just nice old women, right? They don't do anything. Sure, JJ, sure. You can stay up as long as you want to. Copy the link. Now let me see if I can put it in the chat. Hold on, guys. JJ, I put it in, I sent it to you on IG. Right, sweaty? Like, it's too much to keep up with. It's too much to keep up with. Hello, beautiful. Hi. Hi. I'm outside. Yeah. How pretty. Oh, what a pretty day. It is. It's stunning. Oh, do you see my little animal? I do. <laughs> How cute. They're the best. They're, they roam all around here. I mm -hmm. love it. Love. Cool. Love my animals. Let's see. How, where, where's my camera? I don't even, like, where do I, uh. Sounds good. There's <laughs> no there's no way to turn off your camera. Okay. Because I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Why can't mm -hmm. I figure it out? Yeah, you but can't. Philippines, so you get to run to that. Is that not exciting? Yeah. But anyway, 
Yeah, it's an absolutely gorgeous day. I think we're in the 80s. Oh, wow. 80s, somewhere here today. But it's breezy, which is beautiful in Florida when that mm-hmm. happens. But True. anyway, so I wanted to come up and just say that I don't understand. I really don't. Um, like, if you, okay, like, if you have a problem with a friend, why not just admit, yeah, like, yeah, those screenshots were sent. That was a year ago. Like, we mm-hmm. were mad at each other, and, or I was feeling a certain way or whatever, whatever. But why, like, I, I'm sorry. There's nobody that's going to believe that. Nobody no. is going to believe that people are just, like, no. No. Uh-uh. Sorry, no. Maria. We don't believe And they've that already shit. changed their story to something else. Did they? Would they change it to Since now? Last I, missed, night. I must have missed it. Now it's uh, not Muzz. Let's see. Let me read it to you. I found the screenshot of the account I was talking to making up the story of Vault. My apologies to Muzz. For some reason, I thought it was her I was talking about last night when I said it, but it was a fake profile that someone we know uses. I'll go over the screenshots on our next live. It's not the vault story I'm worried about. I don't care about who vault is. That's not yeah, I don't either. I, I don't it, care. It, it I was, don't the, care it was the point of Maria saying that her and Anne do not get along and they're doing separate shit. And Vault yes. and Anne is going to start doing a show together and Maria is going to be by herself. Right. And that's what I got from it, too. And, you know, there was a time and I can actually speak from experience because there was a time that people were trying to get me to uh, be against uh, Cindy. And, you know, everybody knows Cindy and I are very close and we've been through a lot. Same with Patty. That's why she said she knows me for a long time. BB loves Honey Tea. They know me for a mm-hmm. long time too. Like I, I don't. Lying makes zero sense on these platforms because people are going to figure it out, and then you look stupid. So I would suggest that people just tell the damn truth. Exactly. That's, uh, I mean, just tell the truth. Oh, you see that little bird? This little bird. Let me see if I can. Oh, there he is, or she is. I, I'm thinking it's a she because she's up in my trees, um, yeah, laying eggs. So it's got to be a girl, right? <laughs> it's it's got to be a girl, I'm assuming, or a, or the, a very good daddy bird because the daddy bird then goes in there and feeds the babies. Yeah, yeah, I love it. But anyway, yeah, so that, you know, that's what I wanted to come up and talk about was just a little bit of, you know, it's it's just some bullshit. Like, just admit it. Just admit that you and your friend had a tough time because I've been there. There were people that tried to say that Cindy and I, like, Cindy was still using and an active addiction and anything that I... um gave to her or you know gifted her as a friend that 2020 you know going through covid and she was in new york city basically the epicenter so in any help that i gave during that time they they tried to say like um you know she was and then they tried to say that i was talking about cindy horribly behind her back but that isn't what happened at all Um, but I've talked to Cindy. I let her know exactly how I felt. I let her know that I had been second guessing her because I don't know a lot about addiction. Right. So I didn't know. I'm listening to these people who tell me that they do know a lot about addiction. Right. Telling me that she still, and honestly, I knew it wasn't right at that time. I knew it. I knew it. I just spent time with her. Yeah no way that I felt in any sort of way that anything had been off that very same night they tried to tell me that she was still in active addiction it it was all a lie it wasn't truthful right I myself went to Cindy and let her know listen there was a point in time like for a few hours like maybe 
10 hours there that I'm like, really, do you think, could this be possible? Because I didn't know. Right. So why not just didn't. Yes. Exactly. It makes no sense. None. None. And then they keep switching their story on what it really is. And why didn't, why wasn't Anne in on this joke or whatever? I, I know, right? Like you're, you're None threatened. of it makes sense. No, it doesn't. Like if I were to do anything like that, which I wouldn't anyway, we're adults. Like this whole yeah. trying to trick each other kind of deal. Like, oh, I'm getting you. I'm going to see how honest you are or whatever. Right. Is that really a good friend that no. they're needing to no. test? you no see. no if somebody listen guys if somebody is your friend they're not going to test your loyal your loyalty mm -mm. they're no. your friend or they're not either way no i would be more insulted by the testing the loyalty and Thanks. nobody's gonna wait a year later to then once it finally comes out be like, oh, yeah, oh, that time we were just testing. Right. And then, I'm sorry, Anne, but you look really fucking stupid being up there like, yeah, that was it. Yeah. Like she knew or something. Right. Girl, you didn't know nothing. You didn't know anything. <laughs> you did not know. It's just so weird. I don't, I don't understand that, you know, and anybody calling me a liar, I promise you, I will prove very soon that I'm not um, those that I, I honestly exactly. give a shit about that are talking about any of it um, I am more than willing to prove it but I don't want to put the company out there either to then no. be inundated by calls yes. from these, this fucking community that like doesn't have any boundaries None. whatsoever None. Right. I would never think to do that but we no. all know that there would be a good amount of people on here that would be like, oh, yeah, we're going to find out. We're going to find out exactly what she called about and what she paid and blah, blah, blah. Don't worry, y'all. It's coming, okay? Have a tiny bit of patience. Yep. Yep. Patience is a virtue, people. Yes, because I certainly... Uh, why would I lie about that? When I look like the biggest dumbass on the planet to not be able to prove what i'm saying right now <laughs> right so those um headphones that i got with the cat ears that i couldn't get to light up i just plugged it into the wall and they're oh, lighting up cute. and then in the back too. cute oh and the little got ears from five below for eight dollars <laughs> you can't beat that no Aren't they cute? But yeah, I got them to light up. Whoever was asking earlier to try and get them to light up, I just plugged them into the wall. They let their light. They're much more in person than they are online, but but yeah, there's that. So yeah, it's um. <laughs> you got stuff on your face, buddy. I got three little dogs, y'all. Like they're not multiplying. I just got three. <laughs> and that's two old one. ones and a young, young one, one, right? Yes, I have two older ones. I have a boy who's oh here. This is my girl. She's fourteen, about to be fifteen, but obviously a healthy little thing. Mm -hmm. and she always has been. And then this guy, he's the eleven-year-old. No. And then this one, well, I won't show you. I'm going to give him some privacy while he pees on the pole. <laughs> Sebastian, that's the baby. And he's no, going to be so cute. April, April 30th, he'll be four. How cute. So, yeah, so that that's just, I just wanted to come up and say that because it's just so crazy to me to think that, like, we're too old to be this whole, I was tricking and I was going to find out and stop. Like, just admit to your friend you guys were going through some BS and, or you felt a certain way, but 
you quickly got over it and that's that i mean why lie because none of us believe it we don't. nobody Sorry. believes it nobody, nobody believes, believes it that. and then to um accuse me of being the one to dox this little girl on this profile picture is insane yes like no disgusting Disgusting. this is a it's a public picture it is a profile picture and it's literal fourth hand information stop it stop it you're being a a loud mouth look look look, shala these are the my hibiscus that have been growing like crazy and we have them like pink red um, and like this whitish, I it, I don't know. It's supposed to, I think, be light pink, but I love plants. I just cute. Stuff. That's cute. I like them. They're pretty. Still too cold here for flowers. Uh oh. What happened to her? You there? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. She said they're so pretty. Wow. Yeah. Right. Everywhere. But I love them. I love them. Do you have a do you have a greenhouse? I don't I actually bought a greenhouse. Um and my husband, he sucks at building anything and doing things like um hands on. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. not good. He's very book smart, but he's not um like smart like the, like he's not handsy we'll say that right so, I, like hands on so he tried to build it and ruin the whole damn thing so oh no now, i know and so now and that was last year so now he says for my birthday this year which is coming up soon he said i'll get my greenhouse so we'll see we'll see Good. and he better not try to build it that's all i know <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he's amazing and he's so smart, but not when it comes to uh right building things. Yeah. Definitely some, not. some guys just aren't good at it. <laughs> and that's okay. Mean, my son is amazing with building stuff and I told him too, I said, No, let you know, let yeah. my son build it and he I can do it, you know. He wanted to be no, he can do no. He can do stuff, just not this stuff. Yes, exactly. I got you. I understand. All right, so I'll jump down so that way I can continue to do all of my things. And okay. I just love listening to you. I do. I get so much done. You are. If I were to tell you all the things I got done this morning listening to you, you'd be like, mm-hmm. what the fuck? You still <laughs> had me in your ear doing that? But yes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it makes me happy. It does. It makes me happy knowing that you guys let me keep you company all day. Yes, you absolutely do. You keep us company and I love it. I do. I get so much done and I get to listen to things and keep up on things. And I don't have to listen to <laughs> channels I don't like and things that are going on. So yeah. I love it. And I love all y'all. So love you of too. Course, I, and I'm just going to jump back down and chat. But okay. yeah. Thanks, guys. Bye. All right. Bye. Help her. There we go. She's gone. I always like it when JJ comes up. I do. Her flowers are beautiful. Her dogs are, uh, yes, Shauna, I got them to work. Now I just, uh, I guess tomorrow, well, the next time I go live, I will uh, 
try and use them with my computer, try and use them and uh, see how well they work. <laughs> I know, Lori, it's become very addictive to, to listen to something or someone while you're doing things. So, uh, yeah, which, you know, I'm up super early in the mornings. I'm up at like literally 4.30 in the morning. I wake up. So I get everything I need to do. I get it done in the mornings so I can spend the afternoon with you guys. So, yeah. But what time is it? It's almost two o'clock. Thank you to all of my new subscribers I've gotten today. Uh, thank you for everybody that has let me keep them company for either a few minutes or a few hours today. Um, I appreciate it a lot. You have no idea. Love the cat ears. I have to wear a headset when I'm live so there's no echo. I wonder if they make unicorn headsets. Um, Addy, I'm not, they probably do. Um, I got these at Five Below yesterday. They were $8 at Five Below. Have a good day, Jade. Um, if you have a Five Below anywhere near you, try there. If not, try Amazon. Yeah, Shyla says there's unicorn headsets on Amazon. The only thing I don't like about these is the cord. I wish I could get some that are like Bluetooth and cordless which I might look on Amazon for a pair and take these back. Thank you, Susie. Ha ha. That'd be funny, Addy. That'd be funny. Let me look really quick. I'm, I'm curious now. Let me go to Amazon. Cat ear headset oh they got some cool ones Addy I'm not paying $120 for them which they're super cool I'll show you guys hold on let me bring this back down of course Amanda Do they, Susie? I did not know that. Five Below also does online. They also do online. Let me bring you guys down a little bit more. Bring this up a little more. Zoom in some. That, look at those for a hundred, literally like a hundred and twenty bucks. Like, um, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. There's some black ones for twenty-one. See, I don't want the cord. I just looked and Amazon has wireless cut. Oh, really? Oh, those have a cord. These are Bluetooth. Look at I don't want to I don't want to pay that much for them. I like the, I kind of like the black ones. I don't want to pay that much for them. There's a pair of black ones. <clears throat> yes, Addy. Yeah, I still have my receipt. I might take these back. Wireless and wired mode. So you can you do the Bluetooth or you can hook the cord to these. Either one. Supports various devices such as cell phones, iPads, laptop, PC, and any other device with a 3.5 millimeter jack. 
comfortable to wear. Adjustable headband, memory foam pads, soft noise, isolation pads, foldable design. These would be good, Addy. That's a lot for a headset. All you need, is, need more than this is a better mic. I sound like I'm talking into a tin can. These have a microphone on them, Addy, so it might be okay. Yeah, they have a microphone attached. Okay. Headphones with microphone. Let me go back to results. There's kid ones for $12, kid ones. Yeah, these are cool. I think I'm going to take my other ones back and get these. This life is just about a little bit of everything. We just chit chat over here. See, I like these. That's what Susie said, Lori. Cut ear Bluetooth headphones, foldable, seven color ED LED light up, kids, adults, girls, da da da, built in mic. They have this one, they have the pink and blue one, and then they have the blue and white one, which those are cute, but I think I like these better. Seven different colors. You can change the colors on these, Addy. There's the mic. It's rotatable. It's just like a wire with a mic at the end, which is better than the one that I have here. They fold up. Extra long battery life. Cool. See, Lori Darling, here's my problem with the Apple earbuds. They fall out of your ear so easily that one of them fell out of my ear and down the toilet just as I was flushing the toilet, ma'am. So I only have one of them now. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. But yeah, I like those. Interesting. I'll save them. What do these look like? No, I don't like the... Yeah, Lori? I didn't even, I, I was so mad I didn't think about a replacement. Well, they have today's deals. Cat ear, Bluetooth, headphones, wireless. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I can't see myself paying $130 for these things. Or, yeah, I, I just can't do it. It's too much. Too much. All right, let's look for unicorn ones. Oh, Addie. Look here. Okay. 
There you go, Addy. They got the little horn on them. And the ears. There you go. How cute. Did you, Shyla? Shyla, somebody put Shyla's IG in the chat, please. She just uh, uploaded a lot of her earrings that she makes. And I want you guys to go check them out because they're really cool. I have a couple pairs and I love them. But yeah, they they do have. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Look at this. These are sparkly. <laughs> if you want a little bling. So yeah, I'm going to, next time I go down there, I'm going to take these back and order me a pair. Yep what I'm doing these are cute but I uh, I'll pay a little extra for good ones I have no filter which means I forget to blame the animal <laughs> Patty. Ooh, ooh, look at these. Oh, these are just uh, attachments. Attachments to the headphones. Yeah, these are just uh, attachments, which are cool, very cool, but I'd like them built in. Ooh, elf ears that light up. Yeah, so there's that. I know, I know, Addy. I always go down these rabbit holes. I do. I always go down these rabbit holes. <laughs> I, I would, I would, that would be my thing. Yes, that would be cool. Buy just like a pair of plain Jane headphones and put different things on them. That would be cool. <laughs> so. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I have been live for literally seven hours. What is this up here? Oh, do not disturb. I have my do not disturb on because I was having too many notifications come through. Okay, just making sure I looked on my computer. Thank you, Addie. What did I say? Well, I'm not so sure how that would turn out, but, you know. All right, guys. Everyone have a great day. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me literally all day long. And my new subscribers, welcome. I hope you enjoy. For everybody that clicked in here today, either for a few minutes or a few hours, thank you. I appreciate it. And I'll try and see you tomorrow, Saturday. But you never know. Never know. I might go ahead and come live. So I love you guys. Thank you for your love and your support. And I'll see you guys next time.
拜。